Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 8th of May, 2022. We did some gold farming. This was a uh, community challenge. Those are the words I'm looking for. It was a community challenge uh, thing from last month, completing this month. It was so much fun. I got mana drops. I'm happy. Go watch. Uh, if you'd like to catch us live and participate in the shenanigans, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add a forward slash schedule to the rest of that, you will see when I'm going live and what I will be doing in your time zone automatically, which is fantastic. And if you'd like to catch me semi offline, like not interactable immediately, but still on the internet, you can do so at my social media profiles. Pret uh, words are hard. Primarily Instagram is what I'm focusing on at the moment, but I also have a Twitter, a Facebook, a TikTok, and there's a Discord that you can join for interaction with all the rest of the community as well. All those links are down in the description box below, along with a whole bunch of affiliate links if you're interested in picking some things up and helping me pay for my teeth. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy the VOD. I will see you hopefully in chat next time. Hello. I, I am happy. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I, I have a bowl of leftover mum spaghetti sitting next to me. It is delicious. And I approximately half an hour ago, but only just now realized that I got an email. That is a very good email. I can't tell you. I don't know, actually, I don't know if I can tell you. I have asked if I can tell you or if I have to wait until I get my contract. It is a good email. Okay. Yes, all of the hype. <laughs> all of the hype. Let's get some skins, shall we? Ah. Uh, alrighty. It's it's a it's a damn good feeling. <laughs> like and I'm I'm not gonna be able to explain it entirely why it's such a good feeling, but it's just really, really good. Really, really good. Recognition feels good. Uh alright, place your units, there's a link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account, drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Excuse me. Right. Um face. Hello. So it's actually, I, this is a, like, oh, I don't know. I just, I really, really like the colors I've got today. It, they're just, they, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they work. They work. So we have um, the, the orange, the, it looks orange on this screen. I wonder how it looks on this screen. Yeah, it looks more appropriate on this screen. Hey, thanks for the follow. Um, <laughs> the lights, they work. Um, so the orange is actually more of a bronzy kind of shade on my lids. It is shiny, but it's not kind of coming across because why would it? Um, so it's bronze color. Then there's like this deep foresty green. And then you can kind of, it's really tricky to show you what's in my crease because I've tried to make it a, an appropriate eye shape. But it's kind of like, think like a yellow green. Like a mossy kind of khaki, like green olives, like a green green olive kind of shade. That sort of a color, but leaning a little bit more green. That's what's in my crease. And then, yeah, then the the like the emerald forest green on the outside and then bronze in the middle. Um, I own this mount uh, and it does not fly. It is a ground mount. Um, I do specify like even, because when I say it doesn't fly, it could be like a, a, an ocean, like a water mount. Right? But no, this is a ground mount, specifically. Ground mount, I own it. Green, bronze, and olive slash mossy green type of deal. Have fun! I give to you. Where'd it go? Excuse me. Why? Hang on. I've set this up before. There we go. I give to you. The wheel! I tested it, that's why it says Drac. We're not doing Drac. I'm gonna roll the wheel again. Um, uh, so let's do that. Where are we going? Thank you, Zam, for the wheel. Oh, fuck off. 
Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's fine. Uh, okay. To no more gone. Uh, I'm on my druid today because I feel like I've got more stuff that I could get on the druid than I could on fear. So M plus something, something gold making, right? Something, something gold making. Uh, so we're going to Nomragon. I'm so sorry. Um, please don't hate me. It's the wheel. It's the wheel. How am I going to get there fastest? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's scroll to the top. Everyone checking their coins before stream to see if the bot's working. Love that. Love that. Well done, Zam on first. Rel with second. K missed out on first and second, but grabbed third. Well done. Yep, we have to, today is the final day to contribute to the toy hunting stream challenge. So get in on that if you thank you for the follow. Um, get in on that if that's something you want to see next month. Do the thing. Hello, K. Seeker has grabbed last. Brilliant. Welcome on in. I was going to say Desir has grabbed coins, but I did Desir actually win. I'm not sure. Where is it? Desir did grab coins. Well done. Okay. Because <laughs> it's a slightly different meaning. Um, uh, then there's the raid. All in. Let's go for science. It's a big all in. It was K, and I am so sorry. <laughs> but at least now it's accruing properly, so you should get back there at some point, as long as you know. Do the thing where you come hang out with me. You'll be right. Should make things interesting. <laughs> That's one word for it. Um, but it does look like people are indeed earning koala coins, which makes me so incredibly happy. So I'm going to. Uh, go back to Streamlabs and say thank you and let them know that it seems to be working, um, which is wonderful news. Hello, Tony. Welcome on in. Hello, Rel. Appropriate Mother's Day food. Yes. Look, um, I have, like, my... Okay. Um... This is a recipe that my mum taught me. Um, it's it, it's just, it's bolognese pasta sauce. It's not a traditional bolognese. It doesn't cook for hours. It doesn't have red wine in it. It doesn't, none of that kind of stuff. Hi, um, the sun well. Ah, Ali with the resub. 15 months. My God, thank you so much for the resub and your support. Much appreciated. Um, what was I gonna say? Right, mum's spaghetti. Yeah, so it's my mother's uh, spaghetti bolognese recipe. Uh, or bolognese sauce, I should say. Um, she doesn't have the recipe. It's not the recipe for the pasta. It's just for the sauce. And I usually have it with spirals, not with spaghetti. Um, but, uh, yeah, so she taught me it when I was quite young. And it's one of those really easy recipes where you don't need to measure anything. You just grab a handful of this and a jar of that and a can of this and just toss it all in the pot. Um, it's really easy. It's super filling. Um, and so that's what we're doing for lunches this week. And we had a bit left over. We've got our meal prep containers and we filled up 10 lunch slots. And we, there was some left over. So Jas did us both up a bowl. No pasta, just the, just the sauce. But um, honestly, this is the kind of sauce that if you cook it down, like if you let it cook down with the lid off to let it evaporate, it gets thick to the, almost to the point of being able to make sloppy joes with it. I have had sandwiches with mum's spaghetti sauce in them because it's just really good. Um, yeah, I prefer my pasta sauce really thick and meaty and chunky, uh, and I prefer more sauce than pasta. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I, like, I mean, it's, it's obviously pasta is delicious anyway, and if you have the kind of thinner sauces that coat the whole thing and, but it's mostly just a pile of pasta that is coated in a sauce and there's not much sauce left over and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, it's okay, but I like this. It's kind of like you're having a, a meal on a bed of pasta, if that makes it, I don't know. I, I really like it. Um, it's one of my one of my favorite foods. It's definitely a comfort. Um, and yeah, so that's that's what we're doing for. And it's cheap as shit. <laughs> it's really cheap to do, um, especially like the, if you you can um, if you're if you're wanting to like save a bit more dosh, you can lower the the amount of mints and increase the amount of veggies and all that kind of like you can really play with those sort of um things and you can toss basically whatever vegetables you have on hand as long as they go okay in like a stew kind of deal you can chop them up and toss them in like you know when you know when you've got those veggies that are like the day before having to the day before dead yep so you can you can kind of chop them up toss them in cook it all down and it's great and then yeah it's it's a really really good way to use up that kind of stuff um you can put pretty much anything in it 
Uh, but traditionally we put mushrooms, but we had some leftover carrots and zucchini from last week, so we did that. Um, so yeah, it's it's just mince and carrots, zucchini. Although we usually I would do it with mushroom and zucchini, but the carrots are fine. Um, Paul asked jar of passata, can of condensed tomato soup, can of diced tomatoes. That's it. That's it. Oh, I usually put a bit of sugar in, but we didn't do that this time because, yeah. The, the sugar, only, not to make it sweet, the little bit of sugar in the whole last pot cuts through the acidity of all the tomato stuff and it just makes it a bit more, like, well rounded in terms of flavor. But it's not necessary if you're trying to like avoid sugar is totally fine. It's like it's like adding salt not to make it salty, but to make it like to bring the flavors alive. It's that kind of deal. The the sugar doesn't make it sugary or sweet. It just makes the flavors come alive a bit more. Um, but you know, to each their own. Everyone has their own dietary requirements, and that's really fine. Um, I plan on like next time I see mum. Uh, I would love to thank you for the follow. My God, so many followers today. This is amazing. Um, what I would really like to do is make her a pot. She's now vegetarian. So I'm thinking of putting like a kilo of mushrooms in, in place of mints. <laughs> because mints, mushrooms actually make a phenomenal mints replacement. Thank you again for the follow, my God. Oh, such love today. I'm, I'm feeling the love. Thank you guys. Um, yes. All right. So I need to set up the... <laughs> I've forgotten how to do anything. Good. Nope, that's the wrong one. It's this one. It's add-ons. It's 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 loot appraiser. It's challenge. It's make yourself online. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> this is great. This is wonderful. No Moragan. Yes, a spell to write. I'll go me. Uh, we're gonna set it for forty-five. Cause I hate myself. Um, feels like appropriate Mother's Day food. It's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yay email. Very yay email. Very yay email. Uh, hello chaos. Doing well. Hope you can say the same. And we're right now. Fantastic cosplay. Enjoy. Yeah, the thing happened. The thing happened. I put it in boss mods. I put it in boss mods. <laughs> you, <dare? laughs> you love me, Seeker. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look, the only reason you don't know is because, like, you're still quite new and we're wanting to make sure that you're okay with... I I have learned over the last few years that I need to be kind of more careful. Especially when I'm dealing with my business. To be clear, it is not that I do not trust you. I do. Which, which, which could possibly be a problem. I need, like, it's, yeah. I want to make sure that you're okay and that you're like that we're not putting too much on you and that you're happy doing the mod stuff and all that kind of thing and then kind of, kind of like probation without it feeling like you're in trouble like probation is such a weird word isn't it like it's it it has those implications of like like oh i have to prove myself it's, it's bullshit that's not what we're talking about it's more just to make sure that you're happy with things and we're happy with things and just kind of letting you settle into everything before i go information <laughs> Because there's so much information and I don't want to overload you and then have you like burn out and then be like, I don't want to be a mod. And then, yeah, no, that's, but you will know before the rest of the community does. Because that's one of the perks of being a moderator. It's just that boss mods find out first first, because they have to help me with shit. <laughs> then mods find out, then the community finds out. You will absolutely have early access. It's just that Shiva has early, early access. And Jas has early, early, early access because he lives here. So he hears when I squeal when I get an email. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Anyway. Oh, I got something then. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Josh. Boop. Hello, Zam. Yep. Yeah, what do you reckon? Do we like... <laughs> I love it. It's perfectly like... Oh, that's great. What do we think? Do we like... Do we like... The emotes. Albino Drake. No. Uh, Green matches your eyes. Looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm, I am. I used to avoid green like the plague. Firstly, because it was my primary school uniform. 
and you know you know when you're forced to wear a color day in day out for literally seven fucking years how you develop a hatred for this color so i ne i uh, green was my least favorite color literally least favorite color i had a least favorite who does that but anyway uh and so i avoided it and then when I went red, I'm like, I really double, I have to double down on the avoiding now, otherwise I'm going to end up looking like Christmas. But I am, I'm coming to realize that there are ways to do, like red and green go together, for, like they, they really go together. Um, and so there, there, and there are ways to do it without making it look like Christmas. Uh, one big tip I can offer is avoid tinsel. Um, <laughs> don't have a Santa hat on, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, but no, I'm, dead green is definitely growing on me in a big way. Thank you, Josh. Not a to drink. No. No, it is not. Mighty Caravan Brutusaur. No. Yay, thank you, Limited Dalry. Bet dude, yas. To be a huge Emerald Dream Report to get in and out of dungeons quick. Ooh. Noted. I will forget that. <laughs> you know, you know the thing in games where it's like, you know, such and such will remember that. Everybody liked that. You know, blah 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 blah. Fear, we'll forget that. Yeah, we need a, we need a, um, we need some kind of redemption that makes it like pop up on the screen, just up all the way up in the top corner. Fear, we'll forget that. It'd be great. <laughs> um, definitely working. Yay! I'm so pleased to hear that. Coins are there to be won and lost, so I'm not upsetty. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, it's not like it's not like you actually like lost out on something that provides you with a tangible benefit. If that may, it's just bragging rights. It's fine. And hey, now you have bragging rights that you lost that much, so that's cool too. <laughs> oh, if we'll do it, coins back. Yay! Eating ice cream, you butt. Ice cream's delicious. We just ran out. We had a tub of Reese's nut. I don't know, but it was chocolate and peanut butter ice cream with caramel swirls and bits of peanuts and bits of chunks of peanut butter or something like that. I can't, but it was heckin' delicious. It was so good. Avoid if allergic to nuts, because <laughs> it's full of peanuts. Uh, but it was actually really, really tasty. Ah, uh, well done, Sheba. Battle Band Warhound, no, it's Blasphemous. It's my best, uh, in, in the best way and tasty skinny. Oh, it's delicious. It's amazing. Uh, deliberately make my spag bowl nice and thick to put on bread toast. Yes, right? It's so good. So good. Thick is better with meat and cheese. Yes. Child of Tokali. No. Rumi has turned the last of the spag bowl I made the other day into lasagna. Another phenomenal way to use it. It's literally just pasta, but in a different orientation. It's great. So good. Pasta cake. Emerald Raptor. No. Ah, uh, spag bog. Only needs to be easy. Italian honors will cry, but it's cheap, easy, and tasty. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of, I mean, because it's my mother's recipe and it's a spaghetti sauce, it's why it kind of, it became the meme of mum's spaghetti, because obviously M&M and all that kind of stuff. But it also does mean that I'm not technically calling it bolognese, and so technically I'm probably, hopefully not going to piss anybody off. Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> probably still will, but that's, we'll, we'll deal with that. Frenzied Fell Talon. No. Uh, thanks for the humble books. Very welcome. I'm assuming that's the grilling and gardening one, the bundle. <laughs> uh, it did look like a good bundle, but I am not allowed to buy any more cookbooks. So I have literally hundreds of digital cookbooks. I, no, no more, no more. Probation yourself, stress check, what did I miss? It's fine, you missed nothing. Oh, no, I was, I was saying, sorry, Siki, you might've missed if I was talking about how, um, like, Basically, the order of people finding things out is Jas first, because he hears when I squeal because I get an email and I can't really not tell him. Um, also, NDAs that I have signed, he has signed. Um, so, and then... Another hydrate. Boss mods, because often they actually help me with backend stuff in terms of setting things up or like giving opinions on, on stuff because they've been around for long enough that they know... You know, if I'm like umming and eyeing about something, they'll be able to have a, a non-biased opinion about whether or not it'll actually fit with my content, if it's something they've heard things about elsewhere, um, all that kind of stuff. So they get like, I obviously tell them how, how that kind of thing goes. Then mods, 
than the community. So you will find out before everybody else, but Sheba and Jess find out first. So, <laughs> um, but it's not because I, I also said, um, I brought up the word probation, um, but not in that way. Like probation has this kind of scary, like, am I, am I living up to expectation? Am I, but that's not at all what I mean by that. It's more just making sure that like, obviously you fit in with the team and you feel comfortable and you're, you're okay with seeing what the mods have to see and deal with and all that kind of stuff. And it's not too much for you. It's not overwhelming. It's not triggering because that's a big thing. Um, all that kind of like, just making sure that everything's okay before I literally dump all of that information on you. Cause there's a lot of information that <laughs> happens like every day behind the scenes. Um, but I want to make sure that you're okay with the moderation side of stuff before I start overloading you with all of that shit as well. Because you also have a life and you have stuff you have to deal with. And it's, you know, yeah. So it's, it is absolutely nothing against you personally. It's just, it's the way it's structured. Because in the past I've been overly trusting and I've told too many people about stuff before maybe I should have and stuff has gotten out or it's done this or that or the other. And it's just, it's been a mess basically. So <laughs> I'm trying to, instead of being like, this is my circle of friends. It's, it's, I'm trying to, I mean, obviously I'm friendly with you all, but trying to step up and be like, this is me managing my business for, for these, every time else it's like, yeah, it's friends. And then at these moments it's like no business business yeah it's it's really hard it sucks because i want to tell you but i shouldn't not until i get confirmation that i can um but uh there is a contract coming and if that that'll probably be the line like if you know up until up until a contract is signed anything and everything can go to hell like anything and everything can just explode and go to shit and all that kind of stuff so um I don't know whether or not I can tell you. I've asked. I've asked if I can or if I have to wait for the contract. But if they don't clarify, it'll be when the contract is signed. As soon as I sign the contract, you'll know. But that's it. That's all. You guys saw the email? Thank you, Chaos. You get to be a nosy little fuck when you're a mod. You do. <laughs> you do. You do. Ah, oh, shit. You deal with a kid who would hit the other kid in the eye with a bat. See, I, I imagine that you mean like a like a sports bat kind of thing, but I am now thinking that you have like a plush animal that is a bat, and the ch yes, child has used that as a weapon, which is far more entertaining and probably less painful too. Um, where's Miss the Good Stuff? No, Panda, not at all, not at all. Uh, red and green are legit complementary colors. Exactly, it's just Christmas. Is <laughs> so yeah, I, I try to try to avoid Christmas, but also like yeah. Standard crunch noises. Um, yes, correct. Colander brain. Exactly right. Coins are back. They are. They are. Enjoy the free for all. Ban Lu, Grandmaster's companion. No. Ha! <laughs> Fear has been tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Don't want FOMO? Follow on social media. Yeah, if I find out before stream, I will absolutely be posting stuff about it so like don't miss out join the discord follow on the socials all that kind of stuff i am not going to be able to wait if i get the email tomorrow morning i am not going to be able to wait like six eight hours before i tell you on stream like it's not happening <laughs> so uh yeah and yeah recently hit 1k on instagram we're looking to try to aim for 1111 next off the bat so if you can help us out with that i'd very much appreciate it uh yeah and the toy hunting stream we're getting there. Or maybe not tune in to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that seeker. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, getting gardening, interest in the grilling, maybe the gardening stuff can help me keep herbs alive. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. So if you have two lasagna and put them on top of each other, do you then have one big lasagna or is it still two times also high all? Um, that's a really good question. Like, cause you do define the top of the lasagna as like the cheesy crust. And if you have a cheesy crust in the middle and then, but then like a Big Mac is still one burger, even though it's technically got the bun in the middle and it's two, but you know what I mean? Um, I think it kind of like, I think I would think of it like cake because it's literally pasta cake. Let's be honest. Um, if you've got like a three tiered cake, it's still one cake. It's just got three tiers. So I'd call it a two tiered lasagna. I think, I think that's how I'd approach that. Hello Kaz. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> one big IMO. 
Yeah, Blake of Ruin Strider. No. Through from Battle Net app. Hello, Badger. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. This whole thing didn't hit the probation, but nor she how good. Good, I'm glad. But yeah, I hate that word is a horrible, terrifying, scary word. Um, but it's more a probation on me. Like I am stopping myself from like, yeah, anyway. Uh, I get good seeker, you get to see my thought process behind emotes. <laughs> we get sketches. Shiva often, not always, but often um, posts like concept sketches of emotes in boss mods and I have a freak out and it's great. I love it. I love it. But look, we'll, we'll definitely uh, look at your inclusion in the boss mods channel down the track. Um, I just don't want to rush anything, Espe like, especially for you, like, this is, I'm, I don't think you've moderated a Twitch channel before. But yeah, it's, it's not like, and we haven't really dealt with much yet, which is good, but I'd kinda, I don't want bigger things to happen, obviously, uh, but I do want you to have a bit more experience with it to, before you decide whether or not you're actually enjoying it and if you can deal with the crap and all that kind of stuff, because I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, brilliant Diabic. No. Uh, I mean a baseball bat, unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, Scrimge. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, almost definitely will lead to a black eye. Oh no. That, oh, I'm so sorry, Seiko. Oh dear. Yes, the social sync, thank you. You're attacking squids back. No, they're attacking each other. Stack lasagna and spawning one lasagna, fake me. To be explicitly clear for anyone listening, I'm not attacking squids at all. We need 68,080 embers to make Fia hunt for fun toys. We've got, and only got today to do it. You've got today to contribute all of those. There's 34 people over the course of today's stream. Up to 2k embers. Attacking each other. Be with you, but you said to fight you. That's a belcher, no. Hello, Yuri. It is on cooldown. It got snuck. It got snuck. Child of Tokali. No. But hello, Yuri. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, Crusader's Diehorn. No, not even worth going near breaching NDA stuff. When you can say, you'll be able to say, exactly, Badger. This industry is like infinitesimally small, especially in Australia. Uh, and once you screw something up, the word spreads like wildfire and you won't get work ever again. And I want to be a full-time content creator, preferably at some point in the future. Um, so like hell, I'm screwing over people offering to pay me. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm glad you understand though. I appreciate that. Uh, I haven't moderated anything before, not even my own behavior in the day. I, I, yeah, I feel that, Seeker. I feel that. He ordered Shiva for arting the other night. I've specifically said they wouldn't. Just want big lasagna that tastes like big lasagna. <laughs> oh shit, big lasagna needs a crispy layers of other lasagna for both integrity and texture. When you think of me, you just think I'm always holding a drawing utensil. Is your hair long enough, Sheebs, to to do the, like, the stick the pencil in? I used to do that in school. Uh, Fire Warhorse. No. Choose to see the quill. Did you hold in paw or mouth, though, Sheebs? Amazing question. Love it. Tail like the Monster Hunter meme. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I'm going to send that again just to see if we've missed anybody. Looks like we missed somebody. Great green dragon turtle. No. All right, I'm gonna zone in. Crusader's dire horn. No. And I'm gonna set up my ATT because <clears throat> I would like to know anyway. Why is this down here? There's probably a reason for it. Um, turn account mode off. We're gonna kick this off very, very shortly. This is classic. This is Noma. Ah, gross. Um, those punch cards, those are a pain in the ears. I don't actually have much left to get in this one. That's okay. She was a cold tail for a reason. Flying or ground? Ground mount. And I own it. Uh, my sister only gave me up by no Drake, which I asked. No, it wasn't. Beautiful comment nonetheless. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's like a deep dark, like a, a foresty green on the outside, and then olive in the crease, and then bronze on the uh, on my lead. 
on my lid. Alrighty. Thank you for the follow. So many follows today. I feel so loved. Uh, Alright, where's... Um, ancient wandering spirit, no. No. Green dragon turtle, no. No. Ready to check. I need another drink. Oops. Green primal raptor, no. Ah, oh, 81% for the toy hunting stream. We're so close. Um... Do a toy hunt. Can we do a group for engineer? Make a plug. Yes. Yes, we absolutely can. You will absolutely need to remind me because there are so many toys I don't have, but you, ap we absolutely can. Make sure you have lock picking scrolls. For what? Sorry, Nick. Um, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. To game. Salutations. Be seeing you. All right. I'm in bear form. I should not be in bear form. I don't think. Oh well, it seems to be fine. Um. Ting. Let's do this. Ah, uh, this chest in here. Ah, okay. That's all right. That's right. This is this is my first time doing anything kind of official gold farming type stuff. So um I know I'm not going to do so great, but it's fun and that's the point. As long as everyone has some fun, I'll be I'll be happy. Ah, uh, sea turtle. No. Counting is ridiculous. Thank you. <laughs> It's alright, I, I fiddle around after I press go anyway, so I figure it puts us all on an even playing field. Doesn't matter what spec cat's just faster, yeah. That's that's what I figured, but I mean this way I'm actually in cat form proper. Wait, did I do the thing? J Primordial Diahorn. No. Swift Green Hawk Strider. No. Oh, are we gonna win? We oh, we are not gonna win. Um, well, I mean we could, but this is gonna be. Oh boy. Oh buddy. Ooh, buddy. Back later. Keep having fun. We'll do well. You too. We'll see you soon. Uh, so it's a green mount today, is it? It is. It has olive green and bronze and forest green. Sounds pretty green to me. Yeah, if there are any major colors on the mount, they will be on my face. There might be some like tiny, teeny little details that are in a different color that aren't, then that co the other color's not on my face, but all of the major colors on the mount will be re represented on my face. Um, otherwise it'd just be entirely too difficult for you to guess. That's unbelievable. I cannot believe we lost five and defeated 342. That's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Seeker, Death, Captain, Loza, and Adam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Loyalty super boss chest. Uh, Snapdragon, Kelp Stalker, you are correct. That's it! Ooh, flying rogue. Check out my shadow flying rogue. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah! It's the it's the Snapdragon. Snapdragon Kelp Stalker. Hells yeah, indeed. Uh it looks like. This. So it's got like the deep green, it's got the bronzy colours, and it's got the uh the yellowy olivey green. Yeah. Take one in honor of Zam, please and thank you. Brilliant. Wonderful choice. I 
way to. <laughs> well, Seeker, I reckon you might be. I, ooh, actually, I don't know if you'll be happy with this one. You might already have it. Ooh, this will be this will be interesting. Let's see. There you go. You've won Graveyard Keeper. <laughs> Graveyard Keeper is the... That is awesome. Yeah, it is. It is freaking awesome. It was a game we played a little while ago. It's kind of like uh, Stardew Valley for adults, for anyone who hasn't heard of it. It's, it's amazing. It's genuinely a freaking awesome game. Like watching you play, it was so much fun. It's so much fun. Maybe I need to put a Graveyard Keeper stream, like, on the goals again. Perhaps. I do actually, I had an idea, a thought this morning about something I could put on the, the goals list for next month. Alright, cool, there we go. First boss done. I'm going to guess that the gold making strategy for this is to not do that boss. I guess it takes forever. Drew Frankenstein's monster, Seek and Marie Greener's monster, perhaps? Yep, yeah, absolutely. The, oh, yeah. yeah, we're fine. Um, all right. Put me together a plan for now you make cheers, make more briefer packs so you do plan maturation days. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Don't even need to add tag to your name for it. depends on if you've got the BTTV extension or if you've got uh FFZ extension for for your browser. Um that kind of stuff. One of them, I don't know which one it is because I've got both of them enabled. One of them enables anything that has your name come up regardless of whether or not you're tagged it highlights so every time stream raiders bot says join fiyama's battle here's your link every time uh every time my merch link drops because it's got my name in the link it highlights it it's yeah yeah the whole thing Uh, Alright, so I've done that. Why did it not? Mm. Brie is so tasty. Brie is delicious. Brie is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm to track see of you. Uh, just type the name. Odd. Yeah, it's cool, hey. It's interesting. Who is better? Disagree. Ooh. Uh, anyone else have issues with video crashing on Chrome? No. Have you updated your browser lately? I mean, obviously, you know, resetting it, turn it off and on again is a thing, but also, like, updating Chrome. Um, oh, just testing if it's only my name. Yeah, with your multi cheese, don't just multi food. BTT does it, so when I have, there you go. It might be that FFZ does it as well. But they don't like do you know what I mean and it just yeah but um yeah so people don't actually have to tag you for you to see the yeah I haven't seen that in a long time yeah look one of uh Zam gave me a spinny wheel full of dungeons to use and the first one that came up was Noma because it hates me uh so there you go there you go. And I, I mean, I could have re-rolled it, but I like, could have done another spin, but I kind of felt like that was cheating, so. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, Bree, I'm thinking Feta and Bree. Oh, Feta's amazing. <gasps> so good. Yum. Yum. This is going to be for Feta. I can do whenever. My goodness. So awesome. And a nice Feta. Haha, <laughs> I get. Let's see what you did there. Let's see what you did there. Love Feta, me too. Freaking love Feta. It's so tasty. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Twitch player load error. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Do you have any ad blockers running? And does it happen once roughly every half hour? Just you don't like, you know. I mean, I could, but I might end up with like two dungeons. <laughs> Around, I can't do puns. That's hilarious. I love it. Go Kevin Bear, Gorgonzola. Just been running ZF. Wonderful. I hope you've been having a blast. Hey, Grey. Welcome back. It just happened then. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, uh, do you have an ad blocker running, Panda? Um, oh, you, you did say you don't have any extensions. Does that include an ad blocker? I'm not sure. Some people don't count that as an extension. Um... Yeah. Bonk. Hey. Off and away. Yeah, if you take note when next time it happens, take note of what the error code is and then Google that error code. Uh because it'll be able to give you some info. I have my defender tracking extension on. Battle for Mount Hydro. And she to escape and run Noma. Fair. Fair. Ah, sniffle, sniffle. Alright. Down the path we go, we go. Wow, you guys are getting some awesome drops. Well done. Well done. My way to the next dungeon to despise running a totally fair. I I respect that one hundred percent. Oopsie, take the turn properly. Too much to do, too lazy to do most of it. This is like why this is one of the reasons I love doing stuff on stream is because it kind of keeps me um like on track for stuff when I have a stream that like each week I'm dedicated to doing a particular task. It helps me get through it. Um but yeah, it's um there are there is so much to do. And so many things, like, I on and I know, I know, I bang on about full time all the time and all that kind of stuff, but I really do feel like if I was full time, I'd be able to do so much more. I'd be able to get more done and actually be on a, com like, I mean, I, I don't tend to like comparing my progress to others un unless it's in the context of using the data browser of like, I'm third on the server kind of thing. Cause that's sort of like, I'm not comparing myself directly to another human in their situation. It's more just like, hey, I'm ranked pretty good. I'm not the top, but I'm pretty good. Um, so yeah, I prefer to do it that way just personally. But that aside, Kuhn has got his shit together when it comes to farming this stuff out. Like he's on, uh, he's probably the main ATT completionist person that I kind of, I mean, he's where I got the idea for putting together a spreadsheet, but my own spreadsheet, not to copy his, or but because I wanted something that his didn't offer. And that's okay, you know, that's, it is what it is. Um, and that kind of stuff. But it, like, 
And he's doing so incredibly well. He's also been doing it a lot longer than I have, but I feel like if I was able to full-time content create, I'd be able to focus with like laser accuracy like he does and get more stuff done. But like, I, I don't know. I won't know until I get there, you know? That's, that's the other thing. I, I won't know how I'll be able to handle it and how much more productive I'll be unless I'm able to try it out. Uh, and I'm a fair way away from being able to do that. Um, but that's okay. I'm working on it, doing the best I can, and we'll see how we go. See how we go. Um, uh, I really need to do some reading, but CBF. If I were to read up on what to do to unlock Allied and just do the quests, that would make more sense. There is a, uh, Wowhead has a page seeker that has an unlock tracker. So it literally says things like, uh, and I know the reputations are no longer required, but it would have things like, get to exalted incomplete or complete and so you can at a glance anything that's read you can see that you still need to get that part of it done it, uh, i'm i'm pretty sure they still have it even though the requirements have been pared back a fair bit i'm pretty sure they still have that up so you can see at a glance what you still need to do uh, and from anywhere you don't have to go to the emissary the the yeah is it the emissary the um the place in Orgra where they where they all stand around and tell you what they want. Um, yeah, that part. <laughs> Ooh. Delightful. Um, so that might help. If that's something that you want to focus on, that might help. I should do the fluff boxes. No mixed stream because it's convenient. Well, it's also appropriate, so I'll take it. Um, sorry, Volcara. It's really quick and easy when I do I can help for a bit. Oh, wow, someone seems to have got something expensive. Yeah, that would be a Gizmatron Mega Chopper for 18k. Not bad. Uh, <laughs> it's a BOE, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Is this that side over there? Well done, meaty. Holy cow. Region sale average is 18k. Apparently the minimum buyout on my server is uh, 258k. So, uh, well done. Good job. Far out the heck to me to get something to blast for 20k. Yep, that. Um, we either do... Can I run along here? I can. Phenomenal. No! Oh, fucking... Alright, whatever. Let's go. Um... Lovely. Some art, fantastic. Mage. Embassy, that's the one I'm looking for. Thank you, Kaz. Look, language is hard. I don't want to hit you up. Working on my last druid. I hate wasting people's time having gathered what I need to do. What server is that? I'm using. Oh, so I'm on Saofang. Um, So that's the, the minimum buyout on my server would be on Saofang. Um. Oceanic. Not many people on my server, well, my server cluster, I should say, uh, seems to do this kind of stuff. Like, it's not a transmog heavy server, like, no one gives a shit. Um, so when it drops, they tend to go for really, really high because there's, there's no, there's not much demand, but there's no supply. Like, next to no supply. Um, yeah. So yeah, transmog doesn't, um, like, it's, it's interesting. Mr. Me, I'll have to learn it. Oh, absolutely. Much better learning it than uh, having to pay that much for it later. No moon god for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I am not a role player at all. End of story. Like, it's not a thing that I have ever done or plan to do. Not something that interests me. That's okay. To each their own. Everyone has their passions and their their desires and their, you know, things that bring them joy. And there's total there's no issue with that whatsoever. All right. Okay. So apparently I can dreamwalk out of here, and then dreamwalk back again. Do I have to reset while I'm in the Emerald Dreamway, or reset when I get back? How does this work? Um, does Azerite gear with triple long strider still work? No idea. I don't know what that means. Um, is it me outside Shadowlands? There you go, perfect. 
but Jumoki going to be outside the instance. Yeah, that's what I have been told, which is awesome. I just wasn't sure if if I reset it, would it like screw something up in terms of sending me back to the instance? I'm not sure. I've never done that before, so it's a a new experience for me. Yeah, I I do not do like I we do. We do loot appraiser challenges every so often, but it's not like, it's mostly just to farm transmog and stuff. Um, it's not like a actively trying to get gold thing. This is not how I make my money in game. Um, this is just something I do for shits and giggles while I'm doing other stuff so I can include my community in the other stuff that I'm doing. If that make, I hope that makes sense. Like if I'm farming for ATT, if I'm farming transmog, Throwing up a loot appraiser challenge means that others can come and join in. And it's, yeah, it's nice and fun and I like it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not a skilled loot appraiser challenger or any of that kind of whatever the, the adjective for that would be. <laughs> ah, just for funsies. Just for funsies. Uh, I still want to transition back to being an alliance main. I think I still definitely will spend a lot of time on Horde and keep up to date. It's going to do stuff with the family, but man leveling alliance made me miss it. Um, yeah, but remember that um, cross faction dungeon uh, like instancing hey, will be a thing soon. Very well then. Not okay, soon TM, but still, um, like, there's nothing to say that you won't. I mean, obviously, you know, external, like, loot appraiser challenges, you can do any faction, any server, any region, doesn't matter, just join on in. Uh, dungeons and raids and stuff, most, like, the vast majority of them will be cross-factionable by the looks of it. Uh, it'll just be stuff that has specific faction experiences that won't be. Um, we can't really do PvP. Together, you can do mercenary mode, but maybe mercenary mode will work to queue for PvP. Um, if you're in a group together, if that, like, if, if grouping cross-faction is made possible, you could do that and have the Alliance people in the group go mercenary mode so that you can queue together. I don't know how to work. Like, that'll be a question for Blizzard and something to test on the PTR. Uh, but, or maybe it's something they plan on having a look at in the future. Who knows? Only them. Oh, but yeah, just, like, switching faction doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be able to play with us, basically. Without use of a dream leaf farming. Oh, nice. Awesome. Ah, uh, pretty good to bed so early. Miss your streams. Wake up at 4 a.m. now. Oh, my goodness, Shay. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. There's always the VODs. I know it's not the same. I know it's not the same as chatting live, uh, but... It doesn't mean you have to miss out on the content as it, as as it were. Um, right, so what was it? Was it the Gnomic stream? Right, this one. Okay, blame Zam. This is Zam's fault. This voice is Zam's fault. Uh, is he 15k plus in 20 minutes? Wow, nice. Dream Monkey makes it so much easier. Are you hyped for Dragonflight? I am! I am hyped for Dragonflight. I'm excited. I'm very keen to see what they do with it all. Hmm. I'm excited about us writing specific errors and I'm trying to extra speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not that serious about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not a pro, that's for sure. Definitely an amateur. Mm, what other dungeons on the list you could do? It's a really long list. The list of dungeons is like really, really long. Um, all ZF, Scholar, Ramparts, RFD, RFK, BFD, Noma, BRD, that was BFD, BRD, DM East, LBRS, Mara, SM, SFK, Strat, uh, WC, ST, NT, AQ, Sunwell, Kara, Bot, UB, and Drac. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a list. Um, it's it's a big long list. Um, oh my God, Sashin, yay! Good. I'm so glad, Shiva. That, that's good. Hi, the Sunwell. Good. Ah! Oh, Shay! Congratulations! 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 O
congratulations on your gifted sub from Mid. Thank you so much, Mid. That's so generous of you. Much appreciated. Uh, I just was never happy being a horde main for some reason if I just do not like most of the horde races. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, probably not all of yours. Brilliant. Oh, and hug gnomes though. I uh, regret nothing. Good, wonderful. I regret, see, despite being the issue that I am, can't stand over the moon with Volcano nowadays. Denario just not a fan of short races. Understandable. I mean, it does tend to squish stuff like transmog and whatnot. Um, that's the wrong window. This is the one I wanted. Boop. <clears throat> Apparently it's Zam's fault, despite Zam not being a mod. Good. Wonderful. Uh, I vastly prefer Worgen. I'm personally excited. a little gnome in the background. Wonderful. That's hilarious. Uh, did you have a good day? I did. I did, Josh. I hope you can say the same. I've had a good day. Um, one hunter, female dwarf hunter, wonderful. Enjoy most of those. So do I. So do I. I tend to not. I I tend to enjoy stuff until I have to bash my head against it for three hours, and um, and then I tend to not like it as much anymore. But I think that's kind of the same for most people. To be fair. To be fair. Sub. Yay, Shay! Woo! Uh, hello, nurse. Doing well. I hope you can say the same. Do you move from list as done, or respin if it comes up again? I think we'll respin because I think it's. Um, look, I got the I got the wheel from Zam. I don't know if I change it if it'll change that wheel for anyone else who uses it. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um, so I, I think we'll just respin. I'll, I'll keep a mental note. No, I'll write down the dungeons we've done. And, um, or you guys can help me remember. And, uh, if we, my memory's trash for anyone who's new here. It's actually legitimately that bad. Um. That's different. Thank you very much. Whoever changed the lights. Oh, that was the boss. Oops. Um. Where are we at? Yes, so has been working going very well so I will always be a night elf main, of course. And that's totally fine. Female dwarves are very rare now. I can change it, it's fine. Hello, Lexi, how you going? Your people would move at me and make pig noises. Interesting. Interesting. Your great hair. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um all right, I think I think this room is clear. We'll go on to the next one. I have light server's main card. My order of whatever is it called. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Run over there is like a void elf. Oh yeah, but that's no reason to like harass other players based on their chosen race. Like I don't know, that's just not okay in my opinion. Look, I've gotten a couple of juicy drops now, but uh, still not doing super duper awesome great, but that's alright. It's pretty rude. Yeah, I agree. That is pretty rude. Oh dear. Wonder what dungeon we'll get next. And if Meaty will get a ridiculously valuable drop. So where is the Dark Iron Ambassador meant to be if they're up? Because it says it's a rare that doesn't always spawn. Drops bop stuff that doesn't share an appearance. Um. 
Fuck it, I'll leave it. We're used to being on the bottom of the list. Yep, love that for you. That's awesome. Super awesome. One day where I'm going to have to come in here and farm those bloody white punch cards. But not for a while, because I have a lot of other dungeons and raids to get through first. Black Farmer's a druid. I'm pretty sure I've actually finished ZF on Fear. No, I have one one more piece to get and it drops from a rare spawn. I can believe the percentage of the boss will be the final boss. It counts towards the vault. Oh. Uh, no, it should have. Yeah, if you beat the final boss and you haven't got percentage, usually they'll go back and kill more trash. If you left the group prior to that happening, maybe they went back and killed stuff and so it marked it as a completed idea or something. I don't know. Lexi, is there something wrong with your cap slot key or something? <laughs> is it is it busted? Um caps is busted. I, f I figured as much, which is why, which is why I asked, because it's, um, I, I feel like it's, like, always panic mode, and I'm like, is everything okay? Are you alright? Do, do you need assistance? Like, <laughs> fun times. Fun times. Play on an iMac? Well, there's your first problem. That's <laughs> oh, no. Um, could have gotten percentage, yeah. You would have, yeah, it would have, uh... Pretty sure you actually have to finish the dungeon for it to be flagged in your vault. And to finish it, you need to tick off everything, including including trash percentage. Although I could be wrong. I, I've never, like, I've never gotten it, I've never gotten that far and then not gone back and killed trash, like, but yeah. So I'm not sure. Cavs blink twice if you need help. Yeah, exactly, right? It's like... Oh, dear. Um, is the six reward higher than five or same? Oh, God, I don't know. All I know is do 15s. Like, <laughs> beyond that, couldn't tell you. I think Amax still does 22k overall in a dungeon. Um... I never dig just more No, no, of course, of course. And I, I didn't mean it as a dig either. Just a, a question. Um. At the end of dungeon, but same in vault. There you go. Go. It's a magic mouse too. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, wait. Is it actually a? No, that's a shared appearance. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Now start a slam face on keyboard. Is that not how everyone else plays? Ah, uh, does everyone use wasad buttons or different set? I use wasad. Um, but I think it's mostly like, I'm sure there are probably some ways that are more efficient or something, uh, but in terms of muscle memory, My muscle memory is really, really, really strong. Like, I don't know if that's the same for everyone, but like, there are passwords I do not know, but my fingers know how to make them. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, my, my muscle memory is super strong 
um, in to the point that if I've ever tried to change up my keybinds, I still, for months, like I'm talking six or seven months, still keep going back to the old button that it used to be to try to press it, which can result in obviously screwing up raid mechanics or wiping a mythic plus group or whatever, which is not great. So like I, my, my keyboard setup may not be the most optimal and I'm, I guarantee you it's not and that's okay because if I change it to something more optimal, it'll still be less optimal for me because I'm a silly or my brain is a silly. Great fun. I uh, not knowing it would be there. Why would you not know it's going to be there? Like, literally, you can check the affixes before you go in by checking your Mythic Dungeons panel. Like, that's not. Uh, Meaty, Zem, Seeker, Brick, Death, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Um, use the direction buttons. Oh, like the arrow keys. Um, okay, I think we're going to go through the middle here, grab that boss one, and then head up that way. Yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. Perfect. Like your mirrors versus map button. Exactly, exactly. If I've done enough leveling, I will absolutely pop mirrors on fear trying to mount up because it's where my mount is on all my other alts. I'm very good at this. Very, very good. <clears throat> Place your units. Do the thing. Um. Um. Let me try to play a different class. Kicks on same keybind DPS CDs. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I am the exact same. Seven is an interrupt on every character. Seven is my interrupt. Well, okay. This one has it as a moonfire because. Oh, uh, actually. Hum. Maybe the keybinds are all the same on my alts, but they're different on fear. But yeah, I've, I've like my my oh shit button is always on equals and, and all that kind of stuff. Like it's yeah, uh, I'm very much the same because otherwise it just doesn't work, and I end up playing, pressing all the wrong stuff, and I forget that things are part of my toolkit on my alts. And yeah, it's great, super awesome, fun times for everyone. To fix that, you need to use an iMac. <laughs> Using a different machine will not do anything for my body's my body's muscle memory. Like, th those are two separate things. <laughs> also, Macs are crap, so there's that. They're very, 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 very good for creative things. Uh, your design, your photography editing, your video editing, all that kind of stuff. Like, anything from a creative perspective, Macs are fantastic and phenomenal. Anything else, they are to crap. They just do not function in the correct way. Like, they just, they're not as powerful as uh, as anything else. God, fucking use Linux. I don't care. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Macs are, they are very, very highly specialized and they're exceptionally good at what they do, but they're trash at everything else. Um, they look pretty though. <laughs> but that's again because of the design thing. Oh dear. Um... Wait, Dark Iron Agent. What are you? Are they under the. They are. They're under the. I can't do anything with that. Um. Here we go. Enjoy your luck, Stella. See you soon. Seven doesn't show it there. I'm not familiar with the check wasn't. Uh, yeah. Mythic dungeons. When you get, yeah, when you do a dungeon, it has all of the different affixes up here and tells you, like, when they become available and all that kind of stuff. And then when you're in the dungeon, it has the thing over here and it has the little icons and you can hover over them and it shows you what they do and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, yep, all there. All there. Um, and shift W, expedition, Yaki, shift F. Beautiful. I mean, every class 7 is an AOE, 3 is interrupt. There you go. See, 3 is the key I mash to do everything. I mash 3 and, it, and that does that does everything. It's it's my make things die button. Oh my goodness, Sam got a BOE as well. Holy cow. Oh boy. 
Yeah, I'm. I cannot win. This is. I'm done. <laughs> Unless I get something magical, which I don't think I'm going to, but that's fine. The key info panel right side once the key starts. Yep, selling the third. But that doesn't tell you before you get in there, though, Just That tells you after you're already in. Um, which is why I was referring to the Mythic Dungeon panel as the first option, because it has stuff listed in there. Once you've done, like, a two or a three, it lists all your affixes and what levels they become available. Uh, it sucks. Oh, God, Jess. It hurts, I never want to have to blow three res on one boss. Oh god, Jas. Oof. Yuck. You know, feel that. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Much appreciated. Um, hey, Arush, what's the average budget to start streaming with a decent quality? Depends on your definition of decent. Um, you can stream with literally anything. Like, literally anything. Um, it, it really depends on, like, if you want to have fancy shit pop up on your, if, if you feel like you need to have fancy shit play and, and pop up on your stream and all that kind of stuff in order for it to be decent, um, then most of those are run by programs that have a subscription. Uh, like my, my lights, when they change, when people sub and follow and stuff like that, that's a subscription program. Um, if you want to have fancy shit in your backdrop, that shit's expensive, but you don't need it. Uh, you don't even need a webcam, technically. Uh, any PC can can do it. It just depends like what you're playing uh, and how much like can your computer handle rendering the game and the frames of your stream at the same time and then sending stuff through to Twitch. Like there there is no set budget. There is there is no set budget. Um, and again, it heavily depends on what you consider to be decent. Um, best way to try it is to literally try. If you have a PC. You can download OBS and set up your shit and go. And then you can watch your stream in a tab and decide whether or not you think it's decent. You have a great and then from there make decisions on whether or not you want to upgrade and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't go investing thousands and thousands of dollars if you're starting streaming because it will take years before you make that money back. If you're, if you're upgrading your computer because you want to play more recent games and your current computer is struggling to play on higher graphics and stuff like that. If you're upgrading for your own personal enjoyment, that's one thing. But if you're upgrading and trying to write it off as a business expense in terms of like an, a, an income stream, streaming, no, <laughs> no, no. It, it will literally take you years to pay it off. Unless you have like several very large big name people who are in this space already and they have committed to send as many followers as possible your way. But even then, that doesn't guarantee that they'll form an income stream for you. Because I mean, yeah, sure, you might get a crap load of follows and maybe a bunch of people lurking in your stream, but that doesn't necessarily convert into cash because people have to enjoy your content. They're not gonna sub to you just because somebody else tells them to kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, um, I wouldn't spend anything in preparation for streaming. I would give it a try and see if you enjoy it first, because streaming is not easy. It's easy to turn it on and play a video game, but growth and moderating your chat and attracting new viewers and all that kind of stuff is bullshit hard. It's really, really difficult. Even with all of the, the changes to Twitch and stuff like that, it is a saturated market. There are hundreds of thousands of streamers. I'm in the top 0.27% of streamers on Twitch. 0.27%, top 0.27%, and I'm still over 20 20,000th in the ranks. That tells you how many people there are. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Um, so trying to attract viewers in that sort of a, yep, it's, it's really, really hard. So what I would suggest, if you have never streamed before in your life, is to just try it with what you already have. See if you can attract people not with the quality, but with your quality, your entertainment. Because just playing the game's not enough. You have to be entertaining. There are enough people out there who can play the game, and chances are most of them can play it better than we can. But if you can entertain while gaming, and if you find it fun, if you manage if you manage to make it to affiliate, and then you start getting a bit of income, you can start putting that aside. And then you can start looking at spending that 
on upgrades and stuff like that. That would be my recommendation, honestly. Again, unless you're looking to upgrade your computer for your own personal enjoyment, but then that's not a, a budget to to stream with. That's what budget have you got for your upgraded computer for uh, upgraded computer for games? That's got nothing to do with streaming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, I can't give you a straight up answer, but I firmly believe it doesn't exist, and I hope that all of that information is far more helpful than a number would have been. Fingers crossed, at least. <laughs> Uh, but I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. It's what I set out to do, is entertain and give people a place where they can be happy for a bit, you know? So I'm glad. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, also, does person who slams face upon keyboard play Warrior by any chance? <laughs> uh, enjoy your lurk, Lixie. My best friend ever. And still lose. Oh. Yeah, look, Zam is just... Zam breaks stuff. Um, I'm not going to bother finishing this whole run. I'm just going to do this boss and then we'll we'll re-roll and see where we're going. Because I'm not really keen to do this whole thing again. Um, I'm going to invest in a little corridor to find a boss, but on the right side of it. Oh, so if I'm clearing that whole corridor, then I will hit it if it's up. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Uh, I know it now. If it's going to be as well. It was a hot minute ago. It was a while. It was a while. Uh, it was an awesome add-on you're using. Which one? I have lots. <laughs> Which one? Uh, okay, so we're gonna hop out. I hop on out of here, uh, and then we're going to bring this up again. Is it working? It is. All right, I'm going Alderman. Brilliant. Uh, all right, Alderman. Ah, uh, oh, so I need to do this thing, don't I? Cancel. Alderman. Accept. Resend. Okay. Uh, top right specific, left, sorry. Ah, uh, it's in, the name is in the banner. It says all the things because it's called all the things. Um, I appreciate it when you move out from college. Focus better better connection so I can start trying. Yeah, a connection is definitely uh, an import, like a, a stable connection is an important one. Uh, you can run tests on your current connection. Uh, there are like, I know I use OBS Studio to stream and they have a button like enable bandwidth test mode uh, and basically it streams without making it go live on Twitch uh, to test your bandwidth and to test if it's stable and all that kind of stuff um, so that it, and you can there is a way to enter an actual like Twitch has a guide on how to enter a test mode to see if your connection is stable enough to stream with so you might be surprised your where you're living currently could have a stable connection stable enough to stream um, you just have to test it and find out <clears throat> Speed here is really low for it. Um, look, download speed means jack shit. I don't know if you've tested your upload, but upload is what you're looking for. Download means nothing for 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 streaming, really. Hmm. Uh, is this raw gold farming specific or just doing random runs for gold transmogs? Um, I'm very bad at gold farming through dungeons because. Uh, I don't do it very often, and um, my server isn't great for selling transmog anyway. Um, so it's... Yeah. We are technically doing this as a gold-making stream. I'm just bad at it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um... Mm, having fantastic tag along for that run. Brilliant. All the men. What's going on? People fez from that dungeon. Look, Zam, if you do, I will eat a bean. Eat a bean. And <laughs> bite me. Yeah. Let's <laughs> test different upload speeds, quality broadcast. Yes, you can. Yeah, if you lower your bit rate, um, you'll be surviving on lower quality connections, that kind of stuff. Mm. Obviously, there are other things you can test as well. Like, if you have a trash connection, you have a trash connection. Totally fair. But if you have a semi-trash connection, 
you can you can get around it. There are people who literally stream from their phones without a fucking dongle in Australia, where our connections are crap. So, like, if they can do it, you can do it, essentially. Uh, until I don't know, farming for the fairs. Brilliant. Most people care more about the stream, not skipping, and less about quality. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. They want they don't want to miss out on half of your sentence is more important than can I see their eyelashes. <laughs> of course, if you don't want to stream from the dorms. That is an entirely separate thing and absolutely valid. Absolutely valid. But mm, if it's if it's a connection holding you back rather than like a, a discomfort thing, yeah, it's not like you will be fine. You could be fine, I should say. Uh, watch a dude ride his bike all the way across Canada. That connection was wild. Oh wow, that would have been amazing though. Like holy cow. That would have been amazing Not to watch. Everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. Okay. That. Um. Mm. Yeah. Crafting, crafting, food. Crafting. Yeah. Bloody full. Uh, I think I might actually go find. Yeah, I'm gonna go find a mailbox. Oh, excuse me, mailbox. Why did that not work? I know I have Katie, but um, Heidi Ho Stream Arenas want to support Fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them by expanding their reach. It's also a great opportunity to share her content with someone you think may enjoy it. Fear has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm there, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. Uh, you can find all my profiles at allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma. Uh, there's a link in chat. You can type exclamation socials to bring that link up again, or you can scroll under the video player and uh, click. There's, there's links there. It takes like 20 seconds, and I promise I'm actually semi-mildly entertaining as well. <laughs> Why can't I? Can I send? Oh, no, it sent the other ones. I see. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been working really hard on uh, social media content in particular because I know that it's it's a big deal. Um, especially like once you get to once you get to my stage of like success, because that's what it is. Um, I've grown my stream quite a bit. I've managed to hit Twitch Partner, which is amazing and incredible. I can't believe it's been almost a year. What the fuck? Um, and all that, yeah, once once you get to this point, and once I like I've made the decision that I want to pursue full time content creation, 
um, and what I define that as, because everyone has a different de definition of success and that's totally valid. Everyone has a different definition of what full-time means as well. And for me, full-time content creation means I don't have a day job. Currently I have a day job. I work part-time as an assistant accountant, uh, which helps a lot when it comes to money stuff and all that. It just, it's, it's something, it's part of my, you know how some people have just have like a natural skill set in certain areas? Mine's with money. I'm, I just, it works. It, yeah. Um, so, so, uh, I do have a day job. I call this my night job. Um, so my definition of full-time content creator is I create content full-time. It's my only occupation. I don't have a day job and I rely entirely on my income from my content creation to pay my bills, uh, to pay my rent, to buy stuff that I need and to put away into savings as well. Like I, financial stability is a core need of mine and it has been since I was quite young. Um, so I would not be willing to say goodbye to a stable income from a day job without having at least some kind of stable income, like a semi-stable income from content creation, which is exceptionally difficult to do. Exceptionally difficult to do. I know that I have set myself a lofty bloody goal. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Try my darndest. Um, so content creation, especially stuff like streaming like this, relies very heavily on uh, not just viewer generosity, but viewer ability to be generous. Not everyone has money to throw around, not everyone has disposable income, uh, and having my bills be paid on the back of your hard work in terms of, you know, going to your job, earning your money, come home, etc., doesn't quite feel right to me. Uh, however, businesses have marketing budgets. And more and more, like increasingly, those marketing budgets are going to individuals like myself who can, using their communities and their social media reach, convince people to use a particular company for their services or a particular product, etc., etc., uh, or play a particular game. So, um, basically, these companies have a marketing budget. They have to spend it somewhere. Why not me, is, is my argument. Why not spend it on me? That's where I would love, don't get me wrong, I am eternally grateful and so, so unbelievably thankful that there are people who do want to support my content through stuff like donations and subs and bits and, and gifts and uh, all that kind of, it blows me away and it's amazing and incredible and I'm truly, truly appreciative. Uh, I would just like to not have you guys feel like if I quit my job, oh, well, I have to support Fia now, otherwise she can't pay her rent. That's not fair. I would prefer for that kind of money to be coming from companies because that's more stable, firstly, uh, and it also doesn't make people feel obligated or guilty or any of that kind of crap because that's not what I'm about. But in order to be able to get those corporate dollars, I need to have the reach. I need to be able to say, this is how many people I can show your product to, can I please have some money to do so? Um, and so that's what your follow on all those socials helps do. Following, commenting, liking, sharing, engaging in any way, shape or form uh, helps me show companies that people give a shit enough about my opinion that I am worth them spending their money on. So yeah, if you could throw me a follow, I'd very much appreciate it. But of course, it is up to you. Um, where are we going? Watch a guy stream fishing from his boat, I think it was Finland, using live drone footage, got a bit choppy sometimes, that was impressive most of the time. Someone gets papal fez or pendulum of doom, grants to them, yep, should be a mailbox at Kargath. Ah, oh, I, that's okay, I figured it out. Thank you though, appreciate it. Uh, while you're clicking things, collecting free stream points, yas, we're at 255k, holy cow, 84%. That, that stream goal is ending today. So if you want to see me do some toy hunting, that's how to do it. Uh, what is your purpose of using all the things add-on? I don't understand the question, Andersons. Um, the add-on helps you track every collectible in the game. So you can see what you don't have from certain places. Like we're about to do Alderman, so I can... It also does that. So I can open up Alderman's page. Uh, you can do it in here, but I like to pop it out. Uh, and it has literally everything that I don't yet have collected from Alderman. 
Um, so I, I, that's how I use it and that's how it's intended to be used. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't really understand the question beyond that. Um, I should play till I didn't realize I had enabled notifications. Oh, that's okay, meaty. Totally fine. Totally fine. Just because she's eating and sleeping. Uh, mine too. It's difficult to do when you eventually get there. You won't need a day job. That's, oh, that's the, that's the idea, Lenny. Fingers crossed. Eventually I'll get there, but, um, Look, I've been doing this for six and a bit years now. Uh, I've been partnered for almost a year now, and um, I'm just gonna keep working my ass off, creating as much entertaining content as I possibly can and hoping that I attract enough people to catch the attention of some businesses and, and go from there. You know, it's it, there's a lot of luck involved, um, a lot of trial and error and figuring out what works and what doesn't, uh, but I'm... I'm doing my best and I'm not going to give up because I love this. I absolutely love this. This is it. It lights that fire inside me, you know, being able to connect with people and, and share things that I love and all that. It just, and make money doing it is pff, what? Uh, yeah. So I, I, mm -hmm, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the eating bit. I suck at sleeping. Me too. Oh my God. Me too. Get all the things. Yeah. It's a bit, uh, Makes sense, you need to import the dungeons. No, no, it's part of the add-on. Um, Jackhammer is worth a ton as well because it's hard to get. Add-on has everything listed. What's an Asmund gold? Like you see you on an all craft at some point since you represent the normal players. Uh, I don't, I have zero thoughts on Asmund gold. I've never watched any of his stuff. I, I read through the summary of his interview with Ian recently on Dragonflight, but that's the extent of anything. So I have, Zero thoughts. Zero thoughts. Neither positive nor negative. Literally nothing. <laughs> um, good morning, Zalk. Hello. Um, I don't want to pay for WoW. Teach me your ways. I do not make much gold doing dungeons. I make my gold through garrisons, actually. I use Drizzling Rose's Garrison Gold Making Guide. Uh, and that's how I got my Brutosaur. And that's how my main is sitting on 3 million gold. Um... And I've bought, I think I'm close to 10 million gold worth of mounts, but I haven't really kept very good track of it. So I'm not too sure, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, I, um, this, I'm doing this because people wanted to see me do it. People were like, oh my God, can you do like proper lack dungeons? And can we do a gold making stream with, with loot appraiser challenges? I'm like, yeah, sure, we can do that. So that's what I'm doing, um, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Uh, one of one of the people, one of my one of my colleagues, another creator that I know who is phenomenal at this shit is Persephone. Um, Persephone does a lot more like lax and that kind of stuff. Um, also like the two by four farm thingamajigs and stuff. Like, and she fucking rocks it. She's so good at that stuff. She is American, so she streams different times that I do because I am in a different time zone. Um, but she's definitely who I'd recommend going to regarding specifically like transmog farming for profit. Uh, I am very bad at that part. Yep. <laughs> Soz. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, garrison gold making. I don't know precisely how many characters you need because the more, the more alts you have with garrisons set up, the more gold you make. You know, because you make like a certain amount per week per garrison kind of thing. Um, so the more alts you have with the garrison set up, the more gold you can make. Drizzling Rose would probably be able to tell you how many tunes you'd need in order to pay for your sub in terms of like gold making capability. I don't know the math of that, I'm sorry. Um, but Rose is phenomenal at that stuff. Like utterly just very, very good. Very good at what she does. Very good. Um, yes. No, I know I didn't start the challenge. I'm not in the dungeon yet. <laughs> we don't start the challenge till we're in the dungeon. <laughs> Come on. Um, oh, that, no, that's because it's the last one. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> I was just fighting my way into the portal. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, all right, where's, how are we looking? We'll just resend that quick to see if there's, yep, a couple more people there. Um, 
Uh, literally, the message above you, Snippet, is the is the link to the Garrison Guide. What are you gold farmers too? Oh yeah, there's there's a ton out there. I'm just not too sure about who they are and what they do and all that kind of stuff. I but I can definitely vouch for person her content. Um, hmm. I guess in two twenty million each. Must have across a couple of tunes, yeah. We started outside. No, no. This is this is a fear challenges. We play by my rules. Hmm. Went in the wrong cave. Should have gone one under him. What? What is this one? Where am I? I'm in Alderman. This is the one I always start in. We're in Alderman. I know it's just faster. No, nah, no. Nah. This, this is, I, I don't care. <laughs> this is where we are. This is, yeah, we're good. We're fine. What did Lydia Sun Glow? Ah, oh, quests. Okay, we can pick these up. Glory to the Sindor Eye. Yes. A Remember that part where I don't give a shit? Yeah, Anaria. that's, that's that part. <laughs> we are, this is, this is for funsies. Alrighty. Let's do this. Uh, red check. Um, I need to go to the right one. 200 points. None of them are wrong. Good for it. Are they, sorry, hang on. Are you saying that, Zam, because I have taken the wrong one and you're trying to encourage me not to take the right one so that you can win? Oh, I have hero zone drops to go. That's a good thing then, me. Make sure you clear all the trash. I'm gonna be very quick and go refill my drink while this is happening. Ha ha! Timing. Congratulations to uh, Pack, Demon, Seeker, Silver, Thor, Death, Zam, and Zelk. All of the bonus shit. Well done. Where are we going? Middle. This one. Go. Um. Can I Templar? No. Can I? No. Can't Flying Rogue either. Uh, okay. Level the stuff then. Did I have one of these done? I did. One kill. Really. Five assists. Okay. Three to one go. You love me. I like it. Oh, it goes all the way around that way. Okay. It's been a little while since I've been in here. Ah, oh, that's right. It's, yep, yeah, okay. Boop. Boop. Whee! I'm having so much fun. Can you tell? You! No. I beg your pardon. Oh! Hello. Nice, a BWE I don't have. Also, uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um, <laughs> I like that. Can we can we get like a, a clip or a screenshot of that leaderboard, please and thank you? Because it's never gonna happen again. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I'm very happy about that. That's fantastic. Uh, Zam, 100% shady. Agreed. Always 100% shady, but that's why we love him. Uh, 
know she's on to me. All the mothers have had a good day. Agreed. Agreed, dupe. Um. Uh, Seeker, so probably yes with context. Um, but then you'd go in and you'd remove it from the allowed list so that other people can't use it without context. That would be, yeah. Sorry, I just saw the message. Um. Hello, champion. I am also from Australia, which I'm sure you probably figured out by now. <laughs> Welcome on in. Um, I'm also from Australia. Indeed. Indeed. I mean, I'm supposed to click on this, aren't I? Mwah! I did get I did get that one. Gin Ginsu? Jinsu? Not sure how to pronounce it, but I did. Yes. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. You have an awesome witchy laugh. Good. I'm glad you enjoy it, Yim. This is Warcraft. Wonderful. Uh, so Dupe's comment about the mofos was in regards to the, the happy holiday. Um, or the, the happy, the happy celebrated day today. I know it was a, a bit late because I missed the, the question. Um, but we're all good. Everything is fine. Um, uh, this is what happens when you go to the wrong dungeon. You get things that are worth nearly 90k. Yes, correct. Everyone gets upset with you. <laughs> you, yeah, caused a learning experience. Indeed you did. Indeed you did. I'm glad. Because, I mean, like, how do we how do we learn anything without, like, learning experiences, you know? Um, yes, there we go. Perfect. Uh, oh, not, uh, hmm. Double check with Jas and Sheebs around, I think it's remove permitted term rather than add blocked term but I'm not 100% sure I don't remember exactly um I that might be the same thing I'm really not sure uh you'd have to double check with them because I don't tend to do it in fact I don't think I've ever done that um so that's fun it's an enchanting Hello. enchanting trainer okay don't care um good all right There is a specific group that I used to use when I went through here and now I've forgotten what it is. But I think, yeah, I've, I've bucked it up, I think. Because usually I hit here and there's nothing on this side of it, but that's okay. I think I've only missed this pack here, which is good. <sighs> I've done this a fair bit on fear, but not so much. Not for a while. Not for a while. Um, the drop when I was getting a drink. Uh, yeah, the sword. If you have the most valuable items overall, bit on your ah oh, no, your yeah, you've just joined the thing. Yeah, so if you see that most valuable items, it'll tell you like the top stuff that people have had dropped lately. But yeah, one of my what like of the first four or five packs, I ended up getting a boe, and it seems like so many of the boes here are just ridiculously expensive which I'm alright with so why not especially when they drop for me just just you watch though someone will get a fez drop and I'll be knocked out of first place I can't I can't win I cannot win that's not what happens um Jinsu. hi a lich how you doing okay did know about that one it didn't show up in permitted Interesting. Okay, sure. Not a worry. Um, yeah, like I said, I am a little bit unaware of some of the stuff that happens on the mod side of things because I don't have to do it. <laughs> I have mods who do that so that I can focus on the content creation side of things. Um, Cheated by looking behind the tip jar. Ah, oh, right. Yep. Yeah, I forgot that the tip jar is in front of that. Oops. 
I get you? I did get you. Oh, that might be a timing thing. Done this now. Uh, committed. It's not showing up for losing. Ah, oh, that's really odd. Okay, fair. Like, I yeah, definitely not like in trouble or anything like that. More just kind of trying to figure out what's going on. It's okay. Uh, there's only like four or five, five or six blue buoys, and all the greens are worthless. Oh dear. Yeah, there are so many buoys in here. So many. You said the window here, so I will make you do mod things. Window, correct. Correct. Yeah, there are like even my dashboard occasionally bugs out and I have to refresh the page to see new redemptions and stuff. It's uh it's a fun time. Okay. I have a stretch of my redemptions, speaking of. For learning opportunities. Love it. Ah, oh dear. Practice the timeouts, I would know her. Oh dear. Let's oh, use for gold farming. Um, well, we're currently using Loot Appraiser alongside Loot Appraiser Challenge, but I don't really do this very often so I'm not like this awesome person who who does this lots um there are plenty of gold farm like I do garrison gold making for my for like the vast majority of my gold I don't do like dungeon Ooh, runs and transmog because it doesn't sell on my server it's it's crap um so uh the the person I personally would recommend uh is Persephone um she's like She's just lovely and she, like our personalities are really like they mesh really well and stuff. So I, I really I can vouch for her content totally. Um, but there are so many others out there as well uh, and they will be far better to ask about that. But yeah, all I'm using at the moment is Loot Appraiser uh, and then this bit's Loot Appraiser Challenge, which enables you to connect with other players to do Loot Appraiser together to see who can make the most gold essentially. Um, yeah, it doesn't help you make any more gold. It just, it makes it more fun. Mmm. Mmm. Does Twitch have the old Scunthorpe problem? I have no idea what that means. I'm gonna need to empty my bags next time I do that, I think. Oh, I missed a The eternal sun guides what us. What business have you? Our Jewel enemies will run. fall. Victory lies ahead. Pause. Oh, okay. Hold your head high. Sure. Unintentional blocking of websites, emails from decisions, also for decisions. I've seen otherwise unacceptable meaning. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I I use auto mod, and there are different levels to auto mod. So like you can block a whole lot of stuff, or you can only block like the most extreme of that stuff. Like it's it's very customizable. Um, I know that it would automatically turn stuff with a dot in it to a link, uh, but 
I'm I'm not too sure. Like if you put in a whole string of just letters, like if you if you had like, I know that if you try to replace the I in dick with an exclamation mark, for example, it can pick up on that kind of stuff and block it. Um, but because I I had someone come in and say something very untoward uh, directed at me, obviously. Um, and then we blocked their message, but we didn't ban them right off the bat. We just kind of, you know, we're like, really? Get get some creativity in ya. Uh, and then they tried to say the exact same message, but went through and replaced all the letters with numbers and tried to, like, essentially made it leet speak. And it still picked up on it. I don't know if that's because it was the same person trying to do it, and so it recognized that, or if it was because it genuinely just recognized all those words in leet speak as well. Uh, but yeah, like auto mod is very handy, very, very handy, but I don't think it'll pick up on random words in a whole, just a string of letters. I don't know. Um, yeah. a turn problem gained its notoriety. Ah, interesting. That would, uh, that would make sense. Imagine they had a lot of their stuff blocked. Uh, what's your add-on that calls you rare drops? Uh... I... am unclear with what you're asking. What do you mean by calls? Uh, I'm not using rarity at the moment. I mean, I do have rarity installed, but rarity counts how many times you've attempted for a particular rare item. Um, and nothing in here is on my rarity list because none of them are like mounts or toys or pets or anything. So rarity wouldn't be active here. It could be this stuff here, that's Ludopraiser, as it says in the header. This is Ludopraiser Challenge, again, as it says in the header. And then this is part of those two as well, which is why they all look the same. Um, so that might be what you're looking for. But I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, and then this up here, this is all, all the things, as it says again in the header. Um, most add-ons do tell you what they are um, in their header and stuff because it allows them to kind of advertise themselves as well. Uh, even even before streaming was the thing. Um, they would usually do that kind of stuff. Makes a sound, ATT sound. It's on cooldown. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the ding, like the auction house ding, that one. Thank you, game. That auction house ding is from Loot Appraiser. Not from Ludopraiser Challenge, that one is just from Ludopraiser. The challenge part of the add-on just allows you to connect with other people who are doing it at the same time. Um, but that's from Ludopraiser to let you know that something above the value that you personally have set has dropped. So mine's set to ding anytime something over 100 gold drops. I think I missed that boss last time. Maybe. I think I did because it was flagged as crossed out because it's apparent that's the alliance boss. So it has a bigger loot table on alliance or something? I don't know. It's confusing. Isn't there a really rare axe in that dungeon? There are a lot of really rare drops in this dungeon. Um, there's a ton of uh, trash drop, like zone drops, um, which is stuff that drops from these kind of guys rather than bosses, and they have a super, 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 super low drop rate. Uh, but there are a whole ton of them. There's not just an axe. There's also a couple of helms for different armor types. There's uh, a bunch of different weapons. I got one today. Um, the Jinsu sword, which is what you can see here, valued at 86k. Uh, and it's a one-headed sword. Um, and I managed to get that drop in one of the first packs and everyone got a bit upset with me. 
Uh, but that's okay. I uh, just started playing WoW like five, four to five days ago. Nice. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. It's the key to video games, right? As long as you're having fun. You're having a blast, which is why I'm on my first run doing a full clear. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm on my second as well doing a full clear, but I've also like, I'm speedy. Speedy kitty. With like my kill button. But it is a it is labyrinthine in here. Like it's a mess. I'm surprised so many people are watching this game, considering how old it is. I mean, they do updates like fairly regularly and stuff, and there's like a lot of people who still play it. Um and making gold is a big thing for a lot of people because you're able to pay your subscription essentially in gold. Um, you use your gold to purchase WoW tokens and WoW tokens give you 30 days worth of game time so you don't have to spend money. Um, you spend in-game money instead of out-of-game IRL money. Uh, so you save yourself some dosh. So uh, yeah. No, there are a ton, like a ton of WoW streamers and I mean if you look at the, world, the race to world first uh, for raids and stuff like that, the big guilds in that race pull tens of thousands of viewers. Tens of thousands. It's definitely a thing. Hi! I forgot the measurements for the Um, equal and half. What's the half? Yogurt. Right. Of course you were right. You knew. Thank you, Jazz. He's making overnight oats for dinner. Ah, uh, for dinner. God damn, for breakfast. And best recipe I've ever come across. Best recipe for overnight oats I've come across is uh, equal measure oats, not quick oats, rolled oats. Like steel cut oats or rolled oats, not the quick stuff, because the quick stuff just gets too soppy and wet and Blech, the texture's not right. Um, so equal measure oats and milk, whatever milk you decide, we use soy milk, uh, and then half measure of yogurt, any yogurt you like. Coconut yogurt or uh, Greek yogurt or regular yogurt or whatever you want to use. But yeah, so like we do half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk and a quarter cup of yogurt per serve. And then you add your flavors, whatever you want to add to flavor it. And we had a ton, like we had a big old bag of peanuts that I'm like, I should use these up. And it's like, hey, peanut butter oats sound good. Um, so we grab a jar of um, smooth peanut butter and melt it in the microwave, not but in the, in the like spoon it out of the, the plastic jar and into a, a microwave safe container and um, melt it just quickly, like less than 30 seconds, just to make it wet and, and be able to stir through the oats properly. Because uh, if it's still kind of solid and creamy, then it doesn't really, it just stays as clumps and all the milk sort of just goes around it. But if you melt it first, it stirs through properly. Uh, and then sprinkle some actual peanuts on top with a drizzle of honey. Freaking delightful. Freaking delightful. Cheap as shit too. Super cheap. Mmm. Um. Updates mean more fun times. Absolutely. More new content to explore. More things to collect. Because I'm one of those. That's what I do. I collect stuff. Um. Updates but plans. Uh, I played lots of years ago. Went clean for a few years. Then just relapsed again. I've been playing for 15 and a bit years. Oh, it was 15 years in late January. Uh, I've taken a six month gap and an eight month gap, but uh, beyond that, it's been, yeah. Um, however, there have been some times in there. Um, there have been some times in there where I've played like once a week 
and then other times where I've played literally every day. Um, so, like, my, my play habits have changed throughout that time a bit here and there, but, um, yeah, for the most part, it's been pretty darn consistent. Mm, so much update. Most people have been upset listen. with WoW. Come back with some better uh, are looking at coming back. Uh, not too sure, really. Um, people who are upset with WoW don't tend to, to anyway. like being a part of my community. They like I've had a few people quit the game and they've left the community when they've done that. So I don't tend to hear the perspective of people who don't want to play, just because they don't they don't drop by and they don't they don't say, um, which is totally fine. Like I respect that one hundred percent. But, um, yeah. I mean, there is a new expansion that's just been announced uh, that won't be coming until, like, next year. Um, early-ish next year. Uh, so that might be what you're thinking of. Uh, lots of people tend to come back at an expansion, regardless of why they left, just to see if anything has, like, you know, if they want to play again. Uh, and that's totally reasonable too, understandably. Glory to the Sindora. Especially if you have a group of friends that you play with. Your wits about State your business. Yeah. Star Wars, it's older than WoW. There you go. <laughs> you think got me into WoW wanting to prep to attempt the race to world first on the next expansion. 90% of my 10 year vets. Wow, there you go. There you go. Yeah, 10 years is respectable. Like. I mean, not like three days is also respectable. That's not what I'm trying to get at. But um, yeah, the race to world first. It's a oof. It's a big deal. Um, it's a super big deal. Uh, a lot of the people in the guilds who have like the who host the massive streams and all that kind of stuff uh, tend to have uh, sponsorships, and they spend hundreds of millions of gold on uh, gear and all that kind of stuff and they all get together and it's like it's a really cool thing to watch like if if you're interested in that kind of stuff it's super interesting to watch uh, i imagine that they'll probably have vods and stuff that you'd be able to go back and have a look at as well uh, but it's a it's a huge deal so yeah if they're if they're looking at doing the race to world first it'll be it'll be hard work for them and they'll be uh they'll have a blast doing it i'm sure but um best of luck to them absolute best of luck um no limitation absolutely agreed agreed there is a lot to learn about the game like the game is enormous but don't let that put you off you're absolutely able to learn at your own pace Uh, hey, Lucky. Doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Welcome back. But I'm just never going to wear because of the subscription. Finally, so screw it. Try it out and see if it's worth it. Of course. Well, I mean, it for me, it's worth it. But I also play like a lot. Um, when you think about uh, the way I tend to think about most of my like entertainment purchases in terms of value, because for me, the WoW sub is worth it. I play you know, X number of hours a month. I, I, what do I, I stream 24 hours a week, but I do have some, like, I, I AFK camp stuff outside of stream. So I'm actually logged into the game. Oh. God, I wouldn't even know how many hours, but let's say it's just the 24 that I play for stream, right? 24 hours a week. Uh, what's that? 92 hours a month? So $14.99 divided by 92 hours, I'm paying cents per hour to play. Cents per hour to play. Um, so to me, that's worth it. Because, I mean, you look at some of your blockbuster games or whatever, they have 200 play hours and you're paying 80 bucks. Um, you know, does that, is that, is that, and for some people, absolutely it's worth it, 100%. And for others, it's not. And both of those are valid. But yeah, so for a subscription, for me, because of how much I play WoW, it's 100% worth it for me. But I absolutely understand that not everyone has the ability to play as much as I bloody well do. Uh, and not everyone wants to play as much as I bloody do either. And so, yeah, it's very much one of those personal decisions, eh? Hey? I 
am glad that it means that we don't have, like, we have, you can purchase things like cosmetics and stuff. Uh, you can obviously purchase game time, but um, that's a, but yeah, in terms of like microtransactions and pay, like pay to win style stuff, it's not a thing because we pay to play so they don't have to make up the money with their with the microtransactions and stuff like that it's more like cosmetics and and whatnot um so i'm yeah i am i'm pleased about that aspect of it i don't have to grind for hours for something that can be bought for seven dollars but that's just my perspective some people prefer the other way around and that's totally okay too um I... Did I go through... No, I didn't. God damn. I'm not doing very well today. Or this run, I should say. I know a lot of people who've played a lot less time than me. Jazz is one of them, and they're much better than me. I'm hopeless, but have fun. <laughs> and that's the key, isn't it? You gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. It's a video game. It's what they're designed for. Entertainment. Only two hours and oats, add a dollop of sour cream to chicken and corn soup. Willie's last night would make a huge difference to taste news experience. Oh, amazing! Oh, so good when you can add something little like that and it just kind of whole like lifts the whole thing. That's amazing. So good. Um, overwhelmed by how much stuff is in this game. Yeah, it's you got to remember that we're like 17 and a half years worth of content. That is a long time. I think the key to all that is to remember you don't have to do all of it. There's a lot of it that you may not enjoy and it is okay to ignore those parts of the game. You don't have to do everything to get your money's worth. Um, explore, stumble across something. If you wanna try it, give it a go. If it's not for you, that's fine. If it is and you really like it, explore it some more. Just have fun with it, explore the game kind of naturally, organically, if you will, and uh, see what draws your interest. It's definitely a big one, that's for sure. Um, hello Grim, how are you going? Uh, that button. Enjoy your lurk locks. This time should be no limitation. Yeah, absolutely. It came from Mount Farming because it helps bring be calm, so the community and lovely positivity. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Hey. Uh, next update, a lot of people from my group excited. All I kept hearing is they're finally doing the things community has asked for since the game released. I uh, personally don't know what they meant, but it whole, pulled my whole group into WoW. Uh, it might have been the cross-faction stuff that they're currently playing around with on PTR. That'd probably be what it is. Because, yeah, cross-faction is something we, we want to play with our friends no matter what they happen to choose, like what character they happen to make, uh, has been a big thing. Um, but it's or it is it is limited. So they're doing cross faction in dungeons and raids, like instanced content. So not in the outside open world, just in like like the dungeon that I'm doing at the moment. You'd be able to go in there with a horde and an alliance person, sort of thing. Uh, Seeker, Neke, Thor, Demon, Joe, Zam, Ducks, and Silver. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, the story behind World of Warcraft. I mean, war. It's in the name. Um, <laughs> has been that the Alliance faction and the Horde faction have been at war for a very long time. So they don't like each other very much. Um, however, across all the expansions we've played, we've teamed up a lot of times. Like we've, there's been this big, big bad threatening the world. And in order to defeat it, we've had to team up Alliance and Horde working together to try to get stuff done. Um, so the argument's been like, if we can team up temporarily for that, why can't we team up to do dungeons and stuff? Um, which is fair. So, uh, they're looking at doing, so instanced content like this, like a dungeon or a raid, 
Um, you'll be able to go in there with people from both factions. However, if you zone out, you'll be hostile to each other. So you can't you can't do quests together and stuff like that out in the open world, but you can do the dungeon and all raid together. There are a couple, couple of very specific limitations on that. Um, there have been some raids in the past where the Horde and Alliance have gotten different bosses, same loot tables, but slightly different bosses, uh, or they've walked a different path through a dungeon and stuff like that. So that wouldn't really work because you've got two versions of the dungeon. So those kind of dungeons or raids, people can't do together cross faction, but the other ones they're working on, they're working on making that a reality. Uh, and that's currently what's on the public test realm. We call it the PCR. So players can log on there and test that feature out and report bugs and things that they find so that hopefully there won't be as many bugs when it goes live and we all have access to it. Um, by gold you mean US dollars last part is funded by purchasing WoW tokens. Who dares awaken? Oh, yeah, like, but that, yeah, sponsorship dosh and stuff like that. I, I'm like, what are you in for? But you're talking about the race to world first. Um, but a lot of that gold is also funded, Sync, by the fact that once they're done with their stuff, they sell carries. <laughs> they sell the mount that you get from Heroic. And they, they sell carries through Mythic Plus keys and all that kind of crap. They make a crap load of gold doing it that way, too. Like, a crap load. It's not... Oh, right, I've got Dreamwalk, don't I? Um, yeah, it's, it's not... I would say probably not the majority is used through is done through um tokens the majority would have been earned through carries I'd say but we don't have access to well I don't have access to their, their accounting maybe they've made it public somewhere but um I haven't seen it so I can't tell you for certain Oh, it's an expansion, plenty of prep time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, over, uh, close to a year, I'd say. That's just my estimation. We don't have a date. This is just a, a guess that I'm throwing out there. I have no inside information. <sighs> that disclaimer is getting fun to make. Um, yes, free channel points. If you want to see Fia hunt toys, drop your channel points into the toy hunting stream community challenge under chat. There's a little campfire. Click it. There's a banner. Click that. Drop in points. They're free. And if we don't hit the goal of 100% today, today is the last day, if we don't hit that goal, um, you get the points back. Easy peasy. And that's automated. Like, I can't hold on to them. I just have to, like, I hit, you know, it, Twitch just does it. So that's good. I like when stuff's automated. <laughs> like, my social media scheduling makes my life infinitely easier. Um, okay, we do COVID test daily. Uh, Joker to interface with me with my dad while positive for COVID and get- Oh, Jesus Christ. It's okay, just mild symptoms, making jokes about inconvenience instead of freaking out. Done with love, not ab- Of course, yeah. And I mean, keeping people laughing and keeping their spirits high is proven to help recovery in a lot of things. So, like, yeah, for sure. I getcha. But that sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Good lord. Please tell me that the person who attended the face-to-face -face meeting has been, like, heavily reprimanded. Because, like, goddamn. I mean, okay, if they didn't know, then there, obviously there's that. Like, if they had like if they had no idea, they had no symptoms, all that kind of stuff, then, I mean, how could you possibly know sort of thing? But, oh, God, that sucks. It really sucks. Um... There's 100 plus a year, another 40 per expansion. Yeah, but again, how many hours do I get out of a year? What's well, 92 times 12 compared to you spend $100 plus on a AAA title and how many hours of playtime do you get out of that? People buy five or six AAA titles a year as the new hot thing comes out each time. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, from my perspective, it's hella worth it. I spend a hell of a lot less on video games that, than any of my gaming friends that I know. They all spend far more than I do. And I play a lot more than they do. <laughs> I mean, I also do it as part of my job, so that's fair enough, but yeah.
Oh, I really doubt it. So soon. Agreed. Agreed. You should have made most of the jokes with respect. I have to outdo him. Of course. Of course. That's brilliant. Um. Point is, there plenty of people who would blow more than 140 on Steam games a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice thing about being a druid is when you dream walk, you're in outdoor areas. And we're about end of end time. Yeah, I know. I did not do that last time, obviously, because I'm very good at this. I might. Because I'm close enough to the. I might just go do that now. Real quick, because I just realized. Um. Steal the secrets of the it's my be scary. Yeah, absolutely. He's from Adelaide. Hello, Raven. Uh, we're doing some gold farming. Terribly. It's great. I'm enjoying myself. I got an 86k sword though, so like, take that, Zam. <laughs> so much stuff, you have to do all of it. All of it! I know, Kriv, I know, but like, this is a person who's been playing four or five days. We let them ease into it, then we dump all the things on their head. You have to lure them in, you have to make sure that they're trapped before you dump all the things on their head. For anyone who doesn't know, Kriv is the developer behind all the things. <laughs> yep. We, we both love and hate them. <laughs> There's an add-on to track this stuff. I know, right? There's much lower. Yes, absolutely. There's a play time on it. Well done, Zalk. Well done. Did a few things with a screw up. Um, bought the heroic upgrade jump from 39 to 50. Started Shadowlands. Yep. Fair. Totally fair. <laughs> Things so bushy. I'm sure taking it on. Yes. So very much like, oh yeah, the happy brain juice noises. Literally, we call them happy brain juice noises and they actually trigger a release of serotonin. So that's your fault, Griff. I hope you enjoy that. Um. <laughs> mm, yeah, it does. That does suck, Lich. I'm glad you're feeling better too. Better now than the time I ventilator relearned a walk for eight months. Good lord. Very much glad you're better now. Well, I hope I hope you're mostly better at least. Goodness gracious. Um all good. Um I see see for one. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to go into super duper too many details about exactly which ones are gonna be um uh excluded and stuff like that, simply because a player who's been doing like playing for under a week probably isn't gonna have too much reference to those kind of things um so i thought explaining it in broader terms would probably be more helpful um and less information overload because the one thing with wow when you're first starting to play now 17 and a half years into the game there is so much to know it's like when you start a new job and you're just constantly exhausted because you're learning, 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 learning all this information all at once. Like, it's it's information overload. And it drains you. It actually drains you. So if you feel that way from overload of information from a video game, what's the chance you're going to stick with it? What's the chance you're going to be like, Jesus, this is too much. I don't know if I can learn all of this. How am I supposed to remember everything? Bugger it, I'm out. So yeah, info overload is, is a problem uh, in WoW. So trying to keep it more general uh, is is a nice thing to do for for the newbies, for the baby Murlocs in chat, in the in the newcomers chat. Uh, crap, I went the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, good morning, Albion. Good morning. Stole a horde airship to travel one continent to another, kill the ship AI over and over on the way. Could be either looking for an alliance ship. Oh my god. Um, so the alliance stuff goes from Stormwind. Most of the ships go from Stormwind, which is your, like, capital city for alliance. That's hilarious. Um. Good morning, Flib. Can't complain. Good. Glad to hear it. Maybe back hundreds of millions in WoW tokens would be an insane amount of money. Yeah. I mean, that's what sponsors are for, though. Like, legitimately. You know, we want, we want you to put the Red Bull logo on your stream. Okay, that will be 
twenty thousand dollars, please, and then you drop twenty thousand dollars on WoW tokens. Like it's that is what sponsors are for. Literally, what sponsors are for. Um, it's the same with elite athletes, you know, all the logos that they wear, all the clothes that they wear, all that kind of stuff, it's all paid, and then that money goes towards, um, uh, yeah, they have, uh, I'll explain that in a second, Sika. Um, so, uh, uh, what was I saying? Right, so all the logos, all the clothes, and all that, everything like that that they wear, it's all advertising for those sporting goods brands, but they also get money for that, and that money goes towards paying their trainers, paying their coaches, paying their flights, paying their accommodation, and paying them a fucking salary. Like, all that kind of stuff comes from that sponsorship money. It's the same thing with World First Race people. Um, all that sponsorship money goes towards getting the gear to help them win because the more you win, the more world firsts you have under your belt, the more sponsors you can attract, so the better you can pay your people, then the more successful you'll be next time and all because you have the money to spend and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how all that works. Um, it's, it is mind-blowing thinking of the numbers, but then you've also got to think that a Mythic Plus team is how, like, oh, sorry, not Mythic Plus team, a Mythic Raid team. That's 20 people minimum. Plus you got your backups, plus you got your coaches, plus you got your strategizers, you've got your social media managers, you've got your, your administrators, you've got HR and payroll, all these different people who manage all that kind of, you've got the people who actually reach out to sponsors and organize it. All those people need to be paid. They're not volunteers. <laughs> so all that money that they make from all those sponsorships and stuff makes their business run and their business, the product is content, like me, sort of, you know, obviously a different kind of content, but it's also the content is world first skills or placement in world first, so, you know, podium finishes for world first skills. That is the product that they generate in return, like, for those, those sponsors, because the more successful they are, the more viewers they get, and the more people see those brands, and, yeah, it's all... Uh, it's, I, if honestly, it fascinates the hell out of me. Like, I, I love this stuff, luckily, because it's kind of my business. Uh, but, like, it's just, it's super interesting how all that kind of stuff, and this is all assumptions. This is all, like, I know how businesses work, and I have a pretty decent understanding of how, like, content creation and influencer businesses work. So I can extrapolate that information to what is likely that they will be doing obviously it's not going to be exact and the, the 20,000 figure I pulled out the air like that's not excuse me that's not accurate that's not a thing that I know it's just a number I used as an example but yeah it's uh, it's super interesting right so anyone who has been in here and has dropped a message in chat and it's been your first time being here usually I acknowledge that and say hey welcome to chat I hope you're having a lovely time and all that kind of stuff but twitch broke it twitch broke it they've done an update which is a really, really cool update, if it bloody worked. It's currently in testing on some channels, not all channels, but it's broken it for all channels. So some channels that are having the testing at the moment um, can highlight not just first time chatters, they can also highlight mod messages just for us, like just for the streamer, so we can see someone being a first time chatter, a mod message, um, VIP messages so that we can make sure we pay attention to our VIPs, all that kind of stuff. That's all, th that's what they're testing, is customizable. Like, you can turn first-time chatters off, but have highlights for your mods when they say something. That kind of stuff. Um, but in doing that testing, they broke first-time chatter for everybody else. So I can't see if you've only, like, if this is the first time you're speaking in chat. I can't see it. So I do apologize that you're not getting the recognition and welcome that you deserve. Unfortunately, it is it is what it is. And I've just realized I'm 11 minutes behind on chat again. So good. Uh, that's right though, because the time is on zero. So we're gonna finish off this run and then I'm gonna catch up on chat as quickly as I can. It's gonna be a lightning round while fear, chat while fear catches up. It is your days based on nothing at all. Are you farming for anything particular? Gold. I like gold. Um, that was a terrible impression. I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, no, the intention of this is gold farming. I'm just not very good at it. Um, articles with really so much gold they spent and what that would be in real world currency, 90k, I think it was one of the guilds, but yeah, not the breakdown how much was token versus past patronings. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think they would release that 
because then they're almost to the point of releasing their financial information and that's not necessarily any of our business. Uh, so I get why they haven't released that. But it is interesting to kind of discuss what, what those kind of things could be. Um, yeah. Ping, ping. All right. Here we go. Compared to board and lodging, you know, silly there's not even that much to pages at. No, exactly, right? A whole ass team. And again, it's not just the 20. You've got backups. You've got staff. You've got, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, cannot prove he knew. Uh, but he's made remarks in the past about COVID being a hoax and he didn't need to get vaccinated. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, that is dreadful. Agreed. Um, started playing retail past couple of weeks, working my way through Shadowlands campaign. I hope you're enjoying it, Alvian. Got 3,000 hours out of Warframe. It was zero dollars. Fantastic. Good on you. Um, I do know other people, however, that got uh, lots and lots of time out of Warframe and spent crap loads on it. But that's, you know, each individual. Some people do like to pay for things like your, your upgrades and things like that, and others don't. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I can play this game in such a way I pay for my game time and add funds to Battle.net to buy other stuff. Yay! Uh, dump all of what? Huh? I don't remember. That was a while ago. Sorry. Uh, Bath Arbos is a free conga line. Forever banned from Elderman runs? No. Wrong. Ooh, did we do the emote only? Um, boo. Do it. I'm just okay with it. Brilliant. Serotonin, good. Yes. Uh, I don't know why my like pop up is all squished. Post a screen in the Warcraft channel. Oh, that's interesting. Um, you can ban her if she gets people first. I've already had one. I already had one and I equipped it and yeah, everyone was very angry with me. Ah, uh, my headset is boop booping at me. Is that battery? Yes. Um, it's either bat- if you can hear stuff going on, like if you can hear your game noises and stuff, it's still connected, then it's battery. If it's boop booping and you can't hear anything, it means it's disconnected. Uh, but also if you've got, um, wait, have you got the 733 or the G435? I don't remember which one you've got. If you've got the 435, yeah, the boop boop is battery. Um, with the G733s, if you look in a mirror and your LEDs are red, then it's battery as well. Um, I have nine, seven, twice in 10 minutes. Always gets the whistle every time you wear shorts. Huh? Uh, I know a lot about where I spent years playing with people who play for 10 plus years. Fair enough. Fair enough. Go to your own pace as well. Is there for? Yes, absolutely. Played Warframe low. You want information overload? Try that game. I can imagine. Oh, that was unnerving. Legitimately had those exact thoughts when I first played WoW. Strange to hear them come out of someone else. Yeah, I, I totally understand it. I mean, I've been playing since the start of BC, so I kind of got drip fed all that information over the course of 15 years, but it is it is a lot. It's a lot to try to take it all in all at once. Um, except the elite athletes aren't buying WoW tokens, probably. Probably, but they are buying stuff to help them train better and all that kind of shit, which is the same sort of deal. Uh, human curious about Paladin, fantastic. Um... Uh, hey, Akram, welcome back. Dang it, Twitch. Yep, Twitch broke it. Uh, Pretty and content, you can know, let that fly only because you're actively getting better through effort. Well, yeah. How else the f how the fuck else did I grow? How did I make partner if I didn't have knowledge on how to... Come on now. <laughs> uh, I saw that when I was streaming. That it yeah, it's super annoying. Super annoying. Uh, who knew? Uh, I'm new. No, you're not. We can click you and see that you have... Uh, 999 plus messages. Had to wait for it to load. Uh, any mods want to activate emote early chat and redeemed earlier? Did anyone do? Yes, just said it. Cool. Thank you. I just, I wasn't sure if it had been done because I, ha I hadn't gotten up to it yet. But I love gold every day at work. Shana Essentia is recommended for gold farming. Yeah, but it's such a random drop. I don't know. Um, yes, follow Fear on socials. I promise I try to make good content everywhere, not just on Twitch. Um... This flashy red of doom. Yeah, battery. Battery. It's like the, the they call it red breathing because it kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's battery. But you can still use them with them plugged in, so it's okay. Uh, are we back? Next dungeon. Yes, next dungeon. Good morning, Sen. Good morning. All right. Ad starting soon. Phenomenal. Let's turn this one on and then alt tab to the actual good... Is that mana tombs? I'm gonna call it mana tombs. I don't know if it's supposed to be mana tombs, but we're gonna go mana tombs. I think so too. Like, I don't know what else it could be. That's the first thing that comes to mind. And mana tombs is a pretty easy one to run for gold, so yep. Magister's Terrace. Ooh. 
actually that's gonna let me oops I forgot that did that I haven't done that I haven't done like uh, browser source cropped for a while um yeah Magister's Terrace isn't on this list it's it's just MT but I mm, mm, nah I reckon um Okay, just open Which ones get sent to three to four per hour? Oh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Time walking, matches is broken. Take a bite into change two, three nodes of adamantine. Or you make this dollars, matches is normal too. Oh, Jesus, Panda, I'm so sorry to hear that. My condolences. Yeah, go do what you need to do. Like, seriously. Go do what you need to do. Um, yeah, they may have gone back and made it normal as, yeah, they have, um, normal as well. Like when they released it, it might've been heroic only. I think it was heroic only. And then they go back and add like a normal version later. Um, but yeah, we'll do, we'll do mana tombs cause, um, yes. Uh, all right. No, of course, of course. Of course. Good afternoon, Jazz. Actually soon on TBC Classic then. I don't remember when they added it, actually. That's a that's a good question. Ah, uh, good evening, Trud. Welcome, welcome. Just more hopefully. Absolutely. Look, Panda, take the time you need, yeah? You you do what you gotta do. There's there is no rush. We will be here whenever you're ready. Or not, if it's a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Sorry, I sh I know I shouldn't be joking, but it's it's the whole you know that that like reflex in yeah, I'm sure you understand. Uh, when someone came out, well they yeah they did announce the summer patch for BC, so no 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 I sorry I knew when they released Magister's Terrace because it was part of that whole summer aisle. I'm talking about when did they release normal Magister's Terrace. What did they do it? Oh, no, okay, so it was always normal and heroic. And then in Pat in Kata, um, they said uh, there was a quest is no longer required to go into heroic mode. And then in Mists, it's accessible at 68 down from 70. So it looks like it was always a normal and heroic one. Interesting. I thought it, I, I was convinced it was heroic only as well, but, um, apparently not. Oh, well. You did have to unlock heroic mode by doing a quest, which was probably a completed in normal. That would make sense. Cool. But yeah, they have, I, I remember seeing something about the Sunwall patch for BC Classic. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that's probably coming at some point. Uh, you're right, it is Sunday, hey? Um, catching up is hard, so I've been all left off Lich King, come back with Shadowlands. This is a steep learning curve. The game has changed very much, yeah. Um, if you, if you kind of let go everything you thought you knew and relearn the game from the ground up, it's probably a lot better. But of course, you know, trying to forget old habits and stuff is, is very difficult. My collection 2 wasn't invested enough to- Oh, you know, totally fine. Totally fine. Ah, uh, I just knew it was normal. I got a few times of leveling. Perfect. Loved QT dailies. They were good fun. Good fun. Next week. Oh, it's coming out next week. Awesome. Awesome. Pretty much what I did. Yeah. And you kind of have to at that point, hey, because the game, like, I mean, 
the colors of the classes are the same and the classes are still called the same things. But yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Oh crap, where's my, I'll bugger it. I'll just pop Katie. Cause uh, my bags are having a time. Just resubbed after quitting after leveling BFA. Good to see Shadow Priest got fixed eventually. Fair. I uh, I have never really enjoyed Shadow Priest, so I don't really play it very much. Um, have anything ancient to trade it's certainly not my favorite class, so I wouldn't know anything about what was broken or how it was fixed. And to be honest, eh, don't really care. Um, but hey, if you're having fun, that is what matters. As long as you're having fun. Um, Come back with some better stories. This one. Oh, she's on my. God damn it! I didn't see. Next in line, please. changes to talents and skills oh yeah absolutely that was uh mostly legion's fault there was like a great pruning of abilities and stuff like that because our our toolkits were just getting entirely too big uh, especially for a new player like trying to learn which of these 27 buttons i should be using when is is just a mess um so they got rid of a whole lot of abilities uh and condensed stuff down and then they brought a few back later on um but yeah, it's uh, the whole kit, like e every class's toolkit was just completely have a good day now. altered. Altered. Um, Preferences went up a bit again. Yeah, probably something released that you can buy with Battle Net Balance that people want. Best Priest, Best Priest. Oh, they're all Shadow Priests, but I still don't like playing them. Um, my Best Priest, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy what you play. Playing Legion for a lot of things. I loved Legion, honestly. It was phenomenal. It was so much fun. Uh, the whole RP backstory thing that my priest was. See if I can dig it up. So right, RP for is Oh, cool. And Holly still got like 45 buttons. I mean, I did say they added some things back. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's do this thing. Cancel that. Going mana tombs. If I can actually spell it correctly. Woo! Mana send. Okay. <clears throat> Zone in. Uh, Blitz Prime people on launch again. They are. They are. Well, at least in Australia, New Zealand region. I know that EU does it occasionally as well, but I'm not. I don't think. I don't think US does. I don't know. It's a bit confusing. It's all done. Like, all the regional teams handle their own stuff, which is kind of cool, but also kind of confusing sometimes. Alrighty. Mm hmm. Three, two, one, go! You watch. I'm gonna come last every, uh, everyone now. What just happened? There we go. Because it was in stealth, I think. Gift loot, please. There we go. Um, the amount you don't have that you're really hunting. Um, not really. I mean, we have Mount Farm Monday, and I farm a bunch of mounts, but there's nothing that I'm like, oh, I have to get my hands on that one. Um, I just, I want all of them. Like, <laughs> I want to collect all of them. It's like Pokemon, except more frustrating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and less battling. But yeah, nothing that I'm like super duper focused on. How about 
you. What have you been farming lately? Scarlet, welcome back. I was an E lunch this morning. She's looking for treasures, apparently. That's super cute. That's awesome. I mean, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. 94% for the stream girl. Oh my gosh, so close. So close. Has anyone not chipped in their channel points yet? Uh, Gluffle, Ducks, Seeker, Zem, Loza, Zalk, V, Pack, and Puddle. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, off we go to the next battle. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Help us do a win. Help us do a win. Okay. Uh, go team go. Yes, absolutely. Toy hunting. If you want to see me hunt some toys next month. This is how you control the content to an extent. Drop some embers in that pot. If we hit 100%, I'll do a toy farming stream next month. And tomorrow, being Monday, we'll have a new stream goal to work towards. So if we don't get this one today, everyone gets their embers back, their channel points. See, we got this, would you? Oh, you haven't done the quest media? Oh, no. Well, I mean, oh, do you mean the um the one for the keys and stuff? The prisoner keys? Yeah, that one's a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, this would you feel if you let's relax a bit next week? Yeah, look, that was, I absolutely made a boo-boo. Absolutely made a boo-boo. Uh, have you been going for the season Mythic Plus mount? Uh, yeah, a little bit here and there. Um, nothing, like, super... Ridiculous. Why was that exploding? Must have been the mana worms or something. Um, if you're people on the internet feeling, I'm doing pretty well, Scarlet. If you're talking about me, um, I'm not. I can't speak for chat, of course. But um, I hope you can say the same. I hope you're doing well. Oh wow! Only six more people to contribute will make the. Uh, if if everyone contributes the full two k. It's just six more people to make the make the stream challenge happen. That's pretty awesome. Super cool. Really close. Maybe I do need to bump it up like much higher, make you guys work for it. Uh, the last time we hit, yeah. Look, every time I come here, I'm like, oh right, that. If I were a full-time content creator, this would be where I'd have a list of things to do. And then we'd have like one stream every couple of weeks or every month where we all just band together and do back end shit. <laughs> like we go through and we get our Ethereum prison keys done. We go through and we get the quest from bloody, um, we do the two hours worth of Argus questing to get the set from Seed of the Triumvirate. We do all that kind of stuff. Like we do, we have a stream every so often where we just do the boring stuff, but we encourage everyone to do that so that they can get the fun collecting stuff done later, you know? But, um, I don't have the time to do that, unfortunately. Um, it's, uh, I don't, I don't have the, the ability to schedule in bonus streams like that. Uh, but if you want to help with that, you can follow me on socials. I, I know it's ridiculous, but social media reach actually has a really heavy impact on whether or not a person can earn money doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and so I want to become a full-time content creator. That's my goal. But in order to do that, I need financial stability, which means sponsorships, regular sponsorships and all that kind of stuff. And socials really do help with that. Um, Australia is not very big on sponsored streams because they don't like Australia with our culture doesn't really value video gaming. And so they don't tend to invest money into it to, to get stuff out there. Um, but uh, Instagram is freaking huge. Freaking huge. 
Uh, so yeah, Instagram reach is um, is a bigger deal than it should be. It is what it is, and I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna win the game, I have to play the game, uh, and so that's what I'm trying to do. Have anything ancient trains that would scare you? Two centuries old. I know there's a button. I always forget there's a button. Um. Boo -boo. So you took by the horns. Yeah, look. She's a hero. Hey, Eloza. How you going? Welcome back. Um. Two ninety nine k jingles. Yes. Happy brain juice. Love that for us. And for me, specifically. There's not much left in here that I need to get. It's quests. It's it's the quests to get the keys, to get, yeah, it's, yeah, all that shit. Mm, I give all that's okay, Sphere. That's awesome. Oh, I'm gonna get my fire mage up. Oh, anyone done? Hey, well done. Well done. Turns out my DPS sucks. It's okay. It takes practice. <laughs> to be good at anything, you need to practice, right? Simpers lift. Seven to me. Learning around to donate. We're gonna make it. We're gonna get there before the halfway point of stream. Uh, I'm just to work on branding. I'm just remember the boring stuff. It'd be massively popular. Exactly. Exactly. I'm sure if I advertise it as the back end, Kaz, I'd probably get the entirely wrong type of crowd though, so we'll have to work on that. <laughs> ah, the internet. Pick some of those future months, the shorter ones anyway, yeah, for sure. For sure. Someone's gotta like start keeping a list though, because I have entirely too many lists. Make a make a to do list, a back end to do list, and uh, once it's once it's long enough, we'll uh, yep. Hey, George, welcome back. Um, I do agree with just for I love city shoes. Yeah, because it's not your current content, undead. Um, so every time you hit, hey, there we go, community challenge complete. Every time there's a new expansion, so it's like, you know, you get like 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, like it requires, there's a big jump each expansion so that you can't level a new expansion using old expansions content. It's specifically designed that way. It is never, you've never been able to do that. Um... Uh, 237. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Not bad for a fresh level tune. Ah, oh, Sims, yes, we need them for social reach. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. The end of stream, will I give it to the estimated the gold race? Uh, no, because it resets the counter each dungeon, each challenge. But you could theoretically go through the VOD and look at the end. Because the the meet the leaderboard does tell you a total of everyone's as well as like everyone individually, but then a total as well. You have to see that and go through it. Um that way, unfortunately. Um Make a list to keep track of your list. Look, it's a bit that way, Crispy. It's a bit that way. So now we did do it. We did, of course, Zam is last. Always Zam is last. Zam holds out until it's, yeah. We know this. this. We know this. No. You must forgive me, but I was not expecting company. As you can see, we are somewhat preoccupied. Look, I'm getting lots of green drops, but, no but they're not super valuable. Host, Whereas Zam and Meaty have got, like, Meaty got, like, one big chunky drop. And then Zam's getting a lot of relatively valuable ones by the looks of things. So it's all a bit tricky. Also, Zam is um, EU, so different values. 
Um, you know, excited for dragons? Yes. Welcome, folks. Who's from Rushy being advertised to be a launcher? That's me, Arthas. Hello. Um, Blizzard asked if I would like to be featured. There's a whole spiel, but, um, Blizzard like asked if I'd like to be featured over a year ago, and, um, because I'm fairly reliable and because I guess they've enjoyed my content and stuff, they haven't booted me off yet, so that's nice. <laughs> but it's been a great journey. Uh, I've met so many amazing people who have dropped by, who have discovered me through that. Uh, it's granted, like, it's given me access to so many awesome opportunities with other companies and stuff as well. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really awesome. Amazing ancient to trade greetings. It's been really it awesome. Two centuries old. Um, time to a second. So that's South Park where I'm so glad to me. You can't level the max in the starting area. Correct. They, uh, they look, they, they glossed over a few bits and pieces. It's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Ding, yay! Smash and pick up some side quests. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, the side quests are really good. Um, like if you see something, pick it up. Basically, uh, they'll get you there pretty easy. Um, Happy Mother's Day as a prize. Your children are going to try to murder each other all day. The announcer for my life, probably. Yeah, look, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Seeker. That sucks. <laughs> Has any of them attempted to beat the other one with a plush bat yet? Or just only the baseball bat. That might have been pretty good. Hey, that's awesome, dupe. Good to hear. Good to hear. I don't have much left to get from here. It's all the bloody questy stuff. Uh, being on Windows 11 is weird. I am not on Windows 11. Apparently my computer is not Windows 11 ready. I haven't bothered to check what it is yet though because I don't actually care and um, I don't have the money to replace whatever's out of date anyway. So it's fine. <laughs> I'm broke. Uh, we still have time. Windows 11. Awesome. I'm so glad you're having a good experience with it, Undead. That's fantastic news. So they say you play Mario Kart against them. Oh, did she win? <gasps> did they let her win for Mother's Day? Come on, you got her, right? You got her. Am I, am I redemption showing up? Oh, they are, okay, good. Uh, did we do Meaty's emote only? Uh, I know we did, I think it was Dupe who had an emote only. I think we did that, I don't think we did Meaty's. Not yet, okay, brilliant. Uh, Maybe we do now. Maybe we do now. Boop! There you go. Have fun. Show me all the pretty pictures. Show me all the adorable emotes you have from all your favorite streamers. Make them bounce across the stream. Yep, there's an emote wall. You make them happen in chat, they happen on the stream too. There's, of course, there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, because, you know, it depends on how your internet connection is and stuff. Uh, and also, Twitch is a thing sometimes. But, do the thing! Make the pretty happen. Yeah, yes, she but good. Wonderful. It's exactly what we needed. Exactly what we all needed. Ah, uh, cool. I can take that one off. Um. Ah, uh, and I've got some hydrates. And I have a stretch. Oh, when I play the family, I win. Husband doesn't enjoy it much. That's funny. That's hilarious. You've got just under a minute left of the emote only. And then you can go back to using your words again. Ugh. Oh my god, look at them all. They're adorable. Super cute. Ah oh dear. 20 seconds. What is this? 
this? You must forgive me, but I was not expecting company. As you can see, we are somewhat preoccupied right now. But no matter, as I am a gracious host. Here we go. You may use your words again. Um, did that one, and we have this one. So you got two minutes of this wonderful voice. You can blame George for that. Hey, is that actually new? No, it's a shed, shed appearance. God damn it. I'm like, my list hasn't moved. Why is my list hasn't moved? But I'm doing terribly today. I could have sworn I was getting some nice ping noises, but I guess not. Oh well. Well, to be honest, I was on Xbox eight years exactly, and before that, I was a PlayStation. So I decided to build a PC, which I didn't finish until March. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, uh, can't we finish this campaign in eight minutes? People are gonna have a blast with them. Oh, I, I have no doubt, Shiba. I have no doubt whatsoever. If you have a chance to catch up, it's not gonna happen. You know it's not gonna happen. I'm terrible at these. What are you farming? Gold. I'm just bad at it. Step closer and don't mumble. Ugh, I'm just, I'm bad at it. I'm also on a bad server cluster for selling um, transmog and stuff. But hey, we're having fun. And this is something that my viewers, my regular viewers asked for. And so, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Was it worth the change you see? Please, anywhere, Mike. Oh, dear. Yes, what are you farming? Gold. I'm just terrible. Good explanation there, Ant. It works. Summarizes all you need to know. It's alright, I make my gold through uh, garrison gold making. Uh, exclamation garrison. Singular will get you the link to Tristan Rose's guide that I use. Uh, but... This is, this is definitely more entertaining to watch than Garrison Gold Making, and it also gets more people involved, and that's what I like. I like playing with my viewers, it's good fun. Do you have a speed test? Uh, what do you mean? Like, the internet speed test thing? I mean, I've done them in the past, yes, but what do you mean do I have one? Oh, a speed set. Right, yeah, no, definitely not. Sorry, I was thinking, like, you know the speed test where you go to the website and it does the thing and it tells you how fast your internet goes? Yeah, no. I was very confused. I'm like, what? Why would I have one? What? Yeah. Good. Speed test, <laughs> yeah, no. No, this is, I, like I said, this is not something I do regularly. I make my gold through the garrisons from Wars of Journal. Uh... My, my server cluster is terrible for selling transmog, so there is not much point to me like doing this properly and doing this as a thing. Uh, but if people want it to be done, then we do it occasionally. There we go. Uh... But I'm doing it on the druid because most of these dungeons, I have all the transmog for cloth, which is my mage is a main. And my, ma my main is a mage. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to go on the druid, because apparently that's like the, the done thing for Ludipraise challenges, and because, yeah, I don't have as much leather transmog I'm as I do I'm not a paladin! Uh... Correct, neither of the classes I mentioned are paladins. You are, you are bang on. Uh, seriously, no side quests popping up. Um, they're at all the quest hubs. For Bastion, they're at all the quest hubs that you went across. Um, so there's one in the middle, that hero's rest kind of place. There's one at the start zone, all that kind of stuff. Um, you might need to turn on show low level quests. Um, because, uh, and that was not new. That was a shared appearance as well. Um, yeah, you might need to turn on low level quests, like show low level quests. Uh, especially if you're like 54 or so. Um, but yeah, they're, they're there, unless you've already done them, basically. But there are four zones in, like, there, there's the four main leveling zones, and you do need to go through all of them on your first turn to, like, you have to finish all of the storyline anyway, uh, so, yeah, you might as well not try to skip it.
Can you stream an extra two hours? No. Why? Uh, what's up, your voice? It was uh, a gnome filter uh, effect from my blue microphones Yeti X World of Warcraft edition microphone that was so generously gifted to me by blue. So thankful. It's a beautiful microphone. Um, but yeah, it has a whole bunch of like voice effects built into the mic that are inspired by uh, World of Warcraft characters, creatures, and monsters, etc. Uh, and we have a redemption for channel points where uh, someone can choose one of them and I switch what my voice this? to it for a couple minutes. Uh, and that one was Gnome, I believe. Yeah, so that's what my voice was doing. It was being a Gnome. But no matter, as I am a gracious host. Ah, uh, what if I could redeem a counter for that? I mean, you absolutely could. The fan of your shit, like totally fine. We have not been totally fine. Introduced. What mic do you have? Sounds nice. It is a blue microphone. It's Yeti X World of Warcraft edition microphone. Um, tech wise and like actual build wise, it is identical to the Yeti X. Uh, it just looks prettier That's and pretty. has yeah, it's freaking it's gorgeous. Super it's really really gorgeous. Hi, Jazz. Milky or fruity? Milky. Okay. Because we have. Um, one of the ones that are already open, I think there's strawberry or honeydew. Actually, we have another pack of honeydew, so maybe honeydew. Okay. Yep. Hi, Zam. <laughs> Hi, she Are Zika. you knowledgeable about Legion fear? That no. is a very good question. Shut up! <laughs> I was going to say that's a very good question. I think it depends very heavily on what part of Legion you're talking about. I did play it. I played it a lot. Uh, but also, my memory's pretty crap. I'm an insomniac, and sleep is when your short-term memory is converted to long-term memory. So because I don't get that very often, uh, my memory fails fairly regularly. So I think if you ask your question, if I can't answer it, I'm fairly certain someone in chat will be able to. Uh, because that's the amazing thing when you are able to crowdsource an answer. I don't have to remember everything, which makes me feel a lot better about myself. So <laughs> feel free to ask away. But I loved Legion. I, I really enjoyed the expansion. So I would like to consider myself knowledgeable, but chances are you're going to ask me something that I have no idea about because that's how this kind of thing works. I get embarrassed live in front of a whole bunch of people regularly. It's great. Yep. Anyway, hi dude. <laughs> hi everybody. That's Jess. He is our head moderator, my housemate, my best friend. He's like, yeah, he's pretty awesome. And also now, um, does some socials for me occasionally. I believe I did all the side quests. Nothing is popping up. Fair. Um, you can check specific quests. Um. By like you can go to Wowhead, uh, which is like a database website, um, and they have a, like a copy pasteable thing to check whether or not you've completed that specific quest on that specific character. Um, but you would have to go through like each individual quest, which would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, honeydew. Honeydew is really tasty. It's a it like in terms of I don't really like actual honeydew melon, like the 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 fruit. Uh, but I really like Midori, and I really love honeydew milk tea. It's just really, really tasty. <laughs> really good. So apparently I like fake melon, not not real melon. Uh, I just tried to start it to get to work on unlocking Light Goat Race. Did the opening prologue, then boop. Talk to Illidus, Demon Boy, afterwards, and then nothing. No direction, no quests, nothing. You don't speak to Illidan at the start of... Did you skip the Legion intro, or did you go and do the scenario? If you don't have, um, so if you've turned in the quest, if it's a, if it's the breadcrumb quest to take you outside of your capital city, which might be the one you're talking about, um, there is a quest that, like, it's a breadcrumb that takes you to Illidan, I think, and then he gives you another quest. But you won't be able to see that on your map. He won't have the thing over his head and it won't be on your mini map if you don't have um, show low level quests enabled. So if you right click on your mini map and then trivial quests, 
tick, make sure that's ticked and that should help you find stuff because especially if you're 60, um, you won't be able to see shit. Um, <laughs> cause Legion is like several expansions old. But yeah, that sh I think that should help. Um, exactly, yep. Yeah. It's the brain thing. Hello, Berry! Welcome back! How you going, love? Um... Uh, do I have found some moves in Flight Master and Bastion Discovered are showing undiscovered? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's super weird. Uh, not Illidan, some demon going Stormwind. Like the race Illidus. Oh! Um, first turned on, I'm 51 currently. 51. Yeah, so it'll still show you, it'll still be showing as a trivial quest because Legion was like 45, which is six levels ago. Um, first time, the most happy has become an actual thing here. They do, Coas! Yeah, I did it once, never again. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I, I did one typo once in a poll and it has stuck permanently forever and a day. It's great, I love it. I uh, did the intro, we run about and slap some armies, got all the quests turned on, I'm 51 currently. Okay, so once you've done, once you've done the scenario where you split off and you're going through um, Argus, and not Argus, uh, Broken Shore with your class leaders, it's a scenario thing, you kill a ton of demons and then you kill like a demon that changes between Horde and Alliance at the platforms. Once you've done that, it teleports Dalaran. They take Dalaran and put it in in the, the Broken Shore, above the Broken Shore, and then you'll be in Dal, and that's where all your quests start from. So if you haven't done the scenario where you go and do all that stuff, then that's where you need to go back and do that. If you've never done it, but if you've done it on other tunes, I'm pretty sure you can skip it. I don't think you can if you've never done it before. Um, it's a thing. Um, grand. Pierce my ears. He's got a nice shoulder blanket. Yay! Oh, that's wonderful news. I'm so happy to hear that. Yay! So you can't remember can I was going to whatever quest I can find. It didn't teleport me to Dal. Didn't get a half stone either. Yep. You've missed a chunk of questing. You've you've missed something in the chain in the introductory chain then. Um. So. This is gonna try to step through it really, really quickly. Uh, legion, 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 legion. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what class are you? At the end of the intro. What class are you, Nee? Someone else have heard this before. Druid. Cool. Thank you. Intro and artifacts. This is gonna stop, stop, stop. Okay, so click War Chief's command board. Uh, accept Legion, Legion returns. Talk to Holgar Stormax. Wait, are you Horde Alliance? So then you turn in to be prepared. Um, eat, eat your last meal, polish your armor, empower your weapon, warm up with a jewel, um, accept the battle for Broken Shore. Uh, then you take the ship to the Broken Shore, and that's your scenario. Begin the scenario, travel to the Broken Shore, kill the demons, kill the Fell Lords. Um, Alliance? Okay, so most of this is roughly the same, um, but... Uh, yeah, kill the Fell Lords, destroy the Spires, kill the big boss dude, find Sylvanas and Bane, but except for you, I think it's Varian and someone. Um, shatter the four shielded anchors, assault the demon city. Uh, that was a percentage bar thing. You find... Tyrion. And then Croesus was the one that kind oh, of fought, fought these guys and then fought these guys and then fought until it died. And it used to be you'd have 20 Horde and 20 Alliance up on the and fighting it, but now you just do it solo. Um, uh, hold the Ridge, Assault the Broken Shore, turned in the Battle for Broken Shore, accepted Fate of the Horde, but it probably would be Fate of the Alliance maybe. Um, and then you talk to the big boss man. So I think for you that would not be Anduin. I can't remember. It's not Varian anymore, that's for sure. Um, and so it says, for me, report to Salfang. Then you enter the hold, and then I'm pretty sure, yeah, watch the dialogue. You learn the fate of everything that happened. You watch a cutscene. Um, and then for us, we pledged to Sylvanas because she was our new war chief at that point. Um, turned in Fate of the Horde, accepted Emissary, 
talk to Alari. The Soul Eater turned in emissary demons among us. We killed stuff outside Orgrimmar um, because there were a whole bunch of demons among us that were hiding. Uh, and then uh, in the blink of an eye is the porting of Dalaran. And that's Cadgar that does that. Uh, although this one says talk to El Elthin Darai. Um, but yeah, in the blink of an eye is the one you need, and then you talk to the Kirintor S emissary, and they teleport you to Dalaran. Let me confer with my sources. No. So yeah, that's kind of, that's where you need to be going. You need to go back to Stormwind and find which step you missed, because you've missed something. They are meant to teleport you to Dalaran. Doesn't matter what class you are, if you're doing it via chromie time walking or whatever, they, they will port you to Dal. That would scare you shellless. Good job, did I? Oh, look, I did too! Go me. Oh, crap. <laughs> Go me. But yeah, there's, um, you, you've you definitely missed a step. I can confirm that much. Um, you shouldn't be in the Broken Shore without having watched Cadgar port Dal. And wh as soon as you get there, you get, like, the very first quest that you turn in in Dalaran gives you your Hearthstone. I know because I've had to do it on a few tunes lately. Emissary should be an Alliance Emissary or one of the Demon Boys. I'm pretty sure it should be an Alliance Emissary because it's Cadgar who does the teleporting, not a Demon Boy. But yeah, you need the quest in the blink of an eye. Uh, I would recommend jumping onto Wowhead. There are two versions of the quest. I would recommend jumping onto Wowhead and finding the is quest flagged blah 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 copy paste line to check both of them. And if if both of them print false, it means that you haven't done that, which is what you need to do. You need to make sure you pick up that quest. And also check your log, make sure it's not in because it might be sitting in there. Um Hey a tree should be on the harbor and stormwind, emissary should be a hey all, hello. Dadgar, that was awesome. Yep. Yeah, it's Dadgar. This dagger. Oh, what quest showed us with 14,000, didn't even get 3k. Um, that doesn't sound right. The end of the stick is the main quest required for the Argus quest line. I couldn't tell you that because every tune I've ever done the Argus quest line on, I leveled through Legion. So I couldn't tell you that, sorry. Um. Um, your toy box look like? Uh, look, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's just not done yet. Um, I do have at least one special request for a particular toy to farm. Um, we want to get a group together and go and do Nomragon. The last boss in there, like there, there's a bonus boss after the last boss um, that scales to whatever current max level is. So you have to actually do that as a group, but he drops a toy. Um, so there is a request that we go do that. Uh, so we can definitely do that. Uh, beyond that, I was planning on just opening up ATT random and rolling random toys. But if anyone has particular requests or if we put together a list of really easy ones that I can just cross off with no problem, then, uh, then we should do those. Should they help? You're very welcome, Nu. I hope, hopefully, that kind of pinpoints the issue, and you can uh, get it sorted. I get a replacement on Hearthstone from Legend Main Lounge if you're already in the city and don't have it. Yes, but flagging it as completed, going into Legion, um, you there's a you can get the Dalaran Hearthstone, yes, but there's a lot of other stuff you can't do you need to have unlocked the expansion to be able to go through it. I'm pretty sure you can't do like, can you do artifact quest chains and stuff like that without doing the intro? I'm not, I, I've never tried, so I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, but yeah. I'm sure I saw that one, Snol. Yeah, I've, I soloed it once and then I'm pretty sure I tried, I, sorry, I tried to solo it once, I should say. I did not successfully do it. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure I forgot and went and tried to do it again another day, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I remember now. 
Um, ah, oh, shit. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, Zalk, Thurling, Zem, Silver, Loza, Fade, Meaty, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, go to this one. Forgot about that. Sorry, I was so focused on trying to get drops that are fucked up. Not like that ever happens to me. No, never. All the time. Um, alright, so this is what I was talking about. Um, I'm not doing too badly in terms of toys, but, what is this? um, there's, there's more to get. There's more to get. And so, yeah, I'll do, apart from the, the request from the Nomragon toy, um, there's also, yeah, I can, I can just use the ATT randomize feature. An epic bad bid you. How excited I will. Um. I remember to give 14k, Mr. Tour 7k, yep. Yeah, you need a lot of ex experience once you're in the in the Shadowlands re realm of leveling. Start the right way. Brilliant. Wonderful. Like the way I launched this highly new mass streamer. That's what brought me here. Love you. Oh, brilliant. Sync. I'm so glad to hear that. Yay. Um, uh, sounds respectable amount, as you say, so many more though. Exactly. Like I've got 660 mounts now, but there's like 200, more than 200 to go. Like, come on. That's what I'm like. I'm, I'm, I'm content with what I have. I'm happy with what I've managed to earn, but that does not mean I'm going to push for more. It does not mean I'm not going to push for more. Good Lord. I am doing very badly at this today. Clearly. Come back with some better stories. Uh, but yeah, it's it's and it's the same with like my content creation and and getting followers on socials and all that kind of stuff. I'm so happy that we cracked 1k on Insta. So like unbelievably over like that's awesome, absolutely awesome. Doesn't mean I'm not going to push for 2k. <laughs> You can be happy with what you've got and still want more. Thank you, Koalatron. Such an appropriate link drop. Koalatron is a bot. It's, it's yep. Such a good bot. Such a good bot. There's always listening. I know, right? It's kind of a little bit terrifying. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <clears throat> Paladin tanks uh, are overpowered. <laughs> Paladins are overpowered. Um, but often, if often it relies on the player being hella good as well, though. In order to take advantage of the full kit, it needs to be a really good player behind the keyboard, too. Has X been in the stream today? Not yet, I don't think. But that's okay. Koalatron does not equal Santa. No, look, Koalatron is very good at reminding people to do things and all that kind of stuff, but uh, no gifts from Koalatron. Excuse me. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Um, Quadron can eat my big toe. Why? That's not very nice. Not very nice of you. So the quest it should suggest to play is three. Baby tune da 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 Um, if you're doing side quests in Bastion and you're, like, leveled up a few levels already, it might have been suggesting three players at 50 or 51. That, you might also find that that's what's going on there. Um, but, like, I'm a mage. I'm squishy as hell, and there have been group quests that I've managed to solo as well. It's it's all just... It's really about using your cooldowns properly and, and watching all the different bits and pieces and dodging what you can dodge and interrupting and da 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 It's, yeah, it's definitely doable.
There is a, a skill set for it, though. Quadron's presence is all the gift we need. I love it. Beautiful. We get dehydrated now, do we? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, excuse me. Level 52. Yeah, I mean, you can take the hits, and so that'll get you a long way in terms of group quests. Squishier characters will have a bit of trouble staying alive long enough to do the damage to kill it, but if you can survive the hits, and you can heal yourself, then you'll be able, no matter how little damage you're doing, you'll be able to just outlast it. What is this? Um, which doesn't necessarily an overpowered class make. Oh, hey, look! But no matter, as I am a gracious host, I will tend to you. <sighs> and I have that too, it means I can sell it. I have the appearance, I should say. Ah, I we have not been properly introduced. To be a DK, yeah, DKs have a lot of self-healing and can survive a ton of hits too, yeah. They're, they're quite good at that, can confirm. What was that red drink from earlier? This one. It's fizzy water with a dash of like flavoring in it. Um, it's like uh, the the brand is called Tea Press, like Express, except tea instead of X. Yep. Um, and they do like tea concentrates. They do a like a straight black tea, a straight green tea, and stuff like that. But then they also have some fruity flavor ones as well. Uh, and a little dash of that in water is really freaking tasty. Uh, and it's good because Brisbane water tastes like mud. Because of the high mineral content in Brisbane water, it, ta it tastes like dirt, literally. Uh, so, because that's what's in dirt, minerals. Uh, <laughs> so to take that flavor away, or to cover it a little, uh, I, use, uh, I use flavoring. Uh, regarding druids can do a lot of group content. Absolutely. I mean, again, it does depend on the player. Like, there will there will be some players out there who don't quite have the skill set to use the whole kit appropriately, and so they might struggle. But uh, yeah, which is it's why it's really difficult to to judge the overpoweredness of a class by like one or two different players. You know, got to look at all the data's. Uh, but yeah, they can't like my guardian druid can get away with a lot. Um, but. I still die when I pull too much. I'm still trying to learn where my uh, where my restrictions are. Uh, Victorian water like surf flavor. Yeah, I Sydney was not great either. I don't have enough experience with water from the other states, uh, but I did grow up in Victoria, and though I didn't I didn't like it much, it was certainly a whole lot better than Brisbane. A whole lot better. There's a fancy word for electrolytes, which plants crave. <laughs> They are two very different substances. You do know that, right? Yeah, Melbourne water is amazing. Compar comparatively, yeah, absolutely. I'm very really happy to drink it from the tap. Yep, agreed. Agreed. If I could send you Highland Spring Waters, tasty Scottish water. Ooh. Oh, look. That's actually a pattern I don't have as well. Holy cow, awesome. Look, Sam, I know you think you were catching me, but no. <laughs> ah, camper water is the best of the lot. Really? Interesting. Okay. Jake, you're Moonfang again! Yeah. Moonfang is a fun one, my goodness. My goodness. Uh, blame the instance limit for this loss. <laughs> oh no. Ah, sips clear North Queensland water. Oh, the water is clear in Southeast Queensland. It just tastes like shit. It's perfectly clear because, like, it's totally fine. It looks fine, and and Jas is okay with drinking all that kind of stuff. But I just can't stand it. It literally tastes like dirt. Say water is terrible. Oh, Raven, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take responsibility for my kids. Be responsible parent, porrent, porrent for my loss. Yeah, look. Look. 
all these runs and I still have two things that drop from Shafar that haven't dropped yet. Like, come on. Come on, water from Dublin, Coda Mountain Taz is the cleanest in the world. Interesting. Ever been to Adelaide? I have. Uh, back when I was a child. Not like a, a baby, like a, like a, uh, mid-teenager, I think? Um, the school I attended, we did, uh, it was called Music Tour. Um, all the bands and the choirs and all that kind of stuff went on a bus tour and we stopped off at a whole bunch of places along the way and performed. This? Um, you must and I was in choir. It was good fun. We are but we didn't, like... It was like, get off the bus, perform, eat, sleep, get on the bus, perform, but it, yeah, it was, I, I didn't get to like, go and do stuff or anything. <laughs> it was a school excursion, a school trip, a little bit different. Ah, I didn't like Adelaide Water, she could be a few times personal at this point. Brilliant. Turns out having chronic pain, trying to lift anything is recipe spending the next half hour on your kitchen floor, cursing at various deities in other news. I'm back. Welcome back, Lucky. Welcome back. Uh, so the timer is up. Is it time for a new dungeon? I do believe it is. I win. Was that two in a row? I'm I'm not angry at this development. I'm not angry at this. I never win these things. Never. Because I always get distracted talking to chat, and so I, yeah, it's fine. By the sun well. Dakran! Thank you so much for the resub. My god, thank you. 17 months. Holy cow. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. It truly means the world. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day as well. I hope you're doing super well. Bloaty McBloat Gloat. I don't get too often, Seeker. Step closer I don't get on. too often. So when the chance presents itself, the fucking oath. <laughs> Fine, leave. I was done talking to you. Um, I'm gonna need to send some mail. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Where are we going? Uh, hang on a second. Let me fix that. Cool. Ah! Uh. Wailing Cabins. Wailing Cabins. Brilliant. Well, I'm using Dalaran Hearth, so while I'm there, I'll use the uh, uh, mailbox. Um, the Fiamma Victory, yas! Hasn't been up this early on a Sunday. Hello, Dak. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful early morning then. Streamer hacks. If it was streamer hacks, I'd win far more often. Let us be honest. I'm sorry, what? No. Absolutely not, Jasserith. Yelling at me from the bloody kitchen. Um a HB kind. Oh my god, right? I'm posting like 1500 auctions a day at this point or more, and it's just it's painful. Um, how do you make a ton of gold fast? Been trying to figure that out. You don't. Or you do carries. That's, that's basically the only way to do it fast. Um, but you need the, the skill set for that. Which you can absolutely develop, that's why it's a skill set. Um, but yeah. You do carries. Alright. 
Let's try that again. To see more of the glow tea streamer and her fun times. <laughs> Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Fia has just recently hit 1k followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all her profiles at allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma. Um, also, you can type socials, exclamation socials, into chat, or you can uh, scroll down under the video player and there's a bunch of links there. Uh, in the, like, the about Fiamma bit. Yeah. Whole bunch of stuff just there for you, too. I said maybe it's 5k for selling a hammer I got in a dungeon on the auction house. It's selling transmog is one way to get stuff. Get gold. Uh, I'm about to look up the guy then realized I can watch Fear Lol. Ah, uh, you full named him. I did! I did. Zuldazar. <gasps> Wailing Caverns is a pet dungeon, too! Oh, god, yes. Okay. Listen to this to ring to you. Yep. Like batteries, but glowed. Was it catering like the WoW cookbook? Cooking stream confirmed by Sheba. Well, Sheba can do a cooking stream. Selling all items from Manatee Potions, everything. Yes. Oh, no, that wasn't selling. That was um, mailing to Fear. But yeah, I'll stick them all on the auction house. Um, if they... Oh, no? Not a pet dungeon. I don't know. Um, if they don't sell on the auction house after a few days, then I'll just vendor them. Um, yeah, I'd give it a crack, though. Uh, tanks don't carry, we survive even if no one else does. Uh, you still need a good tank to do carries. Um. So a carry is more than just killing stuff quickly and preventing the person from dying or getting them the end boss or whatever. Thank you. Oh gosh, that looks delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, you want me to cut into it, see if it's done. <laughs> um. Uh, especially for Mythic Plus, um, a good carry, like, they need to know the route, they need to know which packs to pull and when, and how much their group can handle at a time so they can get the packs pulled faster. That's perfect. Eat poop. You okay there? Making sure that you're eating. You tend to not eat food while you're streaming. That's because I can't talk and eat at the same time. Yeah, well, I'll put them over. I, do I not finish dinner after stream if I don't finish it on stream? Sometimes. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> That's good, though. Hmm, tasty. Um, but yeah, like, uh, a tank and a carry, like a, a good carry with a good tank. Knows the routes back to front, knows which ones to pull when, knows when to stop chain pulling, when to keep chain pulling, all that kind of, like, it's... Yeah, it's, it's not just don't die. For a good carry. And a good carry gets you a reputation of doing good carries, which gets you more buyers. And if you can do it faster, like the, fa I mean, yes, okay, you just need to make timer, but the faster you do it, the more carry, the more carries you can fit into an hour, the more money you can make. <clears throat> yeah, garrison gold making. Super passive, super easy. Good for beginners. Sheba will do no such thing. Noted. And you eat the food command needed. This is why I'm terrified of playing tank. No, look, tanking is fine. And all of that stuff that I just listed, all of it has to be learned. Like, when a new expansion launches, nobody knows the correct route. Someone has to build them. Nobody knows, like, in, in every single group is going to be different. Your healer is going to be of a different capability every time you form up and have a different healer. The amount of DPS your group can put out is going to be different every single time and all that kind of stuff. <gasps> Bubble tea! Thank you. And I remember the pearls. You did remember the pearls. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. Oh, I missed it. I was too busy staring at the bubble tea. <laughs> How are you going? What? How could you miss Wailing Caverns? It's so easy to see. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> no, it's not. I know. I mean, it is a giant skull. And? It's a giant skull surrounded by trees. Yeah, you like every single tank who knows their roots and all that kind of stuff has like they had to learn them 
or grab a, a where do you grab your roots from? There's like a there's an add-on that you can see what packs to pull in, what order, and all that kind of stuff in game. And you can download like other it's like you know uploading a profile. Someone can you can download that profile and then follow their instructions for a route and all that kind of stuff. Like it's yeah, what is that add-on called? I don't know, I don't use it. Oh, don't you? I just have it up on my second screen. Oh, okay, yeah, that's also <laughs> that as an option. Far better option than having to open it up while I'm halfway through tanking something. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. I got the second screen, I may as well use it. Yeah, for sure. Hi. For sure, see ya. Um, this is a pet dungeon. What a carry is, or how you make gold on that. Um, yep, so a carry is when you have a group of four people, usually. Um, usually it'll be a tank, a healer, and two DPS, and then you sell the fifth place to another DPS or, or another person, and then they come into the group, and they, some, some, uh, some groups have them like die in a corner and stay dead the whole run. Some people have them come along because they're not afraid that they'll screw up the run or pull extra stuff or whatever. Um, and basically the four of you do all the work and the fifth person either doesn't have to or can't because they're too low level or they don't know what they're doing or whatever. Um, and so you're carrying them through. Imagine the four players who know what they're doing grabbing the fifth player and putting them up on their shoulders and literally just carrying them through the dungeon. They don't do any of the work. The four people clear the dungeon in time and the person being carried gets gear at the end sometimes if the right type of gear drops uh, and they get credit for having completed the dungeon, which will get them points towards uh, Keystone Master, which is a Mythic Plus achievement. Uh, their Mythic Plus rating will go up, all that kind of stuff. And the, the four players will charge the fifth player gold and then split it four ways. And depending on what kind of key you're carrying, um, it you can sell that for air. And what server you're on and stuff like that, uh, it can go for hundreds of thousands of gold. And then you split that the four ways. Mm. So tasty. Mm. I keep changing two girls. Ember's not growing quickly enough. Uh, if you didn't unlock the teleport to Warcraft Pet Dungeon. I don't know. I thought I did, but maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. I think you don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to do that stuff. Um, that's, I'm talking about what's needed to be a good carry. <laughs> if you're not planning on carrying people, then you don't need to do any of that. You just need to, like, you know, know what to pull and stuff. You'll be fine. Should we get some poles going? Poles for what? Uh, we tend to make the roots before the expansion launches, to be honest. Yeah, but you don't, like, they still have to be tweaked. And they get tweaked every single patch and all that kind of stuff as well. But regardless, there is a point at which no one fucking knows what they're doing. Like, technically, whatever. What the, the point still stands. Someone had to make those roots. Someone had to go in there and see everything for the very first time and understand what had to happen. Like, doesn't matter when exactly that happened. It still had to happen. Good lord. Um, uh, tanks have, uh, I'm bigger and meaner than anything else in this dungeon mentality, and I'm a healer main at heart. Uh, not, not always they don't. Not always they don't. Um, mythic dungeon tools? Ah, that might be the one I'm thinking of, yeah. Ah, uh, Dragon Lossus roots every week for the affixes. There you go. Hello, Kane. Welcome in. Uh, first time here, can't sleep, but you've been upgraded and can't sleep because of the pain. Oh, I'm very sorry. I hope that you're feeling better. Uh, we do we do speak only English here, only because all of our mods only speak English and we can't moderate in other languages. Um, but I I hope that you're feeling better real soon. I hope you can get some painkillers after your after your surgery. Um ankle month back is still painful. Oof, yeah, I can imagine. You always make a shit ton of money. Yep. Yep. You can ease soon, yeah, absolutely. That's why we have beta lol. And again, Pac, you still need to go into beta and somebody still has to make those roots. My point has not changed. I, like, point hasn't changed, literally. Um, uh, where am I from? Australia. 
Uh, as Mitch Wiggs' expansion goes on. They have to be. They have to be. Every time there's new, the, the affixes change every season, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Smash was only say hi. My country name, Costa Rica. Totally fine, but we don't know that. You could have been calling me a slut for all I know. Like, I, I literally don't know because I only speak English. That's where we're coming from, is we can't, we cannot moderate in other languages. So it is English only chat. That's all. Um, all right. Let's do this thing. Um, you would be surprised what, well, actually you probably wouldn't, it is the, it is the internet. Uh, the type of shit people say in other languages to try to get it around the filters and all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's not on. So we just, you know, the assholes ruin it for everybody and, uh, we have to make the rules. Mm. You want to learn Dutch bad words? No, thank you. Uh, appreciate the offer, but uh, no thanks. Mm, thanks for the knowledge that's come out from our house and just kidding you kids. Hey! Mm, delayed congratulations. Take a verse, never about playing your group again. It's been a while. Oh, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just like honestly, don't go walking into a 17 as your first key. Like start small, start with your, you know, as you're, if, if you're still relearning your class, literally go do normal and heroic dungeons and then mythic and then start working your way up the levels of keys. Um, let them know that, you know, you know, oh, I'm new back or I haven't done a key with this affix before or whatever it happens to be. Um, yeah, most of the time communication will be, will be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Someone in for top 11 lines. I'm a healer. Huh? I'm assuming there's a typo in there or something, Kane. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't understand the sentence. I can't figure it out. Usually I'm okay at figuring out where the typo is and like correcting it in my brain, but I, I can't figure it out, sorry. Um. 21 is able to tank, sadly not really capable of tanking those keys. Spent over two hours in there. Yeah, and, and that's okay. Look, different people do have different capability levels, and that's not a problem. What, when it becomes a problem, is people not taking that into account and, and like, thinking that they're better than they are or expecting people to be better than they are. Like, you know, if you're in a 4 key and the tank isn't chain pulling, just because you can DPS faster or heal faster than they're pulling doesn't necessarily mean that they're comfortable doing that. You can encourage them and say, hey, you can definitely pull faster if you want to, or you can pull more packs at a time if you're comfortable doing so. But that doesn't mean they are. They're doing a four for a reason. If they were comfortable chain pulling and going super quick like you are, maybe they'd be doing a 17. <laughs> like. Like, but yeah, it's um. Then of course the opposite does always happen when you does also happen. I should say uh, when you've got someone who has done like a two and they blitzed it, and then they did a seven and they blitzed it, and so they go straight to a twenty one, and it's like, ah, oh, honey, there's gaps in there. There's there's steps in the middle there too that you should probably test first. <laughs> um, and then of course there are other people who genuinely don't understand how big of a jump it is from say a fifteen to a twenty. It's, it's a decent jump. It's not it's not small. Not for most players. Uh, so people not understanding that. It's like, oh, well, going from a 10 to a 15 was super easy, so I'll go from a 15 to a 20. It's a bit of a bigger jump. Like, it's, you know, so, and people don't under, and it, it's not ignorance in a malicious way. It's not them being an asshole. It's they genuinely don't know. And they made a bit of an oopsie. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, being polite and kind. Treating people with kindness will, you know, take go a long way. I'm asking if someone on Alliance side wanted to do Theater of Pain 11. Right. Um. Fair enough. Uh, Perky Pugs are really yes. Perky Pugs is a fantastic place. It's a Discord server. And they do like learning keys and stuff like that. They're phenomenal. I've been a part of that Discord for a very long time. Really, really good people in there. 
Um, for a bit, no worries, dude. Thank you for the lurk. Lovely and refreshing advice. Aw. I'm glad. Yay. 20s. Yeah, 20s. 20s are a big deal. Like, 20s are a big deal. Not for, not for some. Obviously, there are people out there who are exceptionally skilled at what they do. And 20s are not a big deal for those people. And that's totally okay. Good on them. Fantastic work. You are smashing it. That doesn't mean it's easy for everybody. There is, there is a big, big, like, th there's a reason the Mythic Plus keys go as high as they do, and it's so that everyone can jump into a challenge that is challenging for them. Not impossible for them, and not easy for them, but an actual challenge. But that number is going to be different for everybody. Room 21 is like stepping from 0 to 15. The steps are huge. They are. They really are, yeah. I love healing for new tanks and they give them the space they need. Get comfortable, the DPS is rude, I can just not heal that player and keep the tank alive. Love it. Hey, Attack. We weekend, stream out on that launch to come and see what's being said. Hello! Welcome on in. Hope you are having a wonderful weekend yourself. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Perky Pugs is great because they have very specific rules on what you can and cannot ask for in a player. They tend to cater to those who don't have a high, high IO score or crazy mythic skills. Yeah. Um, you can only ask for very specific eye level ranges like you can't ask for anything higher than what's dropped like you can't go in to like normal castle nathria and ask for 250 like it doesn't you can't do that like you literally cannot ask for that they will delete your request and tell you no and then if you keep doing it they'll ban you um and you can't i'm pretty sure you can't ask for io either you cannot ask for mythic score um you can ask for gear but you can't ask for score uh, I believe. Let me just double check their rules because I haven't checked them since. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you can't ask for AOTC, you can't ask for IO, and you can't ask for an item level higher than the loot drops from the loot that drops from that difficulty. Um, but yeah. It's a, it's, it's a really good option for people who are learning and starting out and all that kind of stuff. I uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, Zem, Meaty, Cat, Pack, Brick, Silver, and Ali. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Um, no, we're going to go... Ooh. Let's go to the fire boss and then we can sit down there and then, yep, good. Brilliant. Oh, that was a crunch and a half. What was your whoops, Seeker? Into a lion's get Ah! Ha, ha, ha. Oh no! Run away, little girl! Run away! Correct! Correct! Oh no! Oh no! Well, I hope your face recovers from that speedily. Uh, all right, let's do ready check. Thank goodness, is he like, yep. That feeling. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. The loon be with you. Greetings, traveler. Oh, um, this is classic, isn't it? Yeah. Gosh, I don't have much. <laughs> Oh no. Me will play BTG Classic, kind of outgrown TBC rather quickly. Um, I don't do Classic very much at all. Um, like, at all. Um, I would point you towards Alenia. Um, is it Alenia? Eleven? Is the number on the end of her name Eleven? Hopefully, someone will be able to confirm for me. Um, because I know her Twitter handle is Alenia Classic. But yeah, she does, she's a speedrunner uh, and does a whole lot of, a whole lot of stuff in, um, in classic uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's definitely a good place if you're looking for classic content uh, and of course a community built around that content. Uh, she's also just an absolutely lovely human. Oh God, just so lovely. Um, <laughs> I adore Len, she's awesome. 
Um, years. But I, I know there are a couple of people here who kind of dabbled in classic a little here and there. Uh, but I think most of the... Most of the community is... Um, retail. Excuse me. Most of my community is retail, I should say. Um... We're pretending to be alliance. Love doing keys at the moment. Been helping guildies out with getting their weekly vaults filled or 15s. Must run like 19 keys this week alone. Well done, Zuck. Awesome. I'm so glad you're having fun too. That's wonderful news. In the right direction. I am. Okay, good. I'm walking into alliance camps by accident now. I've been playing alliance since 2004. Trying Horde for the first time. Yep. Yeah. That, that muscle memory is is a thing. Every time I switch to an Alliance student and go to Dalaran, I end up flying into the Horde area and getting kicked out. Yep, yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, I'm finding it pretty brutal. I don't want to have to play through. Of course, yeah, it's, it's very different. It's very different. Uh, and yes, there is a classic ATT as well. Not quite as much to collect, obviously. Not as many years worth of content. And it's a lot harder to do because not much shit can be soloed. Uh, but it is definitely there as an option for those of you who are truly batshit. Uh, <laughs> um, where do you play though? NA Realm or is there Australian version? NA and OC are the same. They have been since the beginning of time. I believe it was Burning Crusade when they actually flagged a bunch of servers as Oceanic. Like if you log out of your character right now and go to the Realm Select screen, there's a tab down the bottom that says Oceanic. If you can play on that server, if you can change to that and play on that server, it means that we can play together. We're in the same region. Um, so yeah, they they changed their, in, in Classic, everything was just, they were just servers, like and then they named some of them Oceanic in BC, and they also had server time switched to Sydney time, which is a capital city in New South Wales in Australia. Um, so that we had something that we could actually plan instead of, you know, being, uh, you know, 10 a.m. server time to try to do nighttime stuff. It was like we could actually plan it to our own time zones. And then in Warlords of Draenor, those servers were physically moved to Australia. So as of Waller's Journal, anything flagged as an Oceanic server is physically located in Sydney. Which means we get good ping. The ping that you guys have been playing on since the beginning. Better than sometimes. Why was I not in Kitty? Must have mined something. My bad. Oh, your EU. There you go. That would explain it. Yeah. North America and Oceanic are the same region. EU is different. We can't play with you unless we're doing loot appraiser challenges uh, because that's done via Battle.net friends list, not by group. And uh, you can have people from any uh, region on your friends list now. Uh, okay, so that's done. Jump down here. Ooh. Already killed Gresh. Scum. Scum. Ah, all the way through. Okay. Your toy stream. We did get toy stream. We did. Same on the Dalaran thing. Going the wrong. Yeah. Going the wrong way around the platform. ICC on the way to gunship. Yes. Oh my goodness. I haven't, I don't think I've done ICC on my Alliance tunes, so I think I'm in the clear there for now, but no doubt I'll do it in the future. No doubt. I'm late. I'm try the original stuff. It's been a slog, but a blast too. Yeah. It's a, di it's a very different kind of challenge. It's a very different kind of challenge. That's, yeah, it's not always a bad thing. Uh, 
Um. Without MBN, lol. I mean, it's still better than the 450 ping that I did Heroic 25 Lich King on. Like, even without MBN, you're still not sitting on 450. Like... <laughs> yeah, look, um... It's still a hell of a lot better than, than what it used to be. By, like, by a long shot. Even without the MBN. Rubbish that Oz was shortchanged on servers like that. What do you mean, Tech? Like, the number of servers we have, or... The fact that we didn't get them physically. It's likely because, especially back 15, 17 years ago, we didn't, like, video gaming was not as mainstream as it is now, and it certainly wasn't acceptable in Australia. Video gaming was something that kids did, or weird fucking guys in their parents' basements and shit like that. It was absolutely shunned. It was, it was not socially acceptable to play video games in Australia 18 years ago. Like, it, it's, it barely is nowadays. Barely. It's definitely improving, but it's still, pff, you play video games? Get the hell out of your house and go camping. Like, it's, yeah. Go play a sport. It's not a, yeah. Australia's culture is very different. It's, yeah. Quite uh, old school in that, in that particular sort of sense. Um, I always get short change to internet related stuff in this era. But yeah, but it's honestly for good reason. Why would they? Uh, also, it was, I'm pretty sure it was Telstra's fault, wasn't it? They asked that because Telstra's our biggest telecom network. Um, and they, Blizzard approached Telstra and said, okay, how much will you charge us to put service here? Uh, and they gave them a number that was ridiculously high. And they're like, no, we're not paying that. At least that was the rumour. I don't know if it was ever confirmed, but that was definitely the rumour. Um... So I have to ban for you from work. What did I get? Ah, oh, the... yeah, the... yep, yeah, cool. <laughs> Look, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. This is just like, watch, watch what happens though, the next... I'm not gonna get any greens now. No more. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah, you should not though, you have money as well for 50 ping, that's like dial-up days. Well, yeah, but you gotta remember, Tech, we were playing in Australia on, essentially, on dial-up internet to America. Like, it was, it was dial-up internet nearly 20 years ago, you know, 15, 15 years ago, a decade and a half, it was dial-up, and it was trying to communicate from Australia to America. <laughs> what do you expect? Um, have I killed Vidan? That was what I just did, wasn't it? No. Oh, but I haven't done... Oh, I have to talk to what's it to trigger the Mutanus thing, don't I? Cool. I'm good. Uh, I'm trying to plan dial-up. It was not good. The fact that you didn't have your own servers. Yeah, no. It's There was no point. It would have been too expensive, uh, and honestly, I don't think that they expect. I don't think they had much of an Australian player base back in those days. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't justified um, because, like, <laughs> again, as I said, cultural thing. Um, uh, played on things on dial up to like two thousand five. Wow, that's yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Blizzard or Aussieists? Well, I mean, they have a whole Blizzard ANZ department now, like a whole group of people with a satellite office and everything. Um, so they've obviously recognised that it's worthwhile. Uh, but back in the early days... Especially considering, like, it was one of the first kind of... It, you know, it was so new that like did they know it was going to be successful did they have the money to expand that big and all that kind of stuff it's yeah obviously nowadays was it is freaking enormous especially with activision money and all that kind of stuff as well but it's 15 years ago was a it was a different time like you look at the kind of stuff that would be put out and what was considered acceptable 15 years ago and now you look at today you know it, it's it's just a different world 
very different world. Especially on RPG, like it's weird, such a difference between the two versions. Uh, coming from the UK, actually about computers is quite alien to me. Uh, being a gamer sucked 18 years ago, I got bullied for it. Yep, me too. Absolutely. Uh, Australian rack space hosting was mega expensive compared to the US back then. I know it's gotten better nowadays, but yeah, even for website hosting, the difference was massive. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Probably because they didn't understand what was needed to do it either. What brings you here? Ah, uh, to be fair, to your restaurant those days is more toxic players than outside influences. Yeah. But I mean, like, we've all experienced toxic players. It's, uh... Report, move on. They're having a bad day, they can, they can deal with it in their own thing. Um... Why isn't hockey that big of a sport in Australia? I don't know. We tend to play a lot of stuff that can be played outside because we have a beautiful climate for for going outdoors and doing stuff like outdoorsy and stuff. And I know that hockey isn't really um, like you actually have to have a rink built for it, right? So that the puck can travel properly. I'm not just talking about ice hockey. I know that ice hockey and hockey are two different things, um, but I'm pretty sure you need some kind of rink so it can scoot across like anything that can be played in the backyard. At, at a family event is what's going to be big in Oz, basically. Because that's just how our culture functions. Uh, to make a hunter main to play with this lot back in Legion BFA is the regional thing. Uh, because cricket! Surely you're right, those moments are also good through the same. It has come a very long way in terms of gaming. We're still way behind. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When I, when I had my sit down with um, the social media person, the, the social media expert. Um, I, I'm not sure if she calls herself an expert, but I mean, I'm a caller an expert because she knows a hell of a lot more than I do. Uh, <laughs> she got paid for it, so that's good. Um, but when I sat down with her and she was like, okay, so why why don't you do this kind of stuff? And why is this not a thing? Like I, She also kind of said, look, I looked at a few other gaming profiles, the ones that you mentioned and a few other ones and stuff. Why does it seem that no one does this kind of thing? And when I explained, it's because like no one, like it's just the money isn't there. There, there isn't money in gaming in Australia. It just doesn't do it. Um, you know, America, like bloody even Blizzard, Heroes of the Dorm, they had a video game competition that paid for your schooling as a prize. That's pretty fucking mainstream. That's pretty freaking awesome. It will be decades before you see something like that in Australia. I mean, we do also have like um, hex and stuff like, so you can pay your schooling through the government and not have to pay the debt back unless you earn a certain amount. But that's a separate conversation. But like those kind of things just do not happen in Australia because it's not valued. Get video gaming is not a value of Australia, which is why we don't get as many ads. If you're an Australian viewer on Twitch, you will often see the same ad over and over and over again. And then no ads. Because in a contract of ads, it'll be you will not show our ad to the same person more than 12 times. And then so once you as an individual have seen that ad 12 times, it can't show you that one anymore. But there's no other ones because no other Australian companies think Twitch is worth investing in for advertising revenue. Uh, sorry, for ad like advertising marketing expenditure. They would rather spend it on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook because those places make them more sales. They don't think that people playing video games have enough disposable income to buy a product that they're advertising because they're all 12. They're not, obviously. I, for one, am 32. Uh, <laughs> I still don't have any disposable income, but that is very much besides the point. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so that's why you won't see that kind of stuff in Australia. And so when I was trying to explain this to her, she's like, you know, Australia is like 20 years behind on literally everything. Like literally everything. And I'm like, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, so there's a little, there's a little slice of explanation. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, is Fear just extremely lucky during these runs or the other slacking? Oh, it's it's mostly luck. I mean, you can optimize things to get like an extra run in and, and stuff like that, but it's mostly, you can be the most optimized player in the world getting this shit done, but you can still have trash luck with drops. It's, it's mostly luck. <laughs> <laughs> which is why, which is one of the reasons why I don't like doing um, transmog hunting and stuff as a as a what's it, because it, there's no guarantee you'll actually get the. Uh... Actually, no. If I zone in, maybe, and then do the dream walk, that'll. I don't know if it'll drop me straight outside if I dream walk from there. Um. Ah, uh, I'm going for four of ice. Same with World of Warcraft, lack of connection. Uh, same could be asked, why isn't Australian rules football played in the entire world? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's a whole different places, like different things. Climates make it a big difference too, yeah. Agreed. We play, yeah, mostly, like, vast majority of the sports that we enjoy in Australia. Like, we don't really, we don't really do much basketball. Um, either. Like, basketball's really not that big a thing here either. I mean, there's abs- it's absolutely a thing. We have teams for it and stuff. But it's nowhere near the level of cricket or Aussie, like AFL or rugby. Um, they're all outdoor sports. Um, yeah. It's interesting though, isn't it? Like super, super interesting. Like why the world differs so much in different places and things. It's cool. Not everything in the ocean is as good looking as um, nice For the record, I do not understand time. AFL. Fair. I'm a Victorian. I have I to. to <laughs> I'd be disowned if I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I still don't understand it well, but I understand it enough to know who's winning when I watch, kind of thing. Um, I know enough to understand when to yell at the television. Uh, <laughs> you remind me, Asmund Gold, because you talk a lot. Fair enough. Uh, so you have to lie down. That's totally fine, Lucky. Not a worry. I hope you feel better soon. Cool fear streams. Just chatting with a side of, wow, this is true. This is a thing that is actively said. <laughs> uh, is fear 12? No. Disposable income? What's that? Yep. <laughs> Jeez, friend. Um, does one come in this economy? I know. Look, actual appropriate, Zam. Actually appropriate. My god. My god. Stream with no chat from stream would be boring. It would, but there's also some people prefer like super on topic chat that's like, you know, you're talking about what's happening or about the game or whatever. And that's totally fine. My content's not for everybody. And I, I understand that. Uh, and that's okay. Like, I'm, it doesn't mean that I'm doing it wrong or that they like the wrong things. It's just that everyone's <laughs> different and preferences exist. But yeah. Um, I seem to be doing all right with my current type of content. And, uh, it works well with my personality, and I can't really stop myself from doing it, so... <laughs> it just, if you know, the conversation flows naturally, and I, I really enjoy that, so... Um, I keep doing it. So, how big is F1 in Australia? Um... Look, I don't think I can provide an appropriate response to that one, simply because my father used to race. Not, like, not he- you wouldn't know him. Um, he, not, not a big name, uh, driver or anything like that, but he used to race when I, like, ever since I was a kid, and he still rides his, uh, bikes and stuff, like motorbikes. Um, so, because I grew up, I grew up with so much F1. Like, so many, like, different races, go-karts, the F1, the bikes, everything. Like, I grew up with so much of that stuff. It's hard for me to distinguish whether it's big in Australia because I saw so much of it or if it's not big in Australia and I just saw so much of it because of my dad. Um, so I don't think I am the right person to answer that question for you, I'm sorry. Um, yes, go sports. Yeah, I'm not, look, I'm not super into sports, but that doesn't mean that other people can't be and that's, you know, it's, it's a good thing to be into, especially if you're actually playing it in your spare time and stuff because it keeps you healthy in so many ways like physical activity not only does it keep your body fit like physically and that but it also helps with the mental health and all that kind of shit too so i'm absolutely not gonna um dump on that as a as a passion it's just not mine that's all 
Um, pretty big evening. Hello, Kraz. Welcome on in. We have F1 in Melbourne around Elwood Park. Yeah. Um, oh, we used to go, where did we go? Calder? I think we went to Cold. I think it's called Calder. But we used to go there like, God, it feels like almost once a month with dad. Um, and he'd race. And my brother and I would hang out in the pit while he was, while he was off doing his thing. God, I'm like, mid, mid 90s, it would have been so dangerous, but like, we had a blast. But I, th I call, we went to a few different places, but I know Calder was one of them. Uh, I, th I think that's what it's called. That's what my brain is telling me, but my brain's been wrong a lot, so, you know. Um, him as well, indeed. And all the things about that local sports ball team, go sports ball. Yeah, I do not, but that's okay. Uh, alrighty, let's drop in down here. Um, some people also just want gameplay sounds. Yep, absolutely, and that's totally fine. This is probably just not the stream for those people, unfortunately. Uh, which is okay. I'm sure that they're lovely people and we'd love to have them a part of the community, but I also don't want to force them to listen to stuff they don't want to hear. So, that's okay. Uh, uh, what did you do before WoW streaming? Um, do you mean as in like what did I stream before I streamed WoW or because this is not my like I have I have a day job if that if you're asking about what I do for work I'm an assistant accountant uh, I'm part-time and then I I stream as well. Uh, the hours I put into streaming live and back end, like inclusive, is as much as a full time job. But then I also work a day job so that I guarantee that my bills are covered because, of course, Twitch income is not guaranteed. It's never guaranteed. Um, so, yeah, I make sure that all my bills and my rent and food and stuff, my meds, everything like that's covered. Uh, and then I stream and I'm trying to build my stream. I want to become a full time content creator. Uh, but it might take a little bit. We're, uh, I'm working on it. Um, but when I started streaming, it was pure WoW. This is, so I've been streaming for just over six years. It was six years at the end of February. Uh, and I started out as a full-time WoW streamer. Uh, and then I did a little bit of, I, I basically became kind of variety. I was doing some crafty streams. I cross stitch. Um, I also, uh, knit and crochet and a bunch of other stuff, but the streams were mostly cross stitching. Uh, and played a few puzzle games and story games, uh, like think Spyro and stuff like that, because it was so, oh my god, Spyro. Um, so games that were like heavily story based, um, some like management sim type dealies, and then when I decided that I wanted to, like I'd always talked about how nice one day it'd be to make Twitch partner, blah blah blah, uh, but then one day I'm like, nah, bugger this, like I, I want to make partner, this is, I want to have this as an actual goal. Uh, and so I started looking at my stats um, and started tweaking things. I changed my days that I streamed. I changed my hours. Uh, I changed my games was one of the last things I changed. I noticed that my WoW streams were my biggest draws in terms of viewers. And so I, when I finished a game, when I clocked a game that wasn't WoW, instead of replacing it with another game in the same genre, which is what I'd usually do, like I'd have puzzles on Wednesdays kind of thing, um, I would, instead of picking another game that fit the genre, I just changed it to WoW. Um, and then slowly but surely I did that, and then it was basically WoW every day, except Tuesdays where I did crafting streams. Um, and so I that was the last thing, and you could see it was like WoW, WoW, WoW stitching, WoW, WoW, WoW stitching every week. And so I'm like, yep, okay, bugger it. So I stopped stitching on stream, I still stitch, uh, and, and then it just started to grow because I was consistent, I was doing the same stuff, People liked it, people came for WoW and they stayed for WoW rather than coming for WoW and then leaving when they realized I was playing something different, they'd stick around. Uh, and so it grew and it grew and it grew and I made partner. And so next goal, yeah, is, is full time. But uh, it's it's work, it's just hard work. Um, keep 
keep tra keeping track of stats. Stats are still super important. I'm trying to grow my social media at the moment. Socials are like the big thing in terms of sponsorships because as we were talking about before, Australia doesn't really value Twitch so much, so we won't get too many sponsorships for Twitch. But Instagram's huge. Instagram marketing is massive. So that's probably where I'm going to get the bigger things. If I've got a big following, someone will pay me to make an Insta post or a story or a reel or something like that. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit silly, but it is what it is. That's that's how we pay the bills. Uh, so yeah, if, if you want to help, Follow on Instagram is the way to do it. I mean, following all the socials, absolutely. But um, Instagram is the big one that I'm focusing on at the moment. Uh, yeah. Uh, if that didn't answer your question, Ara, I am so sorry. <laughs> if you'd like to be more specific with your question, I am so happy to answer it. Um, I, yeah, I just wasn't too sure. Um, good. Doing much better things currently in Adelaide. I don't know if my little birthday back home. We did work at Stupid in the morning. Oh no. Oh no. Spare time. Yeah, look. Looks like the only GFC hit. What was. Ah! Ah, oh, Ferling! Thank you so much for purchasing a Fiyama Flying Rogue skin for stream raiders. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, when I graduated, GFC hit. Industry died in Oz. Oof. Jesus. Rough. Called as a place of the racetrack. Brilliant. That is the one I'm talking about then. Fantastic. Hey, Leon. All right with calling it that. Used to watch drag racing there. Good. Good. Smart. I don't know what was smart, but that's okay. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on chat because I'm four minutes behind. Four is not bad though. I was 11 minutes behind earlier. I do. I rant. I rant occasionally, so I get behind on chat. Soz. Um, really Aw, thank you, Linda. <laughs> yeah, Raid Shadow Legends reached out to me years ago when I was affiliated and I basically said no thank you. Um, I actually, no, I'm pretty sure I didn't respond to the message. Uh, I do not think that they will approach me again. Uh, managed to get full time one day. Thank you. Me too. I've played WoW since I was 14. Always wanted to start streaming. Don't think I'd do well. Look, there's only one way to find out and it's to try. It takes a lot of hard work to do like well, what I would consider well, it's, it's hard work. But it really just depends on you individually, like what you define success to be. If success is having three people that show up every time and you enjoy yourself and you have fun, then it's quite easy to be successful. Uh, if you define success as having a full-time income and being able to quit your job, very, very, very bloody difficult. Uh, but there's so many different points in between that and it doesn't have to be financial. It doesn't have to be a numbers thing. It like, yeah. It really depends on what you define well to be. Uh, still need to make an Ember Girl challenge for another cross-stitching stream. It was really fun last time. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Definitely did. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Uh, okay. Button push. Uh, yes. So she became a partner. Is trying to go full time. What to support for you? Follow on social media. Following is free. Support streamers by expanding their reach. Also a great opportunity to share her content with someone you think may enjoy it. Fia has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all the profiles at allmylinks.com forward slash Fiyama. Uh, or you can type exclamation socials in chat and get that link. Or you can scroll under the video player and they're all just like in that little about box on the, actually it's this side for you guys, on the right. Right? Right. Good. Always, always beats me to it. Couldn't say no to Ashes of Allah. Hell yeah, right? Isn't it awesome? Uh, what are you hunting? Pets or gear? Neither. Gold. I'm just, I'm usually not very good at it, but I've been getting really lucky today. So that's the thing. Everyone hates me at the moment. Well, Zam, sorry, not everyone. Zam hates me at the moment. I've just had some really good luck today. Everything, yep. Um, can see that, wonder why it'll be C. Ah, uh, because the wheels span and said WC. <laughs> That's why. Um, yeah, there's a, Zam gave me a wheel. And, uh, and said, spin this and it'll tell you a dungeon to do. So I did. And it said, Wailing Cabins. And so I'm like, okay, that's where we're going. I have no control. I promise. It's not my fault. Um, 
Matey, Pack, Brick, Silver, Land, Our Pulse, and Easy. Congratulations on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. There is a whirl. Yes, there is a wheel. It's a thing. It spins, and then it makes a decision, and then we go, aww. <laughs> There's a non-zero chance you'll step on a Lego tonight. I highly doubt that. There is no Lego in the house that is not up on a shelf being displayed. And if it fell off the shelf, it would land behind the couch which I can't step on because there are shelves in the way. So, yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that's not gonna happen. Why is weird one walking on your streams and checking you out a bit? Brilliant! I'm glad that you've been returning, Karis. That's, that's step one uh, to becoming a regular who cannot ever escape. I mean, what? <clears throat> uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Just ignore that. Uh, I'm, I, <laughs> I can't speak. I hope you are enjoying the content. I hope you're having a wonderful time and a wonderful day and all that shit. Ashes. I can choose ashes as my mount. Done. I wonder if we'll see another WoW collector. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's honestly kind of surprising that I've managed to have the success I have through being predominantly a collection stream. Like... Most of what you see is, um, like most of the, the bigger streams that you see are keys and raid and, and all that kind of stuff. So the fact that I've been able to see that success that I have without having to compromise what I enjoy about the game. Cause I mean, yeah, okay, I like keys and I like reading and stuff, but my passion is in the collecting. It's, my passion is getting all the things. Uh, so, I'm really so thankful and don't that I've had the success I've had doing that rather than doing what all the other, not, okay, not all the other, obviously, like I'm, I'm not trying to put people in buckets here, um, but stories. yeah, it's just, it's a really nice feeling to be able to do what I love and have it be successful rather than having to do, you know, a little bit of what I love, but mostly stuff that kind of burns me out after a while. Um, cause it, it, it does, it, it does burn me out after a while. Doing keys and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, it requires such focus and all that kind of stuff that it, eventually my brain is just like, nope, bedtime. <laughs> no, bedtime. Although we are probably going to do some keys tomorrow at the start of Mount Farm Monday, because it is farming for Mount, um, technically. Uh, and I do want to get some keys in. Because I would like them out from KSM. Because I don't want any not mounts to be in my collection. I don't want to miss any of them. I did not reset the dungeon. Good. <laughs> uh, Logo Grogu would be quite alarming to step on. And also, like, extremely painful. Let's be honest. So many tiny sharp pieces. Never followed yet my bed. Ah, oh, no, that's okay. Not a worry, Karis. Not a worry. I'm here now. You are. You are. That is what matters. Oh, we're all totally not trapped here in our of our own and here of our own free will. Blinks twice. Correct. Exactly. Everyone is fine. This is definitely not a cult. What are you talking about? If you could have, random question, if you could have a fearism on a t-shirt, what would it be? Go. Um, <laughs> escape, who would ever consider such a foolhardy course of action? Look, it, 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 it has been attempted before. No. You, nobody is trapped here. You are no, under no obligation to watch my content. Um, oh dear. Everybody raid now. Uh, oh, right, like everybody. Yeah, okay, I gotcha, gotcha. Uh, he just said, you do what you like. Where is it the best game to stream, especially it's dropped off. Look, there is still, yeah, I mean, it always picks up around Race to World first and then it drops back off again, like every single time. Um, but- I'm not a paladin. Uh... I, I've been, because I enjoy so much of the game and because what I enjoy does take me back into old content a lot, see Wailing Caverns, uh, <laughs> it means that like 
I'm, I'm, I'm never going to run out of stuff to do. Unless I manage to become a full-time streamer and have people managing all of the back end. Because, see, I work full-time hours doing my stream. I work full-time hours. I stream, I'm live 24 hours a week. But the other 16 hours every week for a 40-hour week, I spend doing back end stuff. So if I was able to actually stream, like, a 40-hour week, firstly, I think I'd die. But if... <laughs> If I didn't, I'd be able to get so much more done and I maybe would have a chance at finishing the game in terms of collecting, but I don't think so. I still don't think so. Uh, so it's kind of like, I'm always going to have content that I can rely on. I'm always going to have something I can do. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, keys and raid and stuff like that is, is only fun for... I mean, look, there are definitely baby people who... Baby tune da 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 da, baby tune da 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 da. There are absolutely people who do keys back to 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 back. Level in a new expansion, do keys back to back to back to... And that's totally fine. If they're having fun doing that, then fucking great. Awesome. Do that. You know, you do you, boo. Have a blast. That's not me. So I have, like, I'm able to do this endlessly because it doesn't burn me out and there is almost like there is an end there is a finite number of pieces of transmog to collect but the chances of me getting them all are slim to nil so yeah it's a like look at how much i've been doing wc i've still got three items i don't have yet <laughs> that's just on the druid i've got you know 11 other classes too um that's it, you enjoy what you do, same, yes, you enjoy what you enjoy, same here, pets, my god, yes, yeah, um, we're actually got a pet stream on Friday, yeah, pet stream coming up this Friday, um, I've got a whole bunch, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do a, it's not leveling, I'm gonna do, uh, collecting, because, uh, I've got a bunch I still don't have, so I'm gonna go get them, and then I can level them later. Ah, my collecting's the best. So good when it finally drops. Agreed. There's, there's not like, there are very few feelings quite like it. Very few feelings quite like it. Mount Farm Monday is like the best invention ever. Well, there are, yes, I haven't got my hair curled today because I didn't have time because I was doing housework. But um, hopefully I'll have the have a chance to do it tomorrow. It's so easy to do. It just it does take you know sitting down for half an hour or so. Oh, you're gonna probably wash here in the morning using new wire. Yes, yes. Do put like if it's fresh washed, I would definitely put something in it, like some kind of a, a gentle uh, styling product. If you've got one, not like hairspray, but like if you've got, uh, I've got like a mousse that I put in while my hair is wet, uh, and that kind of it tends to let them hold on for a little bit longer. It, I mean, they hold on pretty damn well, pretty darn well, regardless. But putting something like that in, I've slept on my curls and I have woken up in the morning and they're still curly and my hair is ridiculously fine and refuses to hold a curl uh, and I managed to sleep on them and they were still there so like definitely recommend popping in some kind of a, a um, styling product if you've got one. Not It's not necessary but it helps. Ah, uh, stranger dropped off from mounts. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've got 660 of them now, and I've got 200 and I want to say 17 to go, but I feel like that's an old number. I feel like it might be like 215 or something like that now, but I'm not sure. Because of course there are like unobtainable mounts that I don't have and I'll never be able to get, but yeah, that's how many I can still get. <clears throat> Watch them blow dry. Get optimum time value. Yas. Yes, only I want a time and become so many and so kind of not cool in my eyes. Totally fair. Understandable. Very valid. Uniqueness is dropped off. Some more an RNG fight who got more time. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I mean, like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with farming up the two or three that you really love the look of and then leaving it at that. I just want all the things. I'm a completionist. I've always been a completionist. Even back when I was playing Nintendo 64... And Super Mario 64, you bet your butts, I played that entire level over and over and over again until I had every last coin, 
all of the stars from every level. I would not let myself go to the next level until I had everything. Yeah, it, I'm, I've been a completionist since I was a child. Uh, so that's kind. That's what drives my mount farming, is the, the gap at the end of the bar that says how many I don't have. I want that to go away. Also a problem with my achievements. Um, <laughs> I am a completionist. Love collecting mounts. Me too. Nothing is more painful than stepping on a bed nail. Ooh, God. Oof. Do you remember the change screen command? Ah, good Lord. Me. Uh, all right. That's okay. It means I got to place my Templar. Um, that's okay. Ah, uh, dear. It's only been like that for 10 minutes. It's fine. Lord. Um, dragons be fucking, I mean, look, it's definitely not a cult. Should we style you on a dragon for dragon flight? Simple. That'd be kind of cute. That'd be kind of cute. What about Fia in Alex Strasser costume? Although that might just look like Alex Strasser, because... Um, you're not wrong, look you. Um, there's a bed nail. I'm assuming it's a nail that you use to build a bed. That's kind of what's in my head, but I'm, I could be wrong there. Uh, is this all you do? No other work job? Nope, I've got a day job. Uh, I'm a part-time assistant accountant and uh, I have been for a few years now. Um, but yeah. Full-time hours on the stream and then part-time hours at the day job. I call it my day job and my night job because of the times that I work. Yeah. It works in my head, okay. Uh, there's a day job. Yes! Yes, continue. Yay! Wait for Squirt to come around here over you. Yes! Yep. Squirt day is best day. Uh, I've got to ask, what is the mount maker for day? It was a Snapdragon Kelp Stalker, I want to say is what the word is. Yep. Uh, yes, Snapdragon Kelp Stalker. Yep, that's the one. Uh, this is as I put some units down, but I have no idea why, because it's fun. Um, it's a little side game that we usually switch over to for just a few minutes every half hour. Um, you place units, and at the end of the placement period, I press go, and we fight it out with the enemies on the battlefield, and if we win, we get some prizes. We get gold, we get scrolls to level up our units, and then we do it again. It's good fun. It's very cute. He has a mount of years. I don't know who got the RNG, which I get. Yeah, I've never really understood a, a mount off. Like, just, I mean, I get it that it's showing off your collection, but... Eh. Like... I just, I like to have them. I don't need to show them off. I don't know, I'm, anyway. That's all right. To each their own. If they have fun, then brilliant. I hope they enjoy themselves. I do still collect mounts. As you said, 700. Ah, uh, there are 941, I believe is the number currently. Um, but I can only collect so many of them. Unfortunately. Uh, all achievements in one game, ready or not? Is this one achievement for playing the game? Love that. That's awesome, Claw. Uh, bad timing with those ads. A dragon suit on a dragon, I guess. Super cute. Half an hour every few minutes. Yep. Look. Look, you! Good use of one skills. Excuse me. I got 66. I think it's 941. Let me just double check that number. Uh, I may have it wrong. Go away. Uh, melts. Sorry, I was wrong. 948. I have 660. Uh, and I have 877 obtainable mounts. So yeah, I've got 217 left to collect that I can still, that I personally can still collect. Uh, everyone's numbers will be slightly different, but the total in-game is 948. So there are like 70 mounts that I can't get. 71 mounts that are unobtainable to me. Um, used to have- oh, you got 66! I have exactly 10 times as many mounts as you have, Rico. That's kind of fun. Uh, I used to have mattress on top of a wooden bed, nail would stick out, actually, it hurt my spawn. Ooh, youch. 
That's, yeah, that's not good at all. Um, if I'm a gold main, I'm at 6k times now, friend got his at 4k. That's so annoying. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Let me get the pet this time, meh. Oh, it's zero. The time is at zero. Okay, so this is the last run. Golly goodness. Well, we got we got one more dungeon to do after this one. Um, now you know it exists. Closer every kill. Absolutely. I don't care if that's not how it works mathematically. It feels better to think it that way. Piss off. <laughs> I, I feel that. I feel that same way. Best attitude, absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't try, it won't drop. It can't drop if you don't kill the things that drop it. It's like, uh, love is in the air this year. 750 attempts this year. 50 characters, 15 days, 750 attempts. 1600 total, which is not bad. Like, that's. That's still pretty low right. in the grand scheme of things, so I'm, I'm fine with that. But yeah, si uh, 1,600 attempts total. 750 goes in two weeks. I died. It was unpleasant. I was I was wrecked. <laughs> I was so wrecked. So tired. Uh, but it worked. It was fine. I was, I was proud of myself for getting through it, and that's kind of... I may not have got the mount, but... I got there, and that's that's what mattered for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't try, you have zero chance of getting it. If you do try, you have a 0 0.01 chance. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Love is in the Air, I, look. My birthday's in February too. My, my birthday is like in the middle of Love is in the Air. I was like, come on, where's my birthday present? It, it didn't drop, but that's okay. Hello, Murray, how are you going? Welcome back. Uh, all right. Um. Spin the wheel. Let's go. Okay. It's really funny because there's a Wylera ad next to the wheel. It's really funny. Okay. Libris it is. Heartbreaker sing happy birthday, fuck you. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, that's exactly it. Lower Black Rock Spire. And vibing brilliant. Hey Shamu, how you going? I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Oh, the heartbreak was heartbreaking though. I was just so tired. I just I just wanted it to be over. And then it was, and minutes. there was no mount, and I was like, okay. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Next year. Next year. I can't wait until there is no next year. It's gonna be such a I mean on the one hand, it's like, oh, thank God I never have to do it again. On the other hand, it's going to be like everyone around me is going to be doing this thing and I'm just going to be like, I'm transmog hunting. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it'll be a weird feeling. For sure. Super weird feeling. Uh, okay. I I was what did I swim? My first Fortnite match. Well done. I have never played Fortnite. Uh, was the add on for most of your items? Not seeing that sport. It's part of Ludapraiser. Um... For some reason popped in my head, heading to push my idea, Blizzard. I am outraged after all the hours of money I put in this game. You do not have the decency to give me a small drop birthday present. Yeah, I know, right? That would have been freaking hilarious, but that's okay. I know, I know that the drop chance is one in 3,333, and 1,600 is only just past halfway of that. So, honestly, like, if I had have had it dropped, I would have been exceptionally lucky. So it's okay. I, I get it. It just still sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. 
God only, yeah. We'll get there. One day it'll drop and I will faint and Jas will have to come in here and turn the stream off. It'll be great. I mentioned having that low drop chance for an event. I can understand for something you try to farm each week or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, I think that's the big thing. I think that's why it's such an exciting thing though, is because it's only available for that. So you'd like, I spent seven months leveling up a full account of characters to level 50, a full account to level 50. So that I would have the maximum chance of success. Uh, where's my altaholic? So all these tunes, like you have a look at the levels there, going down the row, and that's Earl Grey. And so then there's Earl Grey. It's 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 56, 40, 54. They're all 50 plus. All of them. Every last one of them is 50 plus. And there are 50 tunes there. Characters 50, realms two. They're all 50 plus. Um, and that was so that I had, and I, I spent seven months leveling them all, um, so that I had uh, the greatest chance possible. And I enjoyed that. I really like leveling. I did all from scratch, no boosts. Um, and yeah, it was, I had a blast. It was Fia's 50 50s challenge because it was 50 level 50s, right? Um, and then, and I got there uh, two weeks before. So I set my deadline the Sunday prior to the start because it was a Sunday and then it'd be Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday was when it started for Australia because of the time difference and all that kind of stuff. So I gave myself a few days leeway in case something went wrong so that I could catch up, but I ended up hitting it two weeks early, which I was perfect, so happy about. Um, and yeah, and then I bashed through it. 50 characters each day, three hours a day. Some days took a bit over three hours, some days it took a bit under, but on average it was three hours a day for 15 days. And the final day, um, because we get 15 days, so on the Monday, Sorry, the Tuesday. No, it was the Monday. That final Tuesday is just a three hour, four hour, sorry, like midnight to 4 a.m. or whatever it is. No, one till four. I think it's 1 a.m. till 4 a.m. I think that's what it was. It, I was half asleep. 1 a.m., the day resets and the event ends at 4 a.m. So there's a three hour window there to get as many last minute attempts as you can. And I got through all 50 tunes in those three hours. There are so many clips of me just being like, <laughs> like <laughs> the adrenaline pumping through my system, trying to frantically get those 50 tunes done. <sighs> it, it sucked. Um, and I'm like, never again until next year. Uh, <laughs> Cause uh, that's the kind of person I am. I look, but it was, it was exhausting and draining and I hated it, but I also absolutely fucking loved it. It was so much fun. So much fun. Um, and we'll do it again next year. Unless it drops on day two, which I'd be very happy about. <laughs> very happy about. Uh, all right. No one's going to join me. No one wants to do Liberus with me. How surprising. How surprising. <clears throat> Ah, uh, what will suck is that one year they'll make it 100% drop and then all that work. Ah, I don't reckon. I don't think they'll ever make it 100. I think that'd piss off too much of their player base. Uh, have you prepared for that taught just the end stream button? Yeah, he knows how to use it, yes. This commitment takes so long to level alts. Currently doing it right now. So I had 24 tunes at 50. It took me seven months to level 26 tunes. But keep in mind, during that, I was also streaming, doing 40 hours a week of live and back end. I was also working a part-time job. I have house responsibility. Like I do housework and all that kind of shit as well. Like I'm an adult. I'm a responsible adult. I do grocery shopping. I cook food, all that kind of shit. Um, and so then I just like level whatever I found time, basically. Um, but yeah, seven months to level 26 tunes from scratch. 
Oh, but at least she'll have it. And no, she tried when it was hard, I guess. Beautifully hot, sunny lunchtime part of the UK. Heading to pub. Big on. Ah, fantastic, Zen. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, I remember that for. Ah, uh, Heartbreaker. The Heartbreaker. Valentine's Day. Yeah, love is in the air mount. Yeah, is that the rocket? It is. It is. Uh, and take a little break from lacking. Have some snacks. Because buddy demands sustenance for sure. Go do the thing. Uh, most we know is they have something planned for that matchup, correct? Yeah. I don't think they're going to make it a guaranteed. But they're, yeah, they're planning something. They're planning something. Well, I can't actually start a challenge with nobody else there. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to go in and then start a new session. Mm, if you feel the pillow as soon as the event was over, fell asleep at the chair when the adrenaline was gone. Yeah, the adrenaline lasted quite a while, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it was it was a big it was a big time, that's for sure. It was a big time. I always get lost in here, so give give patience. Uh, I respect that great work. You worked really hard on everything. Look, I try. I try, Oni. But, um... The, the problem is that, like, I put this work in, but I don't know if it's actually the right work. If I hope that makes sense. Like, you know how they say work smarter, not harder? Instead of spending five hours doing something that gets you four followers, do something that takes you half an hour that gets you 27 followers. Or, or you know, at, as, a, as a, you know concrete example so all this stuff that i'm doing with my instagram page and my twitter and all this kind of stuff i'm i'm working hard but i'm not actually sure whether or not i'm successful i need to start tracking my um my followers again i think uh like tracking my growth properly i know my engagement rates are really good uh and all that kind of stuff but i don't know how i'm actually growing uh, like how I'm going with growth. So yeah, it's, and it's a lot of trial and error. Like, so each time, each, each month or so, I can go back and have a look at the posts I made during that month and see, okay, so this one, what I've, no one thing I've noticed is that photos of me on Instagram do really well. Uh, like selfies or full body shots, like doing like an outfit of the day kind of post or whatever. Those tend to do really well. Um, photos that are not of me don't tend to do very well. Um, my reel seem to do okay, question mark. Um, they're a little bit, um, I'm, I'm not really sure what, what good is for, for Instagram reels. Um, I know that m the algorithm is loving me at the moment because not even five minutes after I post stuff, it's showing up in my mother's feed because she takes screenshots of it and sends it to me, um, which is very cute of her, very sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I know that the algorithm is favoring me. It's because I'm posting so frequently and stuff, it is showing my stuff to people who follow me already, but am I showing up in, like, are people finding me? Are people able to find me through my posts or do I have to send them to me via Twitch? And at the moment, it's it's I having to do it via Twitch because the days I don't stream, I get zero followers. The days I do stream, I get four or five sometimes. Like sometimes it's that good. Um, so yeah, it's. Am I gonna do Uruk? I don't need Uruk, so no, I'm not. Um. Yeah, it's. So yeah, I'm not, at the moment, I'm not doing super well on Discovery on Instagram, but for people who are already following me, I'm doing, and my engagement rate's fantastic. I just need to find a way to be found. Um, and I, yeah. This shit is hard, you guys. <laughs> like, I just, I, and I've got, um, I mentioned briefly earlier, um, I sat down and had a meeting with a, a social media expert person, um, marketing manager, uh, and she's taking a look at my stuff as we speak. She's, she's looking through my socials and she's uh, taking notes and she's doing all the amazing stuff and she's going to be giving me some, like a, not, not like a report on how I'm doing, but 
uh, more like a these are the things that do really well for you, here is how you can expand on that, here is what's not doing so well for you, here's how you can make it do better if you incorporate different things, or maybe think about replacing it with this. Um, so that's, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that because it's, I feel like it's going to give me some more direction. Because that's one thing I'm, like, I'm, I have what I like to call creativity by numbers. If I'm, if I've got a recipe or a pattern or, is that bush? No, it wasn't. Where? I've gone... way? Question mark? Um, I have gone the wrong way. Okay. Um, so I have creativity by, by numbers. Give me a recipe, give me a pattern, uh, give me instructions, and I will do it pretty damn well. Like, I'll, I'll give you something at the end of it that's pretty darn close to what the author intended. Um, but trying to come up with something original from scratch, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not good at it. Um, so with her giving me like some content ideas, that will help me, that'll help me work to those instructions if that makes sense, which hopefully will see me do a little bit better in terms of discoverability, but there's only one way to find out. Um, as she said, Instagram is very much trial and error. You post something, if it does well, you post more of that thing. If it doesn't, you post less of that thing. There's no real kind of guide as to what works and what doesn't. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole time. Whole time. No, Krazzy, it's totally okay. Not a worry. Not a worry. It's also lower Black Rock Spire. Like, I understand that nobody wants to do it. Um, <laughs> I understand. Uh, no pain, shame, dream into that. Can't tell you how happy I was feeling. Invincible and Horseman's, yes! Sense of accomplishment, challenge overcome, priceless. Me too. I have both of those mounts as well. It was fantastic. Zalk, Thurling, Silver, Aelin, Pack, and Zem. Congratulations on your bonus ship. Whoa! Token chest. Delicious. Okay, what are we killing? Uh, in Lord Black Rock Spire, everything. Also, so you're on the front page battle app. This mental, I was like, oh, I watched them. Yes. It's it's pretty awesome. I've I'm so grateful for the opportunities that Blizzard have offered and yeah, it's it's been so great. I've met so many awesome people through like people discovering me who may not have otherwise, who found me through the the app and stuff. Oh, it's just been so good. So so awesome. Uh, eternally grateful. But yeah, it's good fun. Get yourself away, make plans for the future. Look, I, I try to be. Um I am nothing if not logical. Um, <laughs> literally nothing, if not logical. Uh, that's, yeah, I, I have quite an analytical mind, so all the, like, the data and the stats and all that kind of stuff, love that shit, and I'm really good at, like, working out what it says and all that, but having a starting point is, is really tricky for me in terms of the creative side of content creating. Yeah. Once I know something works, hell yeah, I can do it a million times over. Uh, but, yeah. Gotta get there first. Hmm. I do use all the different features Instagram has to offer. They'll give more reach to people. Yep, exactly. Yeah, the more of them. The only one I don't use is IGTV, um, which is their live streaming part, uh, because it may or may not, uh, I'm not sure, it may possibly uh, be against my partnership contract. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it would be something that I'd have to have a lawyer look at uh, to determine for me. And I don't have the money for that just yet, but I post posts, uh, I post carousels, I post, um, so carousels are posts that you swipe through and see multiple things, yep. Uh, I post video posts, I post reels, I post stories. I, I do literally, the only things I don't do are IGTV and I don't pay for ads. Those are, those are the things. Um, and I did speak to the marketing manager about paid ads 
And she said, I don't think it's worth it for your niche. I don't think, like, I think what will happen is, you know, if you add a follow button to those ads, you get a ton of follows, but they'll never engage. Um, depending on what I post, like, depending on what post I promote as well, it tends to only work, like the promoted posts tend to only work if you're trying to sell something or get people to sign up for a course or something like that. If I had a, um, if I had a, a short course on say Udemy, that I was selling like beginner stream stuff. And you know, you could pay 20 bucks and have access to a, a video course where I basically sit down and tell you all the stuff that I tell you on stream all the time. Um, and if I made a post about that, that would be something to promote because I'm literally directing people through to buy something that I earn from. But beyond that, there's no real point promoting any of the stuff that I post because it's all just kind of behind the scenes. Hello, I'm a person, this is my life sort of thing. Um, but yeah, those, those are the only parts of, of Instagram I don't use. Uh, but yes, I was aware of that. I, I know, and not only, um, not only whether or not you use all the different aspects they offer, but how often you use them and in what ratios. I know I need to improve the number of stories I'm posting, uh, to, to, again, favor the algorithm. Um, but I also have some stuff in the works to do that. Uh, thanks to a couple of incredibly awesome uh, viewers who have been giving me some brilliant ideas on what I can do with that. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna trial that shortly. I don't know when that will be, but I have to record the content and then put it up and stuff like that. And it's stories, like my go live things I do each day. Like I, I take my selfies for Twitter and then I film my little, hi, we're live now. And then I post that as you guys are watching the first ad of the of the stream and all that. But um, I don't, uh, the stuff that I'm planning to post on stories is stuff I can record in advance. And I would prefer to do it in advance if I at all possibly could. 40 minutes left on Katie. And I'd have to run all the, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go out and empty my bags. Um, uh, something that seems mixed about streaming. People often seem to be afraid to take breaks because the bigger streamers lose subs and stuff when they don't stream. Doesn't seem healthy. So I hope you don't at least go too far in that direction if you go full time. Uh, yeah, they and it's true though. It's not just the bigger streamers. Um, so when I took I have many two streams off for life. my most recent dental surgery. Uh, my first, so I've had two dental surgeries. I had one in October last year, and then I had one in March this year. When I came back after my October surgery, I had taken two streams off. I took a Wednesday and a Friday. So I had my Monday stream, and then I came back on Sunday. My viewer numbers halved. I didn't lose subs, but my viewer numbers halved. Half. I was on 80, it was then 40. And that had to build back up again. And it took a couple of weeks for it to build up properly. So if you extrapolate that, um, th this time around, it did about the same. It built back up quicker, but it dropped harder. Um, after my, so I, this time, that time I had the surgery on the Monday. So I streamed Thursday, uh, Sunday and I took off Monday, Wednesday, and then I streamed Friday and my numbers were less than half. I went from about 80, 90 down to 35, 32, 35. Um, it built up over the course of about a week again, uh, but it was still, yeah, it, it, it happens to, to smaller streamers too. Um, and it is terrifying, especially when this is your income, when you're relying on this. I mean, this is not, this doesn't pay my bills at the moment. Uh, my day job covers my bills, my food, my rent, all that kind of stuff. But what this does do is it's currently paying my dental bills. I have $23,000 worth of dental work I need to get done. So all the subs, donations, bits, uh, purchases from affiliate programs, uh, all that stuff, any sponsorship income, anything like that that I earn from my online endeavors uh, is going into my dental fund to pay for all the stuff I'm having to have done. Um, so yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, I'm still like, I may not be paying my bills with it, but I'm still relying on it. Good fortune um, to our friends. So when, when it drops that much, it is, it's scary. Because when your stats drop, your attractiveness to sponsors drops. Whether or not that's like, whether that's right or wrong, when you have a sponsor and they're looking at your numbers, they want to know that if they give you X money, that you are going to manage to convince a number of people 
to spend enough money on their products that they make back what they've spent on you. That's how it works. Literally how it works. Um, is there a... If I go in... No, I don't think I can do that, can I? I just, I have like no bag space left. It's fine. Um, so yeah, it, it does definitely, like, so what you've got to do as a streamer, if you're wanting to go full time, you need to find a schedule that works for you. You need to, um, you need to sort out your live schedule. You need to sort out your socials. Paying for a service that allows you to schedule social media posts is the best investment I've ever made. <laughs> I can sit down over th the course of three or four days and plan an entire month's worth of social posts. I leave some gaps here and there for topical stuff, um, like for updates on how I'm doing with a certain thing or whatever. That's fine. But but for, um, uh, for most of it, a lot of it is scheduled in advance. So I can just, it's set and forget. I can, I can set it and I can leave it and it's fine. Um, in terms of like live hours, you need to make sure that you're doing it enough to maintain or grow, like to maintain your numbers or to grow, depending on what your goals are. Uh, but you also need to make sure that you have enough time off to take care of you and to take care of any other responsibilities you might have if you have a partner or if you have children or if you have uh, a job or if you have, you know, housework to do. Or like, you need to make sure, and if you have housemates, you need to make sure that you are still doing your portion of whatever needs doing around the house um, so that you are maintaining those relationships and stuff like that too. It's it's a really, like, it's a balancing act. But only you are going to know what's right for you. Only I can know what's right for me. Uh, and if I experiment with something and a couple weeks later I'm fucking wrecked all the time and I'm grumpy and I'm irritable and I just don't want to, like okay, I've done something, I, I've broken something. <laughs> like, it's um, time to time to shuffle some things around. Uh, but I'm settled into a, a pretty good routine at the moment. That routine is going to be... Uh, my brain keeps giving me the word shattered, but um, I, that feels a bit dramatic. Uh, but I mean, I guess it's not... Yeah, anyway, my schedule's going to be a bit fucked uh, lately. Uh, not lately, soon. Um, I've got a fairly big change coming that's going to screw with a lot of stuff, uh, and I'm, I don't know how it's going to work out. I, I genuinely do not know how it's going to go. Uh, the only way I'm going to find out is to try it. So I'll try it for a few months and see how it goes. And talk to Jas and see how he thinks I'm going from an external perspective and all that kind of stuff and just see what's doing. Uh, it shouldn't affect you guys. Um, the way that I have it planned, it won't affect you guys at all, but, um, it will still be something that I will talk about when I am able to, when I'm ready to. Um, this is separate from the email that I was freaking out about at the start of stream. Totally separate. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just, yeah, each individual needs to be able to make those calls themselves. Um... Thank you. Oh, Ferrari, thank you so much. I right, look, as long as that's what it looks like from the outside, that's what matters, right? <laughs> um, I am, I am, look, I definitely, when I, when I look at what I've built, I would call it success, but just because it's success doesn't mean that I'm not going to keep aiming higher. You know, I can be happy with what I've achieved and still aim for growth. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm currently doing my best to, to try to keep going, you know? The higher I can climb, the more I can help those to climb who aren't quite up there yet. Da -da 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 -da. Was that actually a... Yes, it was! Hey, Fantastic. Uh, is fear lost? No, nah, I'm actually doing all right. Have you got the Death Charger reins from Classic Dungeon? Yes. 209 attempts, I believe. Was my was my number. Um I only remember that because before I got partnered, I was Fiama 29. And um when I made partner, 
there you can do a name change and if the name you request so Fiamma was taken but uh when you make partner there is the option to request a name even if it's already taken and they will go and investigate that account and if it's inactive then they will like and but their their definition of inactive just because they haven't followed anyone new and they're not streaming but that does not mean that they're not logging in and watching people if they're doing that then even if they're not chatting then they are considered to be active but the fiamma account wasn't it was totally inactive and had been for some time and so they gave me the name makes me happy easier to uh market as well but of course like i'm not big enough to get that on all social media and stuff like <laughs> i'm nobody to twitter so they don't care so i'm still fiamma underscore 29 there and Fiamma.29 on Instagram. Yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Well, that's it. That's the dungeon. Wicked. Uh, let's hop in the outen. Um. Ah, uh, there's non Twitch stuff you could live stream, though, right? I can't really discuss my contract. My, my, like, so the, the Twitch partner contracts have an NDA, uh, a non-disclosure agreement in them. So I can't really explain exactly what I mean. Uh, but it, that's not the point. Greetings, sir. That's not the point. Uh, lawyers like pineapple, place pineapple as bait. Catch one, easy. <laughs> what? Where has this come from? Is that a meme I don't understand? That's uh, just all kind of, all types of streaming. Wait and complain about when he had paid for ads for his memoir. Huh? Um. Oh, on on Instagram. Oh, you like the new matte makeup format? Awesome. There is going to be one more slide added to that, though, Ellie. One more slide. I just haven't got that slide for the old stuff. Not everything in the ocean is as good Wiggles, as eyebrows, nice unconvincingly. Uh, Alright, if I go back, I wonder if I can find a mailbox. Um, celebrity props not worth it. Yeah, exactly. If you don't get engagements from those followers, you still show up on more feeds. Uh, not really how it works. Um, you won't, you still won't show up on feeds. It, so, the way, so, the way Instagram works with posts in particular, uh, is, like, if you search for a, if you search for a term, and that term is hashtagged, and then you have, like, if you've got someone with 21,000 likes on a post of that hashtag, then it's, chances are, if it's a smaller hashtag, it's probably going to be up near the top somewhere. Um, but then you've got posts that have literally millions of likes on particular, yeah, it's, so, having more followers does not put you higher. It, it does, other, having more followers does other stuff in other areas that makes people more likely to be able to find you, but... Uh, and it works really good for sponsorships as well because they care about that all they care about is the numbers but the two numbers they care about are followers and engagement rate my engagement rate is fucking fantastic my engagement rate sits around five percent at the moment the uh standard engagement rate for socials is one to two percent mine's five that's bloody great um but if i ma got a massive influx of followers and none of them interacted then my engagement rate is going to drop and that's going to cost me sponsorships, potential sponsorships. So it's, yeah, it's a really tricky kind of, and plus it costs me money that I don't have. <laughs> Bigger thing, don't have disposable income to throw on, on ads that aren't really going to do what I want them to do anyway. Uh, but yeah, and I, honestly, if a marketing manager, a professional person who does Instagram and Twitter and Facebook for a living, if they're telling me not to do it, I'm going to take their advice. <laughs> if that advice changes in the future and she says, do if you do a post like this, pop an ad on it, then absolutely I'll listen. But, uh, yeah, not really. Uh, yeah, just said, showed a limited number of his viewers. Yeah, that's not great. How many take, does it usually take for the we're going live now thing? One. In the beginning, my first one, it took me like seven or eight because I kept tripping over my words. And now I'm like, fuck it. 
hi, I'm going live. One, one take. Because before I was really particular about like what angles am I going to look best at. I need to make sure not to like be super expressive because then I look really old and wrinkly on my forehead. And I need to make sure my hair is sitting just so. And I was just like, nah, bugger it. Um, so, <laughs> so one take. Unless I completely flub a word. If I can, like, if I say the wrong thing, like if I've got my head in a tizzy and I go, we're doing BC time walking today. Oh no, we're not doing gold making. Um, then I'll do a redo, but uh, that happens maybe once every couple months nowadays. Um, hey, Zeren, welcome back. Um, does Twitch give you stats on people who contributed to the stream goals? No. Uh, do people think saying snack and chilling? Yeah, sometimes people forget streamers are here to entertain us. They only do that when they're feeling good. Yes, everyone needs a break now and then. Agreed. Them diamond teeth are uh, no, unfortunately not. Um, I've got an implant that's put, I've got a, a chunk of titanium, exposed titanium in my jaw. First one, I had to get a bone graft and then implant for second surgery. Uh, and I have to get uh, like Invisalign because uh, I had a broken tooth that needed a re-root canal, like they need to redo the root canal. And they need to put a crown on it, but the crown won't fit because part of the tooth broke and another tooth next to it moved into that gap. It Like the tooth shifted, little bastard. So we need to shift that tooth back so they can put a crown on it. I need to, like I need obviously I've got a fake tooth, which involves a crown, which is so expensive. And then a crown up the top and then Invisalign itself costs four grand, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, it's just a very expensive all round for two bloody teeth. But Invisalign you can't get for one tooth. You have to get a full tray. And if you're getting a full tray, it's gonna shift the teeth. So you need to shift the other teeth so that they match up properly. So you need two full trays. You can't get just like, yeah, you have to do a full set. So it's gonna be four grand, no matter how many issues they fix. So I've got a couple of teeth where it's like, it's not, no, they're not, they're not perfect, it's like, that that much of it, you know, like or a, or a slight twist or something, teeny tiny cosmetic things that mean absolutely nothing, and you'd never notice unless I was like, yeah, see, look at this. Uh, but if we're in there anyway, might as well fix them. It's not going to cost any extra, and you can put whitening gel in Invisalign trays. And I've always had exceptionally yellow teeth because my enamel did not form properly as a child. See, yellow. Uh, so I will actually be able to smile in photos with my teeth. If you notice, if you go through all my feeds, I don't have any photos with my teeth showing. Go through my entire Instagram, none of them. None. Because I don't like them, because I hate them, because they're ugly, because they're yellow, they look like I don't take care of myself. I do, but it's a problem. So by the end of this 23 grand, I'm going to have the perfect influencer smile. And so that's what I'm choosing to focus on. But I'm not paying 23 grand. I would never spend this kind of money on a cosmetic thing just on a, I, I, I can't, I couldn't justify that to myself. But if they're doing it for medical reasons and I can get the cosmetic in there for no extra cost, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Sudden craving for some custard. Oh, yum. Is that right? Might as well do that. Do what very rarely have done in Iceland. Fly to Poland to get dental. She would fly there and get dental and do it here. A lot of people say that. First time last week hearing someone do it. Um, yeah, except COVID. I have an autoimmune condition. Um, I'm vulnerable. And uh, yeah, all this started like a year and a half ago, which if you cast your mind back, <laughs> was like peak COVID. Um, get all the custards. Full thick vanilla chocolate custards are amazing. I'm gonna have to get some to bring me some. Yas. I don't go run a while for an ultimate a few dozen times tomorrow. You should get fear. You should fear got Jinsu today. I did. I did. So much going on in fear land right now. It's a. My life is. Go ass! It's a thing. It's just. Everything is just. It's too much. I'm done. I'd like to. I'd like to not have to deal with this. What the hell is that on my finger now? Interesting. Um. Hey, I'm mad. Hello, nice boost from this. People, Fez, I got one of those too. Bucket list to go find me get a pair of hotshot pilot gloves from Noma. 1200 runs so far. Oh, rough. Rough, of course, I also love those. Would you rather post on Twitter? It really gets me thinking. Good. I'm so pleased. Thank you for the feedback. Should I often see them in socials channel and Discord? Yep. Hey, hey. Welcome in. Um. Speaking about kids from swimming. Brilliant. That Marcus Dragon Lord Ring can give you VIP privilege. Dragonfly Dragon Eyes, look, maybe. Maybe. Oh, excuse me. 
more eyebrows practice required. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. <laughs> hey, Jared. Welcome back. Hey, Venus. More followers can help with more engagement, can increase reach. Reach doesn't always mean engagement, e.g. shadow bands. Yep, exactly. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So that's the thing. Like, the problem with Instagram ads, which is what we're talking about specifically, is that you might get people to tap the follow button, but then they'll never interact with the single post again because they've done what you paid for them to do. Instagram is under no obligation to show you more often than their feed, especially if they're the kind of person who's following 50 million accounts, then you're just, you're not going to show up because, and so you're not going to get the engagement from that extra follower. Um, so it just, yeah, it's, it's not worth you. You're better off getting organic followers rather than paid. Um, weekend. Yes. If it's been a mod relatively new. Yes. Uh, here is the do look pretty cute. A little insane. Yes. People with tooth cure have my baby tooth. Be kicking crooked teeth. Yeah. Pain in the ass. I realize as well, teeth are not meant to be white anyway. No, oh, but the they're also not to be, they're not meant to be uh, as bad as mine are either. Like I literally legitimately have a medical problem that is causing coloring in my teeth. So, you know. Jared, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Sub because of Seeker, best mod. Fuck Jazz. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, ah, uh, it's an ex-smoker. I hate that I smoke teeth will never be white. Ah, uh, at least if Twitch doesn't work out for you, there's always teeth. What are doing tooth care commercials? Good lord. Oh, there is a pre-COVID life. Indeed there is. Thanks for best blood to the jazz. He screwed you. Shots fired. Oh, no. Yes, definitely follow Fear on the socials if you are feeling generous. Do the thing. An hour and a half, LA pop people in queue. Say hello. Hello, Majesty. Welcome on in. Hoping you have an awesome day. See if, yeah. Yep. So my teeth can be white. They absolutely can be. Um, it just means that I'll have to take like extra super duper careful of them. Like after I get them whitened because they won't stay that oh, way without so significant well. effort. Zam! With the resub at tier three. Goodness gracious, 16 months. So kind and generous of you, amazing. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Feeder of the fear. Of course, Jess is lovely. Jess is lovely. Agreed. Um, Jess Mathers and see I'm the coolest mod with the crown though. Yeah, because you gave yourself a crown. <laughs> oh dear. Ah! Oh my god. Marari, you, you knew what you were doing. That's a hype train. That's a heckin' hype train. Oh, no, that's a flight path. I want the mo mailbox. That's a hype train. My goodness. My gosh. Thank you so much for the cheer. Suggest ate that. Add benefits of that emote. Hi, the sun. Well. The sub train, indeed. Scam train. Good lord. Start that hype train. Yas. Fight, fight, fight. What was that? Elg. Ah, thank you for your prime sub. Much appreciated. And Rel with the biddies. Thank you. Oh, goodness gracious. Much appreciated. My husband is isolating gaming room with COVID. Oh no, he haven't had a hug in two days. Five more days to go. Other than that, great. I'm so sorry to hear that, Majesty. I hope he gets better real soon. Real soon. Hello, Elg. Welcome back. Playing the Pokemons. Choo choo, indeed. Ah, oh, dearie me, if we can hug you soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, right, we're doing this and selling those. God, I'm, uh... Far out. I don't know, I think that hype train has done something to my head. Oh my goodness. You guys are just... I have no words. I, I have no words. Oh, Hi, Hero, well. with the gifted sub as well. My gosh, thank you. Hi, the sun and Rel well. with the gifted sub. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I. <laughs> oh, I've been trying to sub, but it's not letting me. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, Claw. That's a bit odd. Maybe the car, like the card you have on file is expired or something. I don't know. That's a bit strange. Try refreshing the page. That's always a thing too. Hi, the sun. Um, ah, silver. Congrats, 
congratulations on your gifted sub from Marari. Thank you so much, lovely. So generous of you. Oh my goodness. I am very well, thank you, Elg. I hope you can say the same. Oh my golly gosh, indeed, Seeger. Level 3 hype train. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> your problems are solved. Love seeing this on streams. It, it's just, it's unbelievable, isn't it, Kai? The generosity and, like, just absolute kindness of people is... Uh, I'm speechless. And that's only because, that's only partially because I'm tired, I promise. <laughs> oh my goodness, 86% indeed, or that dental bill. Get that dental bill paid off sooner now. Absolutely, Alaski, absolutely. I'm working my butt off. All of my online income goes towards it. Um, to be clear, I don't have like a loan or anything. I'm having to pay for things as they happen. Um, not all upfront or anything like that. So there's no interest on it or anything Hi, at the, the moment. <gasps> Dope! Holy cow! Five gifted subs. Oh my god. Dupe, thank you so much. You just want that train badge, don't Hi, you? The sun well. I'm not gonna complain. Um <laughs> Oh my gosh. Level three not good enough. Level three complete! Hi, the sun well. Level three complete. What are we sitting on? Level four, hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Thanks so much. Yay! I oh, love discovery so last weekend. I'm so pleased to hear that. That's fantastic. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm paying for treatments as I'm getting them. Hi, the um, sun well. Which means that I can like so far so good. So far I'm ahead of it. If it like there may come a time where I have to go and pay four grand, but I don't have the four grand yet, and then I'd have to take out a loan, but I'm Crossing everything that it doesn't get there. Um, ah, Shiba with the cheer, my god. And Marari with the cheer as well. You guys are ridiculous and amazing. I don't, I, I feel like I don't deserve any of you, but like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. 27% through a, oh, Ali! <laughs> Ali, thank you so much. For the biddies. Oh my god. Oh, holy cow. Oh, thank you, Elg. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, indeed. Gonna lurk. Enjoy the lurk, Jared. The Mario Party game. I'll beat you this time. Look, we'll see. We'll see. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I just... Subs, bits, and all round shiny. I know, right? Like, what the hell? Been here for three years already. Where did that time go? I, Majesty, next month, June, is my is my partner anniversary. Next month, I will have been partnered for a year. What? How the? Oh, ha no, surely not. Ah! Oh my gosh. Venus, thank you for the sub! Welcome to the Fionati! Oh my goodness. Oh, holy cow. Sent you two. Oh, almost there. Let's finish. 77%. My goodness. Hey, a trouble. How are you going? So, seeker. Oh, Jesus. Can we complete? I'm worthy of receiving more gifts than Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Already, I know, already, June 23rd is the is the date. June 23rd is when I hit one year. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Greetings, sir and uh, ma'am. Unbelievable. Um, I'm showing Clash the Creator, right? How troopy is that? Marari! With the resub! Six months. Holy cow, has it been that long? <gasps> oh my gosh. No longer been put. No, no, no! No, don't be silly, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Hiya, Scarlet. Yay, Finn, with the gift sub! Play classic all day. Today with film of wonderfulness. Oh, Elk, thank you. Getting for my second to be born on the 23rd of June! <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
I just... Oh dear. We're winning. We did! We did a win. Almost finished 93% on the train. So close. So close. Ah, uh, it'd be very close, lol. Absolutely, I can imagine. <gasps> Silver, thank you for the biddies. Oh my god. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Zarin, with the biddies as well. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, sure, the wife would be okay. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Oh lord. You guys, you're just so you're so generous. Thank you so much. I'm I'm so grateful. I don't even know how to like you know you know when saying thank you doesn't feel like enough? Yeah. Boogie down. <laughs> you guys are too sweet. You're too sweet. Thank you for the biddies, dupe. This community so much. So do I, Scarlet. So do I. Shapir is done. <laughs> Enjoy your look, Marari. Enjoy. Oh dear. I got a level two hype training mode because apparently I have all the other ones. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Oh, I've read her tracks. No, yeah, I mean, right? Look. Landar, Zem, Zalk, Zem, V, Thurling, and Ali. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Well done. Congratulations, everyone on your shiny new emotes if you participated in the hype train. And congrats to Dupe and Ali. Congrats to Dupe and Ali on your conductor badges. Well done. Well done. And thank you a million times, thank you. Oh dear, oh. Why did Leroy not? Okay, we've had a couple of those not play properly. So give me just a second. You'd think it'd be easy to find considering that they're in alphabetical order, but hi at me. There you go. Apologies, I had to do it manually. But um, yeah, it's been a little bit funky lately. <sighs> All right, shall we go do another Libris? <laughs> I'm not a paladin. Baby tuna, baby tuna. I'm so confused. What? Um. Oh, it's because they're delayed. Right. Okay. Just a massive delay. Fantastic. Oh wait, no, it's on the ground. Um, what was I up to? Conductor benches. So this crazy train, look, a little bit. A jungle love. A little bit. A little adrenaline rush was fun. I mean, you are not wrong, Zico. Look. Didn't you get your amazing honors? Aw, Jared. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Ah, oh, I want to tell you guys things, but I can't. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think I can. I don't think you want me back. Ah, uh, okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is fine. Hmm. So friendly, funny space cannot be underestimated. Yeah, there's one hell of a delay there, hey. Welcome. Puns are amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, tell us other things. Good time. All in good time. Yeah. Look, I I wanna I wanna share. It's it's like. I want to share, but um, I can't. I don't think I. I don't know if I can yet. So, the things I said. You already know the thing, Shiva. You already know the thing. I'm not a paladin. I've been told I should be getting my brief tomorrow, and that should include a contract. So, hopefully, I'll be able to tell you tomorrow. But look, we'll see. It really depends. Some. It, like every every contract oh, is different. Storm. I would imagine they'd want me to be able to talk about it as soon as possible, but um, like every contract is different. 
If there's things you can't tell today, exactly. Exactly. And yeah, follow me on socials because R uh, is Discord. It's great. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, but look. People always tell me I'm patient because I do mount farming and stuff. I'm like, I'm not patient. I'm stubborn. Maybe I should put that on a t-shirt, guys. I'm not patient. I'm stubborn. These are my coins. To say that, do I have to be glued to my phone? I can't watch stream on Mondays. Yeah. I mean, is it is it a situation where you can't watch but you could listen? Like with audio only mode on your phone? Or I like I don't know your situation. I'm not telling you what to do, of course, but there's always a chance. Right? Always a chance. Do we get coins for gifted subs? You do. You do. Could wear that t-shirt? Noted. Because wearing it means you have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get I need to get myself. So obviously Sheba is amazing with emotes and stuff like that. Um anyone out there, like a graphic designer who works with like slogans and words and stuff? Because I might have some jobs. <clears throat> Enjoy your lurk, Jared. Enjoy. Is that the way to get them out of me? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm the embers, but it tells you the full list. Oh, no, no, not the embers. Uh, koala coins, I think, is what was, was the question. I th Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. That's my activity. In pretty poor form. Oh, no. I don't remember the first time I did this in so many wipes and we finished it felt so accomplished. Yeah, it was like like dungeons, long dungeons back in Classic were essentially mini raids. Like, honestly, the number of like, like the number of bosses you have to face and everything. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ah, well done, Kaz. Good Lord. Someone who can't watch but listens is a lurker. What is someone who watches but can't listen? I still think a lurker because it's, I mean, okay, so the lurker isn't necessarily defined by somebody who listens but doesn't watch. A lurker is defined by someone who is using the stream for entertainment but isn't participating in chat. So you could watch and use captions or you could listen and not watch what's going on on the screen. And as long as you're not typing in chat, you would be considered a lurker. Uh, and to be honest, like to, to be to be clear, we love our lurkers. We do not have anything against lurkers. We like without my lurkers, I wouldn't have been partnered. I wouldn't, you know. It, it's yep, cool. So um, yeah, but it's it's about the participation, not about the um, the organs you use to intake. Uh, <laughs> At least that's in in my books. That's that's how it goes down. Um, so look, uh, peeping Tom. Good lord. Ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, like a like the implication. His hand lurking. Enjoy, Oni. Enjoy. I'm glad I can provide entertainment while you do what you're doing. So like lurking. I'm also running my own game. Totally fair. Totally okay. Like, again, nothing whatsoever against lurkers. Love our lurkers. Appreciate. I'm cleaning. I'm still enjoying Fiamma's content. Aw, yay! I hope the cleaning goes swimmingly. I minimize mute stream. Go to bed. That's still lurking, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure it counts you as a viewer. Is that lurking? Enjoy, Sergeant. Enjoy the lurk. Just a pee. I'm like, what? Um, I'm no laughing because looking gives peeping time for literally he falls off the tree. It's not necessarily gender it fair. Uh, um, I'm called for the lurkers. Hello, suck silver master lurker. Yeah, look, I I lurk in my own damn Discord. So the only reason I like I can't lurk here because everyone would leave. Um, but <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely a lurker as well, one hundred percent. 
100% often lurk later in stream. You do indeed. Just thinking because you're like, come on, this is listening, but I often mute you when I'm at work. Yeah, totally fair. Totally fair. Um, like, I mean, you don't have to follow the instructions on the on the lurk command. It's just a, a cute little thing that we popped in to acknowledge that, you know, we we still we still care about ooh. Oh, it's a bot. Never mind. Um, you know, we, we still appreciate you and all that, even if you have to disappear for a bit. Um, but yeah. Totally okay. Totally okay. Love seeing all these new names I'm not used to seeing. Isn't it great, dude? It's amazing. Uh, she was always watching. Think I heard Lower and Upper Black Rock was supposed to be one big dungeon in early beta vanilla. And Scarlet was split. That was one, two dungeons in Alpha, I think. Um. Ooh. Like it. Zone drops. Wonderful. I'll send that to my tailor. Um. Pretty sure they were one dungeon. Not just in Alpha. I'm pretty sure they were one dungeon and then they, like, it was Black Rock Spire and then they split it. Um. When they, cause, cause, uh, one of them was remade. Uh, in Kata, I think it was. You know how they brought back, like, they had dead mines and they revamped it and stuff. I'm pretty sure one of them was revamped in Kata. Um. In fact, it was Upper. Look. Maybe not in Kata. But, like, Upper Black Rock Spire isn't in this list. So they probably, they've moved it somewhere else. Like, they made a heroic version for, for a different expansion kind of thing. Um. So, I, or something like that. I think that's when they actually, like, proper split them. Um, or, like, one of them could be used as a skip to get later in the dungeon or something like that. But there's absolutely, like, there's a point somewhere around here that you could jump down a hole and be ported into uh, upper. Or, lower. or you could jump, sorry, dr there was a gap in upper where you could jump down and you'd, you'd land in lower. And it'd go through a load screen and everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I, I might be, look, I might be dreaming. Um... But yeah, I was I was pretty sure that was a thing. Um Shiba always watching. Uh, about that time client told me I should lurk you've been here a couple of hours now. Well I hope you're enjoying yourself, Riku. I hope it's been a pleasant lurk. Kissing like a with troll. <laughs> Do both loving troll but troll nonetheless. Uh, Prone level one dungeon at launch. Yeah, I thought that was the and then yeah, yeah, cool. Just change way later on. Uh, Black Rock Spire was built as Raiden since got whittled down to ten at some point, then five later still. Seeker, <laughs> do bots actually look? Seeker headed to Vegas in a week. If win big jackpot, I'm throwing us all a party. Oh my god! Best of luck, Saren. Best of luck. Just, you know, what, what do they say? A bet with your head, not over it? Yeah. Good luck. Be careful. Be safe. I have another one. Complete dungeon. Yes! Yeah. It was a while ago, hey? That's right. The feels. Have the fun of this is just finding us alliance trying to make our way to waiting through the rest of the party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, it was in Kata, yes. Okay, awesome, I'm not dreaming. Brilliant. Kata was when they did a lot of that kind of funky stuff because they were doing a lot of the, yeah. Um, it took away old Rose and Wad. And in Wad they did with Rose, maybe, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go, Upper Black Rock Spire is in, is in Wad. My mistake. I thought it was Kata because that's when they redid a bunch of the old dungeons and stuff. So it made more sense to me there. But yeah, look, I, it's it's been a while and my memory's not the greatest. I'm the first to admit that. Uh, so thank you for the correction. Uh, for, and apologies to those I have thoroughly confused. It was not my intent. Um, I hope you do get something nice for yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. We just completely spammed. We have some areas for... Yeah. Uh, to run the lower to get the key to upper. Ah, okay. Do you really make particular outfits? Another lurker reporting in. Hey, Exo, been here for a few hours. Do my own dastard kills? Ah, well, best of luck. Uh, if it doesn't drop this week, I hope it drops next week. Oh, in general chat. 
good times that was. Wasn't one of them part of the next year achievement chain? Oh, maybe. Quite possibly. Um, to be clear, I started playing at the beginning of Burning Crusade, so I don't have the experience from vanilla that a lot of you were talking about. Uh, but I can still imagine what it was like because I was there close enough, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, I did, you know, the, the old BC attunements and all that kind of stuff. I went through those, uh, but I, I did not ever list for groups in chat for, for Black Rock Spire. Um, yeah, just to, you know, full disclosure and all that shiznit. Ah, oh, after level my Marauder, have a lovely night. You too, Zarin. You too. Enjoy. Best of luck. Long time ago, memories, Hazy. Yes. BRD was for next year. There you go. Time to head out. Elderly name in Rose Lawn. Ah! Oh gosh, excuse me. So kind of you, Pack. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Uh, depending on what time of day it is, maybe wear some sunscreen. That doesn't exist at 800 kills now. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh dear. I do think it'd be kind of like, yeah, I say fun, but um, to get to a point where I'm able to, again, full time stream, but like if I could do a, a 12 hour every week until I got Shah and then a 12, to do all 50 tunes and then do a 12 hour each week to get Undasta and then like just knock those bloody mounts off the list. I feel like that'd be a great feeling. Mm, too many black rock things. Mm -hmm. Just a couple. <laughs> mm, six months to level and get ready to raid. Yup. Ditto. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you got the next patch coming out at that point. Mm. Free for all. Mm, eight done, two sorts of belt. Well done. Seven of five. Got a trinket. Fantastic. Congrats on the trinket, too. Uh, eight should grant three volt slots. Um, isn't it ten that does three volt slots? Or am I misremembering that? It might have also been a typo. That happens. Um, all right, back we go. Mm. It was reduced. Oh, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Clearly, I've been paying many attentions. <laughs> awesome. But it was 10 at one point, so I'm not completely out of my mind. A few keys before I start pushing. Fair. Can imagine that does quite well for you. Where it's things to carpe. Hey, no one more normal boss for a second vault reward. I mean, you could probably queue, um, what's it for those? Like just queue an LFG or even look for a Perky Pugs group. We'll put one together yourself. Uh, if you so desired. Did Fear pay attention? No. Yeah, but isn't that for Friday? Which is not going to be before the reset. I meant for this week, for this, for this vault. Unless that's like not what you're aiming for. Um. Well done, dupe. I'm winning the free for all. Um, kind of does a four set six different characters without using the catalyst. Nice, Zalk. Holy cow. Jesus Christ. It says good afternoon. Hello, miss. Welcome back. One of the lurkers can pick this time. Not to Sam. <laughs> uh, ooh. It's another buff one I already have. That's okay. Oh, I 
How's everyone doing? Very well, thank you, miss. How about yourself? Hope you can say the same. Lich King. I mean, Jas is technically lurking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I saw the ping go up for, like, this coming Friday as an alt run. Um, double check, though. Like, double. I could be wrong. It's been known to happen. Definitely double check. But yeah. Lich King! You got this lovely version of Fear for a couple minutes. Thanks to Jas. You can thank Jasserith for this one. Um, and you, I mean, I'm watching every time Red Wolf Beast pops up. It's like, give me day, mate. Oh dear. Oh dear. It does pop up a lot in these older ones, eh? That's not super like a... Yeah, your memory beats fine. I, only because I got the ping, I think. Like, otherwise, you know, I wouldn't have remembered. Just wake up, I wake up coffee. Fantastic. I hope it's delicious. Just hates the death. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's fantastic. Oh dear. So, what do you guys think this contract is for? That I got the email about before stream. What do you th what do you think it might be? I got this little pack as a bit. Oops. Sounds like it's whisker three. Daughter is getting off so I had to put my hands in it. Oh no. Well, there's only 30 seconds to go, Kai. Only 30 seconds to go, and you can take him off again if you'd like. I think for Witcher Tech. Now, what are you farming there? Good. Gold, really this such recommendation ages everything kills you folks left when you need the next boss. I mean, isn't that like the start of most expansions? Although dungeons these days are much shorter. We don't I mean, Tazabesh, you know, we get the mega dungeons occasionally, but not not super often. And rice boba. This one always went the wrong way. Oh, they're labyrinthine, aren't they? They just They're so bad. So very bad. There we go. I'm guessing something giveaway related. How come you're using a voice changer? Because it was redeemed. Uh, I've got a blue microphone, Zeti X World of Warcraft edition microphone uh, that was uh, gifted to me by Blue, which I'm eternally grateful for. Uh, and because it has a bunch of World of Warcraft inspired voice effects inbuilt, into the software uh, and people thought they were fun and silly uh, so I made a channel point redemption for it so every so often someone's able to pick a voice and make me do it for a couple minutes and so we do but it's only for a little while just a little while as you met this email expectations miss because of voice which it would be amazing not only for you but I need a new keyboard um yeah we came running back with half the dungeon worth the mobs yeah <laughs> Look, I brought friends! Yep. Okay, yeah. Yeah, only a little while though. Just a short time. Ah, uh, your friends did BRD last night on Classic TBC. It took approximately three hours. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad you stuck with it though. It's super rewarding, hey? Like when you spend, like if you get together and you do the, like the strategies and you sort it out and you plan your pulls and that kind of stuff. When you get to the end, it feels, it feels good. It's a good feeling. Um, we have a big company. If he has a lot of respect for, I reckon. To be clear, I have no clue. No, Seeker has no idea. Um, Seeker has no idea. Uh, I feel like I such a take because I just bought stuff. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it, Rel? Always the way. Um. I hope it's because I'm holding out with this mouse and keyboard for a minute. Oh dear. Coins are on Bubble TV, being able to ship to the UK. 
Everyone using Ventrilo. Oh my god, yes. And Team Speak and Mumble were crap. Yep. Yep. Look, I didn't play in vanilla, but I played in BC, and some of the experiences do translate. Rick's having dial up internet. Yup. Jumping back on five minutes later. Sorry, guys. Mum made a phone call. Forgot I was online and disconnected me. Just preparing three hour journeys like that. And oh, Mumble. Mumble was shit, as was TeamSpeak. As I guess. Sister in my life, buy something two days later. Hey, half fries. Not laughing at you more, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if the old timers. Oh, dear. Five to six hours trying to get one boss down at MC. My god. Alright, I can tell you guys it's not Logitech. So that should make a bunch of you feel better and a bunch of you feel worse. So, balance! It's not Logitech. I have a feeling if they gave me a code, they'd want me to start using it immediately. Like, then it'd be, it'd just be like, go, 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 go. Because, like, they make sales, if that's a thing, you know? So that's, yep. <clears throat> it's actually a new one. Hey, so it was. Are you happy to play Q and A on it? Are you pushing it? If if you ask a question, I'm not comfortable answering. I will not answer it. It's like same with any question you ever ask me. If it is a boundary, I won't cross it. But yeah, sure, have fun. I mean, we're we're that close to industry anyway. That yeah, might as well. Let's have some fun. If it keeps you guys engaged to the last moment, then why not? <laughs> Um, look, hey, look, Rel. At least it didn't go on, like, at least it didn't go on sale two days after you bought it, right? Uh, perfectly balanced as everything should be. <laughs> it'd be nice, it'd be nice, but it's how often is that actually possible? Uh, is Team Speak the one that let you map directional audio? Ugh, oh, how did that up? Ah! Oh, was that a. Oh, no, it was a shed appearance, never mind. Uh, is it PAX? No. It's not packs related. More underwear. No, it's not step one. Big Poppy gave you a hat. Yas. Started reading Gills of Trying to finish Illidan. I was rubbish and folks were impatient. Happy to help back then. Now just insta be yeah. Yeah, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, what are you even why are you even playing the game? It's not like yeah, I, I'm very much against that. We we used to do uh community raids. Every week we'd go and do whatever the raid was currently, um, but it got to the point where we were struggling to put a group together each week. And so I figured then that meant that people weren't interested in that content anymore. And so we moved on and did other stuff. Um, it used to be Social Sunday where we'd, we'd jump on in and, and do a raid or something. But yeah, over time it, it slowly petered out and we were getting fewer and fewer people. And then we couldn't even make a group. And it was like, that's all right. I, I get it. Like it, it's totally understandable. People have their own stuff to do. They want to move on. They want to do other it, 100% okay, but I'm not gonna sit around on stream for two hours trying to put a group together that's not engaging content. So <laughs> we moved on and that's all right. Um, but yeah, look, maybe maybe we are at the point where we've grown enough that we will have enough interest. Maybe we could try it again for Dragonflight. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was what it was. Um, started reading because uh, yes are you presenting for logitech in some capacity at pax not that i'm aware of they tend to so um although pax and stuff has been announced a lot of companies will try to sort out what they want to do first and then they approach talent later to get them on board so if i'm approached by someone to do something at pax it probably won't be until like august ish maybe a little bit earlier than that 
Uh, but judging from my last couple, like from, from previous experiences and, and talking to people who have been involved in pack stuff themselves in past, it's not something that happens months in advance. It's very much a lot of it is last minute stuff. I've, I've spoken to a couple of people who have been called, like have been have, have gotten an email at while they're at PAX on a Friday asking if they're available to jump in a streaming booth the next day. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's a yeah. Uh, it's not, I am, a, I am a rarity in this industry in that I plan my schedules a month in advance. Uh, I do my socials a month at a time kind of thing. I, I'm, I'm very rare in, in the industry. Like most everything that I've participated in, in this industry has been last minute. Like almost everything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's a fun time. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm obviously learning to be flexible and stuff, and, and that's okay. Um, I have applied for a PAX Media Pass, like an influencer pass, and we don't hear back on those. And again, because the applications are open for months to let people get their stuff in, and then um, they make those decisions uh, in waves closer to the date. Um, think bigger, it's Victoria's Secret, obviously. <laughs> no. No. If someone lands that you have to bluff your way through something you're not meant to put out there yet. Um, look. I, I have a terrible poker face when I want to tell people something. But... As evidence, do you remember, do you remember, you guys who, who have been here for a while, like we're talking about a year now, might remember when I jumped over onto Ariana's channel a couple times, Ari, and we had some games with other streamers and one of them was Two Truths and a Lie. And we had to, like we were asked a question and we had to either tell like the truth about what our, you know, what we slept in, you know, um, uh, or, or what we what our morning routine was or whatever it was and then you guys had to vote on who you thought was lying and almost every round that I lied I got away with it <laughs> I'm pretty good at bluffing I'm pretty good at bluffing I'm also really good at convincing people they've guessed the right amount only to say no so there's that too uh <laughs> I uh, hope it's not worse though. That would be more of an FO stream then. Uh, I understood this reference. Uh, is there something in that dungeon that's crazy expensive? Uh, not really. It was just what came up on the wheel. Like I, I had a spinny wheel with all the, a bunch of dungeons on it and it came up and I, I don't, maybe there is. I'm actually not sure, but I don't think so. Um, does it involve card packs? No. Um... Um, has your style approach you following Insta post maybe? No. Waiting for 40 people to log on and fight? Mm. No, thank you. Ooh, is it Arclight Rumble related? No. Sorry, mods, totally fine, miss. Not a problem at all. Uh, 20 dragons, no tanks. Your problem. <laughs> See, I would enjoy community stuff like that. I quit and ward. Everyone else in the guild two came back two months ago. I've been playing solo ever since. Mm. Look. It, it really, like, the needs of a particular community always, like, shift and ebb and flow and, and over time, especially. So, like, although we did that back at the start of Shadowlands, I also did it in Legion, I did a bit in BFA, and what always tends to happen over the course of an expansion is that we'll do something and everyone will be like, yes, I love this, it's amazing, we've got a full bloody group, 30 goddamn people. And then over the space of two or three months, it's down to, like, nothing. And I was like, okay, well, we'll try again when the new raid gets released. And then the new raid gets released and we open it up and no one's there anymore. And it's like, well, I'm, you know, I'm sitting here on my schedule. It says we're raiding today. And then we don't. And it's like, I feel like I'm letting people down, but then also, yeah, it's, so it's all a bit messy. So I just tend to not anymore, but, um, look, maybe we give it another try with Dragonflight. Uh, Aelin, Lynn, Meow, Loz, and Landa, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Well done. All the colors made your epilepsy. EAs, that is definitely a thing that can happen. I uh, imagine even though PAX is going ahead, many companies will still be working out how it's all going to work to be COVID safe and whatnot. Yeah, there'll be fewer, pan uh, fewer, excuse me, there'll be fewer uh, 
like stands, stalls, places, uh, because everything needs to be spaced further apart to allow people to walk through uh, socially distanced as much as they can. Um, there, I, I'm very much expecting to not see like last packs I attended. You'd have a couple of booths where you'd have somebody standing up there like throwing merchandise and stuff into like a gathered crowd, and so everyone would be packed there trying to grab free shit. Uh, I doubt that'll happen. I think they'll probably be completely banned from doing stuff like that. Um, if you have a hunt, uh, PAX East recently finished uh, and it looked very different to anything I've seen. It, it was very spaced out, lots of room for people to, to move around and stuff, um, which is good. That's It's what's needed. But um, yeah, I have a feeling con flu this year is going to be a little spicier than usual. Mmm. <laughs> Uh, is fear legendary. Uh, after LK make your break up due to officers fight and like you still playing alone also. I wish BFA didn't drive me away. I kept on social Sundays. I remember that. You were amazing at that two truths and a lie. A year may have been here that long. Oh, I was wondering how I discovered Ariana. E. Ah, uh, son of vanilla people, patient, friendly, helping, explaining what a mistake was made. Now it's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little, some things have definitely changed a bit. Um, they may have more server. Went to Adrenal, good choice, great guild. Eight, nine years, wow, that's awesome. Love how involved you are with the chat. I'm trying, I'm a bit behind, but I'm, I'm catching. Uh, this is Stream Raiders. Great fun. So we went, ah, brilliant. Wish we could join the raid, play on EU. Yeah, region, region lock is definitely true. I do have quite a few viewers who are EU, so it does make it a little difficult with that. Uh, not raid event, case on the Discord, and how about like King's Rest, people come to join that, of course. I'm really looking forward to looking at chairs. Yes, Seeker. Absolutely. Um, this epic sausage. Reckon I'll likely mask up most of the time inside. Yeah, I'm, uh, I will see how I go. Absolutely. Still hilarious to me. I now play well. I have employees that play. We've been in chat during work. Ah, oh, dear. Two. Good morning. Brilliant. Played WoW for 13 years before I stopped. Impressive, Theron. Or the one. I'm guessing your name is supposed to be the one. Um, now that I've said that aloud. Fantastic. If you are from Belgium, well, welcome. Welcome on in. All right. Um, it's time. It's time. So. Future streams. What's, what is on, what is happening in the week ahead? Tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday. I'm going to do some keys because I need to, I do need to start actually properly trying to get KSM. Um, but after we've done a couple keys, I will probably uh, scoot on over into regularly scheduled Mount Farm Monday programming. Um, on Wednesday... Hey, fantastic! Mostly here because COVID just get the tides a lot, yeah. Yeah, so it's been half a glass of swears. Yes, yeah, so Wednesday, uh, I'm going to be doing some Xerath Mortis collectible stuff, some ATTing. There is still an achievement I need. Busted won't drop the thing. Uh, and then I'm going to be heading into raid. Stream is probably going to go a little bit longer on Wednesday because raid, because of time differences and stuff like that, raid doesn't finish till 11 p.m. So we might end up going a bit longer on stream on Wednesday. You're welcome. Friday, we are doing some pet hunting. We're gonna go and collect some of the, there are so many pets that are just sitting there and I haven't just gone and taken them yet. It's silly. Uh, Shiba's made me a spreadsheet, which I'm so grateful for. So we're gonna be using that and smashing through collecting a whole bunch. Um, just trying to keep up on chat while this is <laughs> um, heroic. Uh, I don't know, whatever they're doing, not sure. Uh, let me save you too, nurse, you too. Much better than I did in Raid. Well, I don't have tier, I don't know. I've only got one tier piece so far. So lucky enough. To I should have my glasses with my screen popular. Uh, what's the time there now? 10 p.m. Just about well, 10 past 10. Nice weekend. You too, nurse. Uh, Sunday, the 15th of May. Will not be transport hunting. Let's find someone to raid. Okay. Um, you know what I, oh, 
Well, that's... Sorry, every... <laughs> I opened up Twitch to look for somebody to raid and I've got my face staring back at me and it's weird. Um, so <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, what's... How have you been doing it? Yeah, let's go here. Already. Um, hmm. Ten past two. Ah, there you go. Brilliant. Just started getting more to use masks. Look on the top. Looking through glasses. Use four yards instead of going through a lot of masks. Two months. Been two months ago. Using food stores. Yeah, nice. Awesome. I'm going to post it in boss mods. Am I? Am I really, though? Am I actually going to? Oh, Jesus. Uh, and in answer to your question that you asked, it'll be answered in my brief that I get tomorrow. Uh, all right. There, that's, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, if I slipped away again this summer, is it good to farm old dungeons for that? For gold? I mean, yeah, if you'd like to. It depends on your server. Like, some servers do better with transmog selling than others. Um, but you're not going to find, like, there, there will be other people out there who will probably be able to tell you better than I would. I don't very, I don't do it very often. I do garrison gold making, uh, for my gold, because it's quicker and easier. And I don't make as much, but it's fine. It covers what I need. So, yes. Um, all right. Let's do this. Uh, there was a copy-paste. Um, I'll pop it again because reasons because it's gone up a little bit but grab your copy paste if you don't have the fiama hype emote either because you're not subscribed or because you uh haven't unlocked it with your channel points both of which are totally fine you can still copy and paste the entire message uh and delete the fiama hype part and replace it with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote um and drop it into tax channel when we get there tack is doing some keys playing some well uh, after work keys, hanging out for a few hours, come say hey. Tax a lovely person. Um, so we're going to go say hi and uh, show some love. Hope you've all had a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow for some Mount Farm Monday shenanigans. I hope that you'll join me. It's not gold making, but it's still great fun. I know most of you are probably just here for the gold making and that's totally all right. I understand. But if you want to come by tomorrow, you're more than welcome to as well. You always be welcome here. Always the, the fun times. Um, and fingers crossed, I'll have some news for you. I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you then. All the love. Bye guys. <laughs>